This will bolster you. <clears throat> this is gonna be a rush. I would much prefer we find another way. Perhaps the Mind Flayer has another idea. Come day, we must set off in pursuit. Very well. I shall strike. <laughs> <laughs> there are no mistakes in nature, only hidden purpose. Horribilissimus! But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. So be it. May Sylvanus lend us nature's fury. Oh. Karlak's rage is like a force of nature. I pity those who bear its brunt. You spherical git! Surely none but a boiled turnip would trust the likes of him. Faki or Voco Ferry! Hold on, I shall aid you. It shall be done. <sighs> Fool. Rabid beasts must not be coddled. They must be put down. I'd rather have you by my side. But this is the only way. Success. Those magic gloves may prove useful. Sylvanus has abandoned this place. It's nothing but stone, grime, smoke, pain. The trees choke here. The animals hang from butcher's hooks. Nature is dying in the gutter! Stupid Fakio! These symbols are nonsense to me. So why can I read them? Baal has condemned you to madness. I can only hope it does not come to pass. He's tottering. Another drink might knock him out. Risacchio! Voco flagella. We end the day within the walls of the city at last. Is this what it has come to? When we joined battle for the last time, I did not want to presume we would survive. I assumed it might cost us our lives in order to save nature's realm. If such sorrows are the fruits of civilization, Perhaps there can be no true balance between it and nature. I cannot leave you in this state, love. Huh. That potion did not go down well. Wyvern whiskey, all the way from the Isle of Nimbral, via a guild in Waterdeep. There is nothing to be said just now, not with the way things stand between us. I shall act at once. Dissolve! Ah! I shall aid you. Very well. Someone's marked a spot at the base of Moonrise Towers. <laughs> Worth a look? Then you'll have me. Lead on. <laughs> of course, my heart. Very well. Indeed. After we dealt with the drow that ambushed us, Nettie and I were able to inspect the corpse and the creature that slithered out of it. I fear her time is running short. Is that... a human arm? Uh, do I even want to know... On your feet! Curculus Mortis! What is this place? Wilderness abound, but not of any sort I am familiar with. Looks like it would have made a powerful weapon. Wherever you need me. I'm far beyond ogre ears. If that Selunite amulet is really god-touched, Gale would want to see it. It is up to you to prove the lessons have been learned once more. You deserve to be banished. He made it. Now let's just hope he survives what's on the other side. Corpora sana. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Diore! At once. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. It's done, at last. Soon the land will be unshrouded. We should return to Thaniel when we can. Whole generations were denied their chance to flourish. I must put this right. For them. A sorry prize, yes. One that I wish was not so, but... The world has a narrow view of who can be its savior. Scab-licking vagrant? Benny Kuratu. Better wait until a safer moment. He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, he knows something. Only the missing half may not come willingly. The curse will have sunk its tendrils deep, twisting Thaniel's essence into something else. Ah, 
You face her already. That kobold's aim is somehow worse than her manners. <clears throat> if that is where I'm needed... Dementote! It's already finished. A survivor? Sylvanus blesses us. This could be just the person we need to speak to. One from which he will awaken soon. Speak to me. Oakfather preserve you. Perhaps later. Such a foreboding place is ill-suited to conversation. Veritas! Credo! Oculus! The key from the shapeshifter. It fits this lock. I doubt many will seek to surrender. But if they do, mercy costs us nothing, Karlak. I am hoarding more to myself than a squirrel anticipating winter. I need no further encouragement. Honestly, I'd hoped for more from you. But perhaps things can yet be turned around. <sighs> Unseen. Good. Ugh. A simple no would have sufficed. I will trouble you with the matter no more. Do not worry, my heart. Though in truth, I should not be surprised. She was always said to be formidable and cunning. I could have learned much from her, no doubt. You're too modest by far. What fate would I have met without you? Rotting in the goblin cells? Dying against an onslaught on the grove? This should be of help. There is little need for another power-hungry autocrat. I cannot applaud this. Those boots look quite special. Something for you, perhaps, Gail. Mannequins. For what purpose? An ordinary lamp. Not a trace of magic on it. Indeed. No. At least, not right now. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. Aridissimus! Ah, something of use, perhaps. Uh-huh, uh-huh. A bad impression. <laughs> Impossible. Intactilis sum! A conversation is in order. Yes, you did. You acted according to your instincts, to nature. This is my fault. For real! Allow me. Say no more. Forgive me. Sometimes I forget myself, gazing on the beauty of nature's creations. <laughs> At Lapidum! I have nowhere else to turn, it seems. I went to the grove, but... I cannot face what has happened there. Calm yourself. There is plenty of me to go around. I am Halson, first druid of the Emerald Grove. And I am here to visit nature's fury upon you. Better see what is inside. Your resolve is most admirable. It'll serve you well for where you've to go. Moonrise Towers. They need help. Help that the city cannot provide right now. I shall aid them to make a new place for themselves. In Thaniel's realm, under nature's watch. Look, the Githyanki take flight. Let me see. Mm, Githyanki, by the look of it. An anguished cry, coming from under the windmill. Frange! We need you, my friend. No. <sighs> it can't be. <sighs> Gently does it. Better take this. I made my promise. I will not fail Gith's son on the basis of groundless fears or fickle whims. Perhaps. But words alone are not enough. For real? Of course. That is your right. Tormentum! A letter from Ketherick's wife. Sounds like she loved him very much. I shall see to it. Gortash is no more, and we have not yet even reached the lower city. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. Need this unlocked. You have bonded with Will, body and soul. His scent lingers on your skin. If there is to be anything between us, it must be with his consent. And perhaps someday, his participation. Karlak, I'm glad you can enjoy the touch of another once again. And I hope you are afforded much more time than you have been told. A lifetime and more. 
if I have a say in it. This isn't what I wish. It's simply the way it has to be. I'm sorry. I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as Archdruid. Would she have helped the refugees? Defended the Grove? Controlled Korga? Gladly, but I have some matters to settle first. You go ahead. I'll join you at your camp. An earthquake? But they are not commonplace here, surely? Perhaps next time we shouldn't poke the mysterious ox. No. But some part of him is... missing. He's... hollow. A dwarf called Brian, I believe. Though there's no guarantee that the goblins left him recognizable. You're right. But the work is not yet done. Not while Ketherick Thorne still draws breath. This doesn't have to be your burden alone. Every moment counts, and I've asked much of you already without being at your side. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. Well, that's dealt with. But she wasn't the one pulling the strings here, as do I. Be safe. Seek peace. Let nature guard you and provide for you. And know that there are those who will keep you in their hearts. Always. You bleat well enough as it is. Quodico fake! Uh. Uh. Very well. Once I begin the ritual, a portal to the Shadowfell will open, one that will help me save Thaniel. Whatever happens, I must go alone. Is that so? Would you seek to drizzle honey on a neck before indulging? When I met you, I thought we were destined to be allies. But you made that impossible. A foul place that we have found ourselves in. But at least we survived the fall. Those claws look deadly. Stay on your guard. OBS! A clown's foot. Displayed like a butcher's offering. Facio voco ferry! For you, O oh horned cheek. For the best. Death is too good for it. Fiat lux! Oh, oh. Invigorating, I hope. An astral projection. Cunning of her. Not to mention untrusting. <clears throat> they spoke of the absolute. Same as that goblin, Saza. Curious. Your body's a temple to an idiot god. There must be a way. This cannot be the end. Just for you. Vita mortis carrio. I have lived a very long time. I have taken many lovers. My heart does not stir lightly. But it does now. Then, then it is as you say. They forgot their principles. You had no choice. I will mourn them when I can. Take tonight to rest, recuperate, celebrate. Tomorrow, we can strike out. Nature cares little for nobility. It is pure artifice. But I can still respect your achievement, Will. You shall be a fine duke, I am sure. That did not work. The drink, it's turned necrotic. <sighs> then get qui petitor. I understand. If that is where the matter ends, so be it. Old remains. Perhaps from when this place was first seized. Words won't repair what's been done to this land. Nothing will. I need to be alone. Hostium Monera! Hmm. Hovering yonder like a carrion bird. Perhaps you'll find the courage to peck at some flesh later. Plue. Help is on the way. Quite an elaborate door for a tunnel underground. Sol Invictus! An impressive hammer. You made a hard choice, Will. But not one that is unknown in nature. At times a seedling must strangle the very tree that bore it, if it is to survive. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. It looks as though there should be more to this chest. Ah, uh ah, -huh. 
A false bottom. That odd staff might be of interest to Gale. That creature you changed into. I pray to Sylvanus that you have it under control. Nor I. At my age, I've come to see that little is worth regretting in the long run. Apart from regrets themselves. You won't wake with a sore head from this wine. You won't wake at all. It's poison. Fair, but a decision is still needed. Perhaps. If we can find Thaniel's lost half and make him whole again. Locked up already. An inauspicious welcome to Baldur's Gate. Many died so that we could see this day. They deserve to be honored. But still, we had best make your introduction carefully and gradually. After all they have been through, I would hate to frighten the children. <laughs> and the adults, for that matter. In truth, I'm not sure. This is beyond all reckoning. It's still part of Thaniel deep down, but it may not recognize that. Or want to recognize that. Mean looks. Their eyes are sensitive. Light or fire is my friend. Fronti nulla fides. Something slimy seems to be dripping from the rafters above. Help is at hand, my love. Soon. First, I must set matters to rights in the grove. And you should celebrate your victory. Mortem tuum sum! <laughs> I'll help however you wish. Looks like a shrine to Saluna over there. A hard-earned chance at life. You deserve it, Karlak. Then to Raphael's house we must go. Jahira's wisdom is plain to see. One of the greatest ways in which you can serve nature is to surrender your body back to it when the time comes. That vile, craven Afu is planting explosives in toys meant for refugee children. Perhaps. In Nocte Concilium. Astonishing. This city can be ugly at times, but it can be capable of grandeur as well. Our time with those two drow was certainly bracing. <laughs> Takes me back to some youthful misadventures in the Underdark. That drow cowl might have bits of magic lingering inside it. Any thoughts, Gale? This should help. Do not misunderstand me. I want this. Oh, you came. I was concerned you might have had doubts. Or that this might have all been too soon. It shall be done. There's no time to waste! All these people fleeing for their lives only to be corralled like cattle. Three deaths could win us peace. The Drowm in Thara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. I want to be more than that to you. I have lived a very long time. I have taken many lovers. My heart does not stir lightly. But it does now. Don't waste this. Let's hope the locals are friendly. Such weight I carry. My pace will suffer. These Salunite words do nothing. No point in debating what's already done. Let's go on ahead. The path to Ansur lies somewhere within the prison at Worm's Rock. But what of this mention of torches and sparks? Faccio voco ferry! In fact, I saw just the sort before. Not long after we first came within reach of the Shadow Curse. Fool that I am, I did not grasp their significance at the time. So, I've been traveling with a vampire. One that feeds on his friends, no less. And I... Well... I shall have my own selfish reasons for wanting to see you again. If you wish the same. Consider it in the past now. We must look forward. There is only one god fit to be bowed to in this place. The last god who will ever be knelt before. Then all of this will tear itself apart. <coughs> Very well, whatever you wish. Huh. If you are sure aid is deserved, you will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. 
I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic. I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. All the strength of the lands we healed flows through me, and from me to you. No matter what form you take. Hmm, a steel mold, used in forges to cast armor and weapons. You are Raven God's son. But does that mean you will be accepted as Grand Duke? Do not relent! It's true, and I can't imagine I helped with that. Sometimes I let the task at hand consume me, and people think I'm obsessed. Do not forget who invited those shadows. You have much to learn still. Take me with you! There is simply no chance. I am far too large. A friend is in need. Stabilio! <laughs> The lock yields. Voco potentia. The grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Esto perpetua. I shall see this battle won. Scarcely worth the effort. My bulk is an unlikely vessel for stealth. <sighs> right away. Doesn't work. Right of the timeless body. Ah, the druidic means to slow the aging process. Not only do you speak with a bear, but you free it too? <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Let me get this open. Brickwork and stonework. This place is far out of balance with nature. But the Oak Father will reclaim this all eventually. Someone. Something. Shed flaming fist armor like a second skin. Hmm. To battle. The language of the Mind Flayers. As indecipherable as it is unnatural. Minimus! This will salve you. An unenviable fate. I almost feel sorry for him. I should have allied myself with a boulder. Aridissimus! Let us have words. Yeah, she's not coming back. The brain torments you relentlessly. We must be close. I'll wait here. Just know that you're gambling with the Grove's very existence. At least you recognize your mistake. This is a beginning. A small one. Intelligenti Pauka. No doubt you'd have me flay her or cast her into a spiked pit. But the Grove needs druids. There is much to be done. What's happening? Are you hurt? Parabellum! It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. I shall handle it. Allow me to help. Eyaktote! Consider it unlocked. A shrine of Saluna. Tucked away like an unsprouted seed. Low and quiet. It vexes me to know of you. At once. So, it seems that Vlaketh is Lazel's queen no longer. That took no small amount of backbone. He paid the ultimate price to save our lives. That should count for something, Lazel. It's the only way to Moonrise Towers. We have to push through. Uh-uh. I was right to seek you out. You're after a cure for this parasite. Indeed. We've quite the journey ahead of us. Freeing Mizora. I can only hope it is a kindness we do not come to regret. Era. Morbidus. I welcome all of nature's blessings, whether they come to me one at a time or in multitudes. There is no shame in it. But I know that you, above all, are sure to make the right choice. A shapeshifter? Bears. Not the most dignified depiction. Abuno disque omnis. Time to get this thing fired up. Let us see the battle won. Blasted nautiloid. Need to get to the nether brain now. That symbol. <laughs> Gail, is that Tressim an acquaintance of yours? A spell, clearly. I can't say I'm familiar with it. Esto perpetua. At once. Minthara may prove useful to us. Should we wish to save her? It is done. Ketherick Thorm is no more. Now the land can heal, and the dead can rest avenged. Ah, oh, he's about to belch. The hallmarks of a ritual. But not one I am familiar with. Venenum. Hold on, I shall free you. Shadowheart, these truths that have been revealed to you, I know they must be painful. But Oakfather is my witness. I know you are strong enough to bear them. You need not walk this path alone. Time to move. Uh, I 
official offer aid. What is that symbol supposed to mean? A welcome rest. An unfortunate result. Perhaps we should not have partaken. Mind flayer anatomical sketches. Wonderful level of detail. Uh, wonderful and appalling. Ha! Pet ownership is an illusion. Nature's creatures choose their own companions. No one has true mastery over them in the end, as it should be. Alfira died badly. I can only hope the others that share this campfire do not share her fate. Resurgus! Excellent. Now all I need is that lantern, slaughtered by his own minions. <laughs> a deservedly ignominious end. It is too great a cost. What salvation would that be, if paid for with the blood of our allies? I'll remain here and do what I can to disrupt these cultists' plans. Perhaps I can stop their attack before it's even launched. Farewell. Gortash will be keen to hear of this. Vita. Mortis. Cario! To your health. Admirable stamina, yet terrible priorities. A mirror that steals memories. The Sharans take their worship of loss to extremes. Let nature's fury be unleashed. Gently, does it? Aye. It feels like something down there has them excited. Or scared. Pull, Creor. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. Let's begin. Remember what I told you. We won't have a second chance here. We cannot safely pursue until daybreak. The night is their realm. Maledictes. No matter how it's been twisted by the shadows, it is still part of Thaniel's essence. It will resemble him somehow and may show signs of his power. These must be the poor souls Father Logan sought to help. As do you, I think. This is no time for slacking! Unfair of me, perhaps. But I've had few encounters with Drow to make me think otherwise. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them. Frontinola Fides! Karlak has offered to take up the mantle. I think you should let her have her wish. Her time is short, but she can live on in all the hearts of those she will have saved. No use digging with my bare hands. Scratch was only ever meat of the lowest grade. Something over there. You could use a boost. I shall see it open. <laughs> when you care about something deeply enough, it consumes every thought and word. Thaniel and Oliver are reunited. Nature's spirit is whole again. Take heart, my friend. I had hoped you'd shun Baal's overtures, but those hopes are dashed. To be a vessel for murder itself. I can think of few things less natural. This is welcome news. Most welcome. Blood-stained collars. Huh. Guess I know what happened to all those missing pets. Of course you need help. You are not bound by social niceties, I see. <laughs> I like that. Perhaps I can show you just how much. Another time. What a curious figurine. Not a child's plaything, surely. <gasps> what was... Hmm. Never mind. Unhinged corpse displays. Like artwork ripped from the hells themselves. We must dispel the shadows if we are to survive. The ringleaders have to die. The very natural order of things is in danger. Thanks to them. Hmm. The necromancy of Thay. Ominous, but Gale might find it useful. Your health is my chore, it seems. Morsen Curta. Vita Curtissima. Uh, nothing. It must have been disarmed. He's lucky to have you watching over him. Thank you. Frange. Nature has gifted me a gentle touch. It's done. More cruelly than it needed to be, but done all the same. We should return to Thaniel when we can. Is that... Yes. His hallucinations made real. Very quick to say forever to your newly betrothed, weren't you, Blade? Spira Mortis! Carve a way through the shadows! Cast light on what is sought! Most considerate unwise to poke a bear. Oak Father, give me your strength. Our Mind Flayer acquaintance has wandered off. Not feeling quite herself, perhaps. 
Understandable. Very victors. Very well. Meet me by the lake shore. I have what we need to proceed, but I'll need your help. Be ready. This may prove perilous. I shall help you, my love. Consider it done. A most lethal coating. Every day in nature's service is a gift. The power of nature flows through me. This will help, though it is scarcely deserved. Perhaps. But best to not dwell on nights past. There are plenty more yet to come. Someone lost their eye patch. Hopefully that's all they lost. <laughs> I am here to help. Death becomes you. Very well. I shall seek out your camp as soon as you find yourself amidst the curse again. You carry a most dire burden inside you, Gale. I wish you had shared it with us sooner. But something's wrong. Dreadfully wrong. Schio de Dici Pecto! An ancient citadel, abandoned for years, and for very good reason, until these cultists took over. Your queen's words have set your mind then, Lazel. I would not wish to be the one that Vlakith unleashes you upon. That poor girl, Yenna. This city will devour her as sure as any wild predator would do. Be it through malice or just neglect. Her fate will be sealed by this place. I am sorry, Gale. You tried. Mistra was wrong to turn on you. No matter what mistakes you made in the past. Vita mortis cario! <sighs> Nor am I. Knowledge your face and shit it out! Sylvanus, banish all wounds. No. This opportunity has been a hundred years in the making. It has to be me. And only me. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the grove in my absence. This town. I remember it too well. Much druid and harper blood was spilled in taking it. Only to lose it again. Schio didici petto! This pelvis sports colorful motley. From a dismembered clown. No use. You know, if you and your love ever wish to enjoy the waters with me, I could attempt a kelpie, or even a porpoise. A necklace in honor of the Moon Maiden. <laughs> Beautiful. Worry not, my heart! He was a shapeshifter. <sighs> then we are lucky to have not slaughtered an innocent in front of an audience. In need of aid? No use. This must be locked from elsewhere. And so you shall. As soon as you come to visit, there will be much for you to see, and not a soul among our numbers who will not wish to praise the savior of Baldur's Gate. A ferve! That disc can move, I'll wager. Sounds like a fight. What's going on? There is a ruin, some way outside of Last Light. I caught a glimpse of fresh blooms there, but did not investigate further. I shall mark it upon your map. Eyaktote! I was an unwilling guest of the goblins. But your efforts left them in disarray, and I was able to escape. Ugh. Let us speak then. I need you by my side. This book speaks of Netheril. Can carry traces of its magic. Gale will want to see this. The book was clear. I need to fight myself if I'm to pass this trial. You've shared your fire with me. Your company. A small pocket of light against the darkness but one I couldn't do without. Thank you. Oak Father, preserve us. Francesca has found some initiates still yearn for the false promises the Shadow Druids peddled. She has been working hard to show them the error of their ways. I owe you a debt for seeing to the Goblin's leaders. Now I'm here to pay that debt. No matter how it's been twisted by the Shadows, it is still part of Thaniel's essence. It will resemble him somehow, and may show signs of his power. Precisely. If we can understand just what this magic is, then perhaps we can rid you of this parasite. Hmm. Some strange grooves by the statues. I wonder if they can be moved. Pus-supping maggot! We prevailed. But only thanks to Gale. Frange! I shall handle this. Pizzled rancor! Voss intends to meet someone in Shares's caress, an inn in Baldur's Gate. 
This may warrant investigation. Vanished once again. I must be as a stone. Silent. Ignored. Help is on the way. Stupid Fagio! Salunite drivel. Must be connected with that chest. It bears the same symbol, a turnip. Huh. Not my favorite of nature's root vegetables, I must admit. Let me help you, love. Re-education. As if this sect has not mangled poor Shadowheart's mind enough already. I cannot. There is no room. None shall see me. If you truly need to retread your steps, then you will have little need for me there. You are more formidable than anything that lies in our wake. I helped overthrow Kethric Thorm and his dark justice years, years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. Fulgor! The decision is made. I can only pray to the Oak Father that we chose wisely. Onwards. Unlocked. Good. Must not leave this behind. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. This could be important. Or not unseen as a stalking cat. This must be what that book meant. I need to get across. And that means remembering where these platforms are. I must attack without mercy. That was ample excitement for one evening. We should rest. Defying a goddess, Gale. And one you have known so intimately. I hope you do not come to regret this. That light, it's protecting me from the curse. May serve some purpose. Raphael's passage back to Baldur's Gate. He shall soon return, I assume. I am seldom one to imbibe, but even I shall make an exception on a day like today. <laughs> That's true, I won't lie. But I won't let you march towards Moonrise without knowing what you'd face. Veterans! Join the fray! Eriske. A wise choice. These parasites are a threat to be destroyed, not an opportunity to be exploited. So be it. Hells, his bruise turned to poison. But still, we all failed that little girl. This lock will yield soon enough. Black blood. No, machinery oil. The spill seems to lead this way. I need you! I am not your servant! None shall resist me. Many who deserved an honorable burial had to be abandoned. The Shadow Curse inspired great haste. It was chaos, drow against drow, the clash of blades echoing throughout caverns, the feel of warm blood that I could not see. The dead should be honored or eaten, not left like this. Be gone! Pox-faced loon! Thaniel is no ordinary child. He is the very spirit of this land. If this fist knows where he is, then perhaps we can save him. Save everything. Of course a hag is involved. This is just the sort of foul trickery they thrive on. You shall learn it all once again, right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. Tonitrus! Up! We shall carry the day, my friend. Gith warriors. Some must have fallen to the curse. Be gentle. He's much more than a child. But he doesn't truly know that. But since the curse was unleashed, I have not felt his presence. He is its prisoner, I fear. And as long as he remains so, his domain will lie in darkness. Shah's ire has shaken Shadowheart. And yet she goes on. There is untold strength there, I feel. No use. We shall need to find another way across. <coughs> the magical ward is dispelled. A foul assembly. No corpse should be subjected to this. What is to be found? I don't like it. But if it comes to that, I suppose we have it as an option. Text is too faded. Doesn't tell me who was worshipped here. Odd. Vampire spawn should not be able to shed corporeal form like that. Hmm, a dead language. Something ancient must have been worshipped here. Oak Father, let no case find me. This shall be of aid. Lazel's faith in her queen is unshakable, it seems. I just hope Vlakith recognizes that.
Magus Amica Veritas. Oh. Do not squander this. A rich bounty, I hope. Consider it done. At last count, there were nine whole wagons of children in tow. They are my duty now. <laughs> Daddy Halson, they call me. Who am I to tell them otherwise? Diminuote! I think you feel the same way. You saw to my needs here in camp with the care of a lover, not a host. This circle was used for a summoning. But a summoning of what? Resisto! More earthquakes. Something must be badly amiss below the ground. A brine pool. Depleted of tadpoles, blessedly. No, nothing of the sort. But that is not to say it isn't connected. Best be careful, all the same. <clears throat> As I do you. But nevertheless, I will be gentle. Off I go. Your loyalty stands to you, Lazel. I can only hope Vlakith recognizes it as I do. Fresh blood. And no blacksmith. Okio! Must tread gently. <sighs> but that must wait for now. There are battles yet to be fought. We must save the world before we can dream of ways to better it. Peace and rest are strangers in these lands until the shadows are banished. A foul collection. Something must feast upon all these bodies. It's pride I may. This shall not do. Wrath has promise, but he's not ready yet. The grove needs experience and a strong hand. Ha <laughs> ha! Thou bandy-legged brindlehole! Tape your bottom mouth shut! Shadowheart, aid us! Oculus Tempestatis! Come see us when you can, and be careful out there. Forces may be rallying against Moonrise but Ketherick Thorm is most dangerous when cornered. I know from experience. Few survive long. Those who do are transformed by the curse. It is not a place to venture into lightly. <sighs> oh, Father, forgive me. Oh, I can explain. I swear. <clears throat> Pallida Morse. Let's see what comfort we can offer a grieving mother. But I fear what awaits you will be difficult. There are few places you could go where your new form will not inspire fear, anger, violence. I could seek you out, or you could return to me if Avernus were to yield a cure. This need not be a parting, so long as you fight on. Tempora mutantur. I'll be right here in camp. Take care out there. Angry little creature, isn't she? Well, they are fierce creatures from what I understand. But as long as you avoid the high seas, I think you can consider yourself safe. Treme! Uh, no thanks. I carry enough as it is. Let me strike true! What is this? Simple. And to think this was once a challenge. Still, I could not have forgiven myself had I not taken the plunge. Better to have tried and failed. There shall be no mercy. Hot, 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 surge. Of course, take your time. Some things should not be rushed. Something is amiss. Perhaps we should go no farther. A haunting has come upon you. But the first step is this admission you have now made. You will not walk alone into this night. Remember that. You have carried this burden for too long already. I simply do not believe that Ceramorphosis is the only course left to you. Orpheus must help us. A temple of Shah. <laughs> Hidden deep enough to escape the effects of her shadow curse. Raphael is no more. I shall not shed any tears. An elf takes to the seas. Leaving a dragon to watch over Baldur's Gate? Treme! Tuebor! Diminiote! It pains me to see you like this. A shapeshifter infiltrating our number. Like a cuckoo creeping into the nest. Hmm. A dire threat, if Gortash indeed spoke the truth. Ad maiorum de gloriam. When I first met you, saving yourself from seromorphosis was your greatest wish. And yet now, you've stepped closer to embracing it. Very well. We should return to camp when we can. 
I must see how Thaniel is faring. With the Oak Father's blessing, the Shadow Curse may soon be no more. <sighs> I am aware. I foolishly left it vulnerable to this rabble. There's work to be done. Behold, Elminster's ball bag. What were you expecting? That I'd mumble a spell or whip out a potion? This will set you right. Locked from the other side. <sighs> what lies beyond? Nothing. Amicus animalis. I cannot believe that Gale kept such a secret from us. And now his goddess wishes him to make the ultimate sacrifice in her name. So do I. But one duty at a time. In Churchus Pulcher Imperio! In Churchus Pulcher Imperio! Powerful, certainly. But clearly arrested by magic, too. The question I just can't answer is, who has done this? And why? Shadowheart, to turn from Shah cannot have been easy. But having your family by your side shows you did what was right. Moonrise Towers. Before Catherick Thorm offered it over to the Shadows. Stand up for yourself. Consider it done. I shall help. What news? Teo Cludo Oculus! There is no one I would rather talk to. They won't be needing this place again. It felt like a quake fit to topple Ramazis Tower. An appealing rendering. Almost as good as your real form. Stupefacio! No. This is different. Altered. But I believe I know where answers can be found. Moonrise Towers. A weak imitation. Voss's psionic device is sounding out. It detects something. No. Poor choice of companions, for one thing. Gladly rectified since then. The end is upon us! Ignore the brains, please! It must die! Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorne built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicius, Shah worshippers. I cannot say I understand the reason for his death. But nature will reclaim him all the same. OBS. A casting mold. Could put this to use at the forge. Astarian, the sun is burning you. To shelter, quick. Make a doorway from nothingness. Grant me passage. I need her to stay focused on her training. The Grove will need a skilled healer in my absence. Maybe later. We need to be gone from here. Now. Scholarly pursuits are important. But my heart lies elsewhere. You need healing, my heart. We must use every advantage, love. Vanished. With a sulfurous odor left in her wake. Abuno disque omnes. More of Orin's doppelgangers. <sighs> Baal's ranks swell with them. Come on. All too well. I could even sense it from afar. Now let me confirm it. I need to know exactly what we're dealing with. I know we can. Think of all that we've already survived. <laughs> Our foes should quake to see us approach them. For your sake, I hope some of it is just a fantasy, deep in your heart. One grand victory may not be enough to absolve a host of small failures. <clears throat> I shall handle this. Fancy amulet like this is probably enchanted. Gail, take a look. <clears throat> in my name. Quadico <laughs> Fake! You're not a doppelganger, are you? Trying to study me to learn all my secrets so you can take my place? <laughs> no use. It's blocked. A well-guarded treasure. <laughs> Looks powerful. Options seem painfully limited, I must admit. Oh, something to be discovered? But you need not be alone any longer. You need not invent friends. Daniel is back. He is waiting for you. Resisto Frigus! The toys from the barn. He must have made them here. To owe one's life to a mind flayer. It seems to make a mockery of this entire struggle. Whatever Marcus hid beneath, it isn't budging. I surprise myself at times. I feel the curse. It's draining me. We can only hope he indeed proves to be an ally. Tell me. Was it worth it? Strange looking stuff. 
Is that something you'd want, Gail? That thing's focused on us now. Let's get to the transponder and get out of here. A great many druids once stood here to fight Ketherick Thorm. Few ever left. What are you thinking? This will provide a lift. <clears throat> Still, perhaps I can yet serve nature in another way once our journey has ended. I can only pray that the Oak Father grants me new purpose. Tempora mutantur. We shall have to free him. We shall prevail. Watch it. The acids altered his brew. A bloody ring. Unpilfered. The killer is not motivated by wealth. Punished. Then Floric has been captured. Or perhaps is no more. Ah, a continual flame. Nothing can douse it, near as I can tell. Venia tuva me! Hostium minera! Esurio! Silentium! All this fear of an Inquisitor. He'd better be worth it. There is something tucked away by that debris. Punge! Will intends to take the fights to the very hells themselves? <laughs> I can think of no one more capable. The battle is not won yet. Oak Father, harden my heart. This is where we must part ways. I hoped it wouldn't be necessary, but no. I cannot turn a blind eye to your actions any longer. More of those sea folk from before, spoiling for a fight again. That problem. You're infected with the Mind Flare spawn, aren't you? Oak Father, preserve you, child. Macte Virtute! Inchurtus, Pulcha, Imperio! Zenterim! To battle! The Oak Father must have blessed you to make it this far. Or another eye above? Ah, a continual flame. There's no dousing a fire like this. Someone controls the parasites. Controls the cultists. Someone controls the parasites. Controls the cultists. Someone controls the parasites. Controls the cultists. This looks just like the key in the flop house. Curious. I am an arch druid. Every fiber of my mind is attuned to nature. Give it time. You will sense the rot as well. I am here for you. Thaniel is resting, but it's no easy slumber. I discovered what's wrong with him. That orb can deliver us victory but a sort that we would not live to enjoy. Let us at least see how we fare, and if all else fails, the option remains. A pity. I sensed a, a love of nature and animals in her. There may have been more to her than even she knew of. As I discovered, it isn't so often that the bear is the one being eyed hungrily. It shall be dealt with. A waste of... You have interesting priorities. What in the hells, Astarian? You tried to bite me last night. They have taken both Jahira's friend and her face. <laughs> Their goal knows no bounds. Precis Alia Pharaoh! <laughs> Only a truly callous heart could refuse. Besides, our little abode could use a child's laughter. Huh. <sighs> Where's Karlak? I sensed what was done to you from afar. Now let me confirm it. I need to know exactly what we're dealing with. Light as a feather. We need to keep our guard up. Those brigands got too close to us for my liking. Verviro! That flaming fist survived the Shadowfell. I need to talk to him. There must be a way to rouse him from his stupor. The head of a clown. 
I have little use for this. Volko Glacius! The missing letters may be found within. Oak Father, grant me a light touch. You took it upon yourself to undertake the rite of thorns? To spill blood in this sacred place? I sincerely hope that acquiring that amulet was the lesser of two evils. Invenium viam! Better to act swiftly than stand around and wonder. Let my surrounds conceal me. You are an enemy of nature. To be shunned until you redeem yourself or die. Now go. Whatever it is doesn't bode well. Necromancy. No wonder it's cursed. Oak Father, guide my blow. Oak Father, hear me. Aid me. Force open the jaws of darkness. Make passage for your vessel of light. Shall we continue? Not exactly a friend in need, but very well. A method. But the grove still stands, even if they do not. Thanks to you. Gently does it. Oculus Tempestatis! Oh, certainly. But I live modestly at the best of times, and this is far from the best of times. Too fast for my reflexes, I fear. Sol Invictus! I thought cities were supposed to welcome folk of all walks of life. Clearly, I was mistaken. Some of our war dead from so long ago. Buried in haste when we had to flee the curse. Why smell thou of placenta musk? I shall make my way. You festering bubo! I shall go. Let nature's enemies lie broken. A temple of sorts. Though not a terribly inviting one. Very good. Take tonight to rest. Recuperate. Celebrate. Tomorrow, I'll join your camp, so I can help with the trials yet to come. Mutatis mutandis! They say that history does not repeat, but it does rhyme now and again. This is a rather unharmonious example. Manus potentis paro! There is a particular discomfort to besting one you know to be weaker than yourself, even when needs must. Imperum mortis, video veritatum. Even in defeat, though, Catherick turned to Shah. Not long after we sealed him away in his tomb, the Shadow Curse took hold. No one had seen the likes of it before. No one knew how to react. Allow me. Mizora has something planned for you, Will. I could see it in her eyes. And I fear it does not bode well. I have not crept like this since I had to escape the She-Bear's embrace. Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. Gustas Dulcis. Thaniel still needs our help. Part of his essence must still be out there somewhere. Cannot give up now. No. If you linger, you'll only jeopardize your own mission. This is my burden alone now. Until either the curse is lifted, or I breathe my last. Woe betide the victim of my blow. Are you sure you wish to end the affair so coldly? Perhaps if you speak to her, she may show an open mind. Listen, you! All shall fall before nature's fury. What is to be had? Consider it done. A mind flayer? What foul trickery is this? More! Floric, I need your aid! More Skirta! Do not yield, Karlak. The world has need for you yet. I have need for you yet. Please. Help is coming, even if undeserved. By now we should have seen some small glimmer of Thaniel's power. A sign that the land is healing. New growth, flowers in bloom. But there has been nothing. One of those who died had a clue that was supposed to help us find the hidden entrance to the Underdark. Vita Excolator! That is where true leadership lies. Not in winning a single vast battle but in fighting a thousand smaller ones, making 10,000 difficult decisions, finding balance where none seems possible, day after day. Grey feathers, 
From what? Now is the time for us to take care of each other. Already people are gathering to depart. The promise of a new life inspires great haste. Let us not linger here. We've come too far to be thwarted by a few metal bars. I can sense Halsin. We just have to buy him a little more time. My heartfelt apologies. I meant no disrespect to your sacrifice. Vincere est vivere. Oh, worry not. I shall help you. I am here for you. We had an item of great magic before. What came of it, Gale? Nature solves all. Hmm. Once, you would have to sway hearts in order to raise an army. But with this place, <laughs> any tyrant could lay claim to legions of artificial killers. I must reach there. A tragedy. One of nature's creations slain for vanity. Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. Resisto Akidum! I can only hope he manages to find what he needs. For his sake and ours, this seems like something best left to Gale. Was that a click I heard? There's something about these plaques stuck. There's no leaving without a fight. Stultissime! Apologize for partaking in one of nature's most solemn rites? <laughs> that squirrel should be glad to bear witness. You chose well, Shadowheart. You may have angered your goddess, but now we have an Asima as an ally. At once, my love. Get up and fight! Kaikote! Better see if there is anything useful to be found upon it. There is nothing natural about displaying the dead like so. Let me see. <laughs> ah, tickles. See what a bad influence you are, Astarian. Take tonight to rest. Recuperate. Celebrate. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll join your camp so I can help with the trials yet to come. Manus potentis paro! Ornaments, utensils, and ducks. I like ducks. A light touch pays off. That fist could sleep through the end of the world. And he may do so yet, unless we can rouse him. The path forward awaits. This shall help, deserved or not. Frenge! Whoa! Indeed. Though, I wondered if you might have some empathy for him. Both being former disciples of Shah. A misjudgment. One that should weigh heavily upon her. But the grove still needs her passion. Tibido penas! Kopura sana! <sighs> oh, this text is ancient. A dedication to a forgotten god? Indeed. I know that all too well. Stabilio! This is the sacrifice that Baal demands. I had expected something more... auspicious, perhaps. Moonrise Towers beckons. I've told you all I know. And now I'll join your camp to help you face whatever's to come. Abandoned, by the look of it. Perhaps it no longer keeps afloat. Vanquished. At last. A fair assumption. Perhaps not the truest answer of all, but still in good judgment. To a boy. This tower will hide a great number of magic valuables. Should we care to look? <sighs> I had hoped the stones would have ensured our victory by now, but it was not to be. Let us press on. This is not over while we still draw breath. That's not my chest. Gone already. Hmm. Perhaps the amulet can offer some insight. Looks like there's a little shrine over there. Leads to Athkatla, the city of coin. Raphael certainly gets around. Thwarted again. I must see to freeing that poor dog. I'm certain. The Underdark is dangerous, yes, but the alternative... Is suicide. Be patient and be thorough. The path will reveal itself in time. It is you who should be praised, brother. You are Sylvanus' instrument. And please, just Helsen. I will not demand honorifics of my savior. Yes. Whatever awaits us on the road ahead, we can at least be proud that the Shadow Curse is no more. Sounds like gold within. The takings of this place, perhaps. Let our enemies' corpses nourish the ground. Pearls before swine. Voco Glacius. And I will rip apart your own flesh if you refuse me and find a way to let Orpheus go free. I am to be your mouthpiece, then. <laughs> Very well. Worth an attempt. 
but it would surely be quicker to just free scratch. A key, free for the taking. This looks to belong to the counting house. Hmm. Not working right now. I will help however I can. Let me see to some matters, then I'll join you at your camp. Seems like that Salunite amulet might catch your eye, Gale. You need to remove yourself from that danger. Go wherever you can find solitude, peace. Nature's realm is vast. It shall provide a place where you can be yourself. Ketherick Thorm is the final obstacle. His demise shall unshackle nature and banish the shadows. Hmm. From the looks of that book, Gale might want it. More Bedos! Looks like a crypt. Now to find the final resting place of Shira Clawen. You cyst! You misshapen flesh lump! Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. Uh, I shall investigate. That could have gone terribly. Once the curse is lifted, they can stand as one or as a pair. Whatever they wish. I feel strange. Lighter. Untethered to the ground. Almost like I could float away. I shall see to it. I feel like I'm missing something here. What am I supposed to do? Still, though, this place crawls with life. But little of it flourishes. I see... Refugees unhoused, the destitute unwanted, orphans unloved. Nature has blessed my fingers. Let nature revitalize you. Cantote! Because you are wise. You know the fear and mistrust that can grip people's hearts all too easily. There are cruel limits to who they can accept as their savior. Very good. I shall help. What of Karlak? I cannot lay eyes on her. Vinke qui petitor! Shadowheart longs to speak to Dame Aelin. I should wait until she is free. Accept nature's healing, my friend. Don't be coy. I can sense the imbalance in you. Now let me confirm it, so I can be certain of what we're dealing with. There is no theft in nature, only opportunity. A shore worshipper. I see. It can't have been easy for you to tell me such a thing, given my history. But I'm glad you took the plunge. Gale, what's troubling you? We're nearly at the end, I know it. Curious. I had not expected Githyanki's sleeping arrangements to be so... conventional. Yes, off I go. Which warg upchucked you? I don't hear the Emperor. It can't reach us here, I guess. Dead. By Orin's hand. But no less our fault. Well, I'm glad you didn't feel the need to deprive yourself. To deny the most essential of impulses is to cut yourself off from nature. I shall not hesitate. No more roof. Time to get down from here. What in the hells? You're a vampire. The crown is ahead. Time to cast the spell again. I hear something. Voices. Ostende secretorum tuorum. <clears throat> I can hardly leave you. This, can I? I shall handle it. <laughs> Those who draw breath embrace death. The warning went unheeded, it seems. There you are. Come on out. It must be found, first of all. No easy feat. Dolor! But if this is the way to Moonrise Towers, then this is the only path I've got. And with Ketherick Thorm dead, the shadows he unleashed are soon to be gone. Moving. Your people are blessed to have him as their prince. I just hope he finds peace in his new form. I trust you can restore my faith in you. We need each other. But there's a limit to what I can tolerate. That's what was in there. <laughs> Those little shits. This treasure is a pile of junk. It's open. I wonder what's back there. Killing's never my first choice. But those three were too dangerous to leave alive. Perhaps not. If he truly is a part of Thaniel, then he is beyond life and death. More likely he's just hiding. We should return to where you saw him. <laughs> well done. No, this shouldn't have been necessary in the first place. I failed. 
There is no magic within this volume. Keep up, will you? What shall it be? Stay strong, my love. <gasps> Place this alley a pharaoh! In other circumstances, I would have done the same. The prize is claimed. You could go overland, along the risen road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the shadow curse eventually. I must be as the snake, low and quiet. I do want you to help me, yes, but I am not exaggerating. You can claim it so, but I don't think it will ever be true. I recognize this wine. It is laced with a paralyzing concoction. <sighs> Better take this. Ira et dolor! Shh, our little secret. Ethel, again. Oh, I was hoping she'd found some remote bog to rot in. This artifact must have been precious to the monks. So be it. What is this? I feel oddly enfeebled. Fear not. Nothing is indestructible when nature's full fury is unleashed. Come, boss! I need you! The very same. They save something very precious to me from the grips of the Shadow Curse. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in this very temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. At once. Umbrai! Perhaps it can be reasoned with, but I'm not hopeful. Reason is not something that thrives amidst the Shadow Curse. More disappointed, I would say. At once! So, Oscar asked this mystic carrion for help. Hmm. Perhaps answers can be found with him. Tefideo! Thou fetid fish! Thou rancid shark! Aid is coming! <laughs> Shadowheart's true nature won out in the end. No matter how much Shah tried to bury it. It gladdens my heart to see a family reunited. Racist Ali Pharaoh! Not demons, then. But Githyanki, dead air and deep shadows. Not a place to linger in. A Norman of change if ever I saw one. We should double our efforts to save Thaniel before fate wrests the chance from us. What news? You will make peace with all who shelter here. It is the will of Sylvanus. Truly? I thought you felt the same as I did. You saw to my needs here in camp with the care of a lover, not a host. But tell me I'm wrong, and the matter can rest. I do not wish to sour our friendship, but I have to know if it can be something more. Thaniel is back where he belongs, but there is more to be done. Vivat crescat floriat in ficio. Perhaps you have been trying to protect us, but the cost has been great. Good. Its music might help restore him. Show it to him. Is someone crying? I shall assist. Pipe down! Consider it done. If only that foul creature had been compelled to perform surgery on himself years before. Morsing Curta, Vita Curtissima. The Shadow Curse warped her utterly. Death was a kindness. On my way. Good news for us. There could be some useful potions inside. Imagine upending someone's life in the name of bureaucracy. People are out of touch here. More like my father with each passing day. Thou quivering plague rat! I like what I like. Once you get to my age, you realize there's little point in denying yourself, so long as others aren't affected. You are banished from this place. Banished from everywhere the Oak Father's creations thrive. Isabel's tomb. But her father would not let her rest. All foes shall wilt before us. Is this truly what progress looks like? Perhaps we should aid him. Though we risk angering the crowd if we do. Schio didici pecto! Don't worry, I'm not here just to sing your praises. I believe I can help with your tadpole. Or perhaps not. Sometimes I think conventional wisdom is too narrow about what someone can or cannot be. Stranger things have most certainly happened. <clears throat> Dementote! Looks like an ambush. <laughs> A clumsy one. Come on! Virtus et scientia! If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. Efferve! No, you are mistaken. Rejecting unwanted advances is no failure. 
even if it earned me some scars. If I must, this is what Marcus buried. A dead flaming fist. Did you enjoy the show? It was but an opening act, blood sister. <laughs> you have upended nature's balance. Only your death can restore it. Get thee gone, Custodus Discharge. <clears throat> we still have the means of assimilating Orpheus. You like it? Peruere! <laughs> Don't worry yourself about what I think just yet. We may not have spent much time in each other's company yet, but I joined you because your judgment seems sound. Once the curse is lifted, they can stand as one or as a pair. Whatever they wish, I shall strike. I feel drained. There's necrotic magic at work here. Voco Aranii. Lazel, will you be joining them? <laughs> I knew I could put my faith in you. If only we had met sooner. A curious item. What's its purpose? Grimishkas. Better be careful with any magic. Spells set them off. Next blow's gonna hurt. You sacrificed a great deal for your family, Will. The pact may stand, but the strength of your character is clear. Cages, shackles, all prepared to march captives off to their fate. I'll make my way to the grove. Join me there. Benny at you for me! It is lost to me. Lost to the world. Perhaps there'll be some way to unseal it in the future. Help is at hand. Farewell. May the Oak Father keep you. For I will not. Where to next? This medicatrix! It would be my pleasure. This must speak of the same mirror from before. A foul thing to steal memories from someone. Let us see what is to be said. Such hoarding of wealth. A tomb for riches that could be put to better use. Horribilissimus! Expect anything. He's been cursed to the hells and back. An impressive view. If not exactly a bucolic one. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. The Orphic Hammer is ours. Now to put it to use. Gigans! An Asimar at my side. Few can claim such an ally. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. It's no use. How flaccid is my foolish foe? Open up. Nearly out. Just a bit further. Last light fell because you could not control the violence in your heart. All those people perished because of what you did to Isabel. You must try harder. You must be better. At once. Nature stands with you, my friend. <clears throat> you wish me to go speak? Of course. There must be no more, Yenus. A pick me up, if you will. Looks into Nebra. Be it by stealth or force, we have to press onwards. It may prove impossible to avoid the Shadow Curse entirely, but if you find any way to limit your exposure, seize it. Infernal gems, straight from Minauros. <laughs> Remarkable. Marina is free, but we paid dearly for it. She shall be a powerful ally against Catherick Thorm. I look forward to witnessing her power unleashed against him. Undead crushed underfoot. The Dawn Lord certainly knows how to make space for new life. I could scarcely have imagined a Mind Flayer as an ally or a friend once. But I shall miss you. Nature shall be defended, at any cost. All the strength of the lands we healed flows through me, and from me to you. And whatever company you keep. Yes, I think you feel the same way. Do you remember the celebrations after you saved the grove? There was a connection. Do not lose heart. One moment. Yield or die. No use. Some mechanism holds them shut. Did you find time to speak with your partner? A potentially delicate topic, I understand. This may prove useful. This shall empower you. I see. At once. Your gear to the hunt. How many times has she died and returned? How much agony has she endured? 
No matter how long I live, I will always strive to remain a keen pupil. Only a fool would think he could drink in all knowledge until none is left. There is always more. Nature's tapestry is infinitely complex. Shah sought to rob Shadowheart of her family, of her true nature. But no more. Now the healing can begin. These chests are empty. I shall do the talking. I will not ask you to dedicate yourself to me. I roam as nature wills me to, and your heart remains your own. I just wish to share in it. Ostende secretorum tuorum. Show more care in future. It's gone. That was our one chance. You've doomed this place to darkness! I must reach there. I shall not leave you like this. Locked? <laughs> not for long. <sighs> Are you sure? Holding back is not in my nature, but I would not wish to alarm you. Or harm you. More than interested. If you feel the same. Mm. I remember this place. We thought perhaps we might toast our victory here. But, alas, it was not to be. It yields. Good. All this devastation. But we shall prevail, my love. We shall vanquish this blight and watch the healing unfold. You chose. You die with them. The wrong power source, it seems. Poor creature. Yoked into servitude, only to die like this. I see. It shall be done. Locked no more. Something's alive down here. I'm not sure I want to meet it. Oak Father, preserve us. Could it truly have been so, all this time? Optimistic to think I can fit through there. I assume the genuine article is more intimidating. Nature will determine your fate. Whatever happens to you next, know that it is the Oak Father's will. Only the missing half may not come willingly. The curse will have sunk its tendrils deep, twisting Thaniel's essence into something else. Da mihi facta. Fine. Resisto venenum. Ha! Ah, talented from the beginning, then. <laughs> Almost a surprise you didn't cast magic in the womb. Oh. If that's what you prefer, so be it. There are too many foes to defeat. Reaching the brain is the only hope. The brain's power. Try to withstand it. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest. Celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. You live your life, and I shall live mine. But forgive me the odd, hopeful glance towards the horizon. In search for you. What do we have here? Hmm, a challenging sum. The Chimera has three heads, but does it still count as one? Ah, I see. Well, of course. <clears throat> Back to camp, then. Can it be? I believe that's the same ship that was docked at Moonrise Towers. <clears> hmm, <throat> a wise choice. Let nature determine their fates. Nocturnus! Bet this book of necromancy has some hefty magic in it. Gale, what do you think? Of course. Voss, I call on your might! Deftly done. Oh. I saw a key earlier with those same markings. You understand me almost perfectly. Only my late mother may have bested you. Oak Father, avert all eyes from me. Yes, I hope so. But we have a battle to win before any of that. Right away. Peruere! I shall go talk. <clears throat> oh, don't stop singing. Help is on the way. Not working. So, I am not bound to nature. I am unbound in nature. Let's begin. Whatever happens, do not attempt to enter the portal. And do not let anything interfere with it. The weapon stopped glowing. Hmm. How odd. Easy does it. He's still fighting. The curse hasn't won yet, but he'll need our help if he's to recover. Mm, that seems to have worked. Voss, to battle!
As pride I may. A welcome edge. Shadow druids. This Corga is not to be trusted. Missing. Rascal. Brown puppy. Jagoda. Black and white cat. Zola. Uh, that's a lot of missing pets. A temple dedicated to Shah. More than a temple, perhaps. A proving ground. This must be where Catherick Thorne grew his dark cloaked ranks. These boots have clearly been enchanted with powerful magic. I knew about your tadpole the moment I saw you. An archdruid knows all that is natural and unnatural. I have studied this menace for some time and wish to see it eradicated. Oak Father, protect you, my friend. You shall weather this trial. I know it. Please, I'm trying to be stealthy. A light step and a lighter touch. This lake of blood again. It's even bigger up close. Like a summer's day, thou art sweaty. Time is not something we have in abundance. Lives are at stake. Something didn't like that. Manus, potentis, paro. Rest in peace, Astarian. You may have been a bloodthirsty murderer, but I liked you all the same. Patience. I can't just snap my fingers. But I know where the solution almost certainly lies. I need to get off this building before that thing explodes. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. Time for a conversation. Even I can carry only so much. Vismedicatrix! Boko flagella! Gigans! Hold on, and you'll receive it. I'll make my way to your camp as soon as I've settled some matters. I shall restore you, my love. Books, creature comforts, <laughs> all the hallmarks of someone's little hideaway. Hmm. M. Kerwin. The late courier from the forest had a note that mentioned the same name. So cold. There's something coming. I can feel it in the shadows. Is that... Oh, hells. The shadows have taken Lazel. Nothing but dirt. Voco Arvina. Yes? Morbidus. What lies within? Do not make a habit of this. Oh, things look... different. Nature's blessings. Are you ready to do what is necessary? Oh, Father, guide my step. Cheese from the Dale lands. Or what's left of it? Let nature cloak me from all eyes. Death is nature's final slumber. It awaits us all. Do not punish yourself over those lost, or give in to despair. Not while there are folks still in need of your help. Sounds like sacrifices were carried out beyond here. Vitum Aeternum! Well, consider me introduced. And consider me grateful. Aridin and his lot were looking for the same entrance. They sought an artifact called the Night Song that was supposed to be housed somewhere down there. Allow me to strengthen you. No lock, no handle. How does it open? Come. Feel for yourself. I warned you not to broach such matters lightly. Perhaps you care less for me than I supposed. We'd make better strangers. Vita Excolatur. I took my chance and fled while all were distracted. I never looked back until I breathed fresh air again. And never learned what came of my hosts. I can imagine. You rode out the storm most admirably. The circus. What came of it? <clears throat> Hope is a slender branch to cling to. But few other options remain. Gortash wishes to see us. He claims his guards will allow us to enter and leave again in peace. Kazakuran, the same language as from the door. What comes next? Veritas, Credo, Oculus! Let me see what I can claim. The scent of blood is in the air. Ah, it speaks of the Moon Maiden's sacred rites of passage. I still remember my own gaudy thing. Maybe it can be sold for something more useful. Precis alia ferro! Dantolin's dancing axe. We can find harpers within, from what you hear I said. Breaking a mirror of this size must lead to quite a lot of bad luck. A gith Yankee hunting party. Perhaps the noises from that device heralded their arrival. 
I see. Foolhardy, perhaps, to reveal such a thing to a veteran of battles against Shah worshippers. Foolhardy? Or brave? Indeed. Well, not the most opportune moment, but given the lengths you went to, I assume there's some urgency. You would offer thanks to a beast with a belly full of orphan flesh? <laughs> the battle won't be won down here! It is true. Nature suffered while I dawdled and allowed myself to be distracted. What lies within? At once! Oh. Propria minimus! So modest of you. Indeed, the mighty oak need not boast of its branches. Resus abundat, Kaido! Flagilo! Let me help you. Glacius! This item is warded by magic. <laughs> You're too modest. I wager you don't even know how extraordinary you truly are. But I do. Toenail tasting trout hole. Vocal potentia. Trapped are you? Orin is a shapeshifter. <sighs> Who is to say when she was within our reach, but we did not notice? Spira mortis. Uh -huh. Morphos. Else him better get back soon. Whatever shall it be? <clears throat> Thou latrine-loving leper, es pride I may. Good. They deserve a chance at life. Nature will handle their fates from here. You have no idea what you've done, do you? Or perhaps you simply don't care. Perhaps I can yet turn hindsight into foresight, provided the curse is lifted. A better way for all. Thaniel still suffers. There'll be no improvement until his essence is restored, I fear. There is much to admire, judging by the stories. Hmm. Must be the tree from the note to Korga. What's that cleft there? Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. So be it. The decision is yours, but I'd favor the Underdark. Even a place like that is the lesser evil compared to the shadow-cursed lands. There I shall be. I shall not relent. Perhaps your derangement is so strong that you do not know what you have done. I should just free you from your misery. Downwards. We need to pursue Ketherick Thorm until this is done. You do. But I fear the world is ignorant to its debt. At least for now. But... If I succeed, if I break the curse, then perhaps there will be time for myself again. And for others. A coincidence, surely. Or perhaps not. Pallidamors, was your father a flounder? This will help you. Ah, lunatic then. Where are you going? We have work to do. Enemies to kill. This will help. Mm -mm. I shall see you on your feet again. There's a hag pit stench about you. That skull is massive. A gargatula, maybe. Horrendous beasts. As tall as they are ferocious. It has everything to do with this place. <sighs> the rot is all around us. Hmm. His strength is coming back to him. Soon he'll be able to banish the curse once and for all. Until then, we should do what we can to stop the Absolute. <clears throat> At Maorum de Glorium! Astarian. You have ascended amongst the ranks of the undead. I can only hope that you do not come to regret the price that you paid. Ah! Voco speak I! Always. Others are more deserving. Get rid of them. Release me. Do not yield, Karlak. Stay with us. Stay with the ones who love you. Have no fear. Orin savored the torture of this one. It must have taken days. Relationship. <laughs> Such terms belong to civilization. A little unfamiliar to my lips. You know what we share is more fluid. 
more founded in the principles of nature. A missive from Orin. An ill omen. His pallor is improving at least. You have bonded with Karlak, body and soul. Her scent lingers on your skin. If there is to be anything between us, it must be with her consent. And perhaps someday, her participation. <sighs> Fine. Enjoy yourself tonight. Come morning, we've got a hard road ahead of us. Faccio voco ferry! Sylvanus, bless me. Why is it always a method? I bet Gale will want to take a look at this staff. Of course, my love. What Catherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. The curse has no effect here. What is this place? <laughs> to rest beneath nature's canopy of stars. I can think of no finer way to pass the night. They tried to hide. Tried and failed. Cupio Vertus Lightet Invocote. You're half right. You have to get to Moonrise, but you still have a choice of how to get there. Nothing remains for us here. Let us leave and seek out the final reckoning. What in the name of Sylvanus were those things? I've never seen, well, or smelled the likes of them. That is not what it seems. I see you, shapeshifter. Crescat scientia. A little boost, my love. You may reconsider once you see the effects of the curse for yourself. I have reached my limit. Do not waste this. Ludus non factum est. I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. We should rest these weary bones of ours. You deserve so much better. But alas, I understand. Do as you must. A map of the shapeshifters' locations. And Father Logan's name as well. The killer was here. By Sylvanus's mossy beard. Ludus non factum est. I am ready. This is not a decision to make in haste. Let us talk it over first. Just one piece of clown cadaver yet to be found. Enchartus pulcher imperio! Let me aid you, my heart. No matter how it's been twisted by the shadows, it's still part of Thangle's essence. It will resemble him somehow, and may show signs of his power. Dolor! What use are city walls if the people within them must still live in fear? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 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 A githyanki, tongue removed. They tortured secrets from her, then sought to prevent her corpse from divulging to any others. <laughs> Let's go. Let me help you then. Every moment counts, and I've asked much of you already without being at your side. Quite a bulk to conceal. Even hell would gag on your bedeviled stench. So be it then. We must do all we can to help her reach her destiny. Oh, hells. What did that Mind Flayer do to me? I thought we would be able to help her. I thought we would be able to keep her safe. Well done. Listen up. Inexpugnabilis. Perhaps not. I do not know. All I can do for now is try do some good where I can. Try to help you. Pigeon blood. Some cat dines well tonight, perhaps. I will do what I can to help you. Let us speak tomorrow. You and I both have matters to see to first. Ought to take this. What's that? This will help you. Looks like that elf lost someone dear to him. Driven into concealment, perhaps. Yield to this pilgrim. Do not hamper his path. They're seeking a weapon. 
I wonder if they mean that odd artifact. I will allow you to stay, but consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, our place in the natural order. <coughs> From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. It's the source of this magic, and where the cultists send their captives to be infected. They're building an army. Innocents go in. True souls come out. Perhaps I missed my calling as a thief. That sounds... novel. What is it that protects you? Softly now. Tenebra. How is this possible? I was... all too eager to surrender my responsibilities towards the Grove. <laughs> Perhaps I was never meant to be Archdruid. To be a leader. Quiet! Nature stands by your side. Luckily, there's nothing small about getting to know someone like you. There's little occasion for frivolity in nature. I can appreciate your stance, even if others do not. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet. <sighs> I thought I had been a good teacher to you. Clearly not. Gently does it. You have said as much to me before, only to change your mind. I told you your heart is your own, but I do not wish for mine to be toyed with. Are you certain? Altered. Arrested. Unnatural magic. Altered. Arrested. Unnatural magic. Altered. Arrested. Unnatural magic. No shame, my love. We have all been there. A hammer capable of shattering the bonds in the astral plane. Huh. That sounds like something we should seek out. <clears throat> Anasima at our side. I can think of few allies that could match her. Dum vita est, spes est. Need to keep quiet. What is needed? I am unsure if Shadowheart would have remained committed to the darkness if put to the test. But we did not afford her the chance to decide. After all you've been through together, you just idly stand by as he pours his heart out for you. <laughs> tut, tut. <laughs> Flagilo! Nine hells. I shall open it. Diminue. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. Last light in. <laughs> we rallied here once, years ago. Before the assault on Moonrise Towers. I need you in this fight! Out of sight. Let it remain that way. Once, certainly. But not for a hundred years. Any that still prowl this land can scarcely be called wolves any longer. I can't hold it any longer! I'd still be target practice for goblins if you hadn't come along. I think I can trust you. There is a dark aura hampering me. I must get rid of it somehow. There's worse ways to travel, I guess. Perhaps you should study the druidic arts. With wild shape, you could make yourself as diminutive as you please. Smaller than Boo, even. Not just now. 
I need a moment. That was most of them. Time to press on. I must get into position. Mortem to um some! Didst thou mother sex a plague rat? I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. <laughs> Don't worry. All is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. Ah, the worms shall feast on nature's foes. Poor child. I can only hope her mother does return. She should not be left alone here. Fine. Let me see. You chose. You die with them. I am coming for you, my heart. Healing is on the way. Non-fit endure. Use the tadpole! Dominate the brain! If I must, allow me at once. Lazel, no! We need to find Oliver and get him to return to Thaniel. Otherwise, this curse will never be lifted. I don't feel too good. What did that druid scratch me with? The curse is no more true, but... Imagine if I'd been faster, bolder, better. Lives would have been saved. More than I care to count. Head and brain removed. This must be something to do with the Watchers. Comortuus in lingua mortua. Wrath has promise, but he has a ways to go yet. He wasn't able to stop Korga by himself. The Grove needs experience and a strong hand. <sighs> of course, no slight intended towards your form. I am? The girl's parents should have decided your fate, but they perished. Instead, nature will judge you. Non compos mentis. Dead for good. Mr. Carrion shall not trouble us again. Mm. Wouldn't wish that fate on anyone. Oh. Oh, I am alive. Oh. Thanks to our skeletal traveling companion, no doubt. You seem to be mumbling to yourself. Aren't I enough company for you? A rotten heart beats no more. <laughs> good riddance. My life, part 12. The boring opponent. Soon. Remember the dangers I told you about. There'll be plenty of time to face them. The shadows claimed that poor creature. Its remains are tainted. This fortress was a seat of the High Heralds, I believe. Long gone from here, of course. Fiat Voluntas Day! I am blessed to be without a tadpole. The brain's hold must be strong here. <laughs> Uh huh. Danger going by past experience. A cursed tome, an unstable spell, a haunted poppet. Do this, and the Queen's forces will aid us against the Netherbrain. This way. I think we have earned it. No? No. We cannot resort to that. Not if there's even a glimmer of hope remaining. If we're willing to sacrifice a whole city of innocence, what are we even fighting for? <coughs> a useful advantage. The horns of a war devil. I am not sure I wish to meet anyone capable of taking such a prize. Korga. This is my fault. I was her teacher. I will mourn her when I can. I have? But perhaps there is more that I want. Looks like a magic mouth spell. That voice probably belongs to someone long gone. Given your memory issues, perhaps a goldfish? Ti absolvo! <sighs> then you are an even dumber beast than your druid friend. Few can resist it without dying or transforming into shadow beings. You can try to journey overland if you wish, but I strongly advise you go under. Uh, wait, I could help you find a cure. But I need to settle matters here first. His territory ran from the Wood of Sharp Teeth to Cloakwood. It took half an army to drive him out. How did he end up here? I shall not abandon you. The Archdruid at the time spoke to us all, inspiring our courage. He was a fine leader. Kudo! I can only imagine what fate would I have met without you. Rotting in the goblin cells. 
being sealed away by the right of thorns for all eternity. There's a chokehold of magic binding the creature to you. Any efforts to remove it would almost certainly kill you. Or worse. <laughs> Dead. By her own kin's hand. Traveling to Moonrise is no small task. Expect dangers like you've never seen before. I agree. It'll be good to get out of this place. I wish we'd been afforded more time together. But there is so much to do in the wake of the Absolute's defeat. And precious few hands with which to do it. A Nautiloid? Could it be? I am less anxious to find myself in a city. So removed from nature's power, I do not know how I will fare. Oak Father, I fight for you. You show no pity, no remorse. I cannot absolve you. A fake. They have seized a Starion. He'll be in Cazador's clutches now. Thou necrotic stump! I had no idea anyone beyond their ranks was infected. You have my sincere sympathies. Let me make things a little easier. This would be the worst time to take a nap. Into the fray! Virtus Escientia! Indeed. Thank you for inviting me. I hadn't realized you considered me a worthy accomplice in such matters. I hope you'll keep me in mind in future. I'm almost frightened to touch you. If I give in, I may not be able to stop until I've devoured you. Time to move. I shall handle this. Voscuro! If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a path to Moonrise Towers, bypassing the worst of the Shadow Curse. Video Veritatum. Ketheric Thorm is close. We must take every measure to ready ourselves. Nature must take as it sees fit. I think you feel the same way. Why else would you have been so concerned about whether I had a lover before? Don't have anything to put here. Of course. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. A living witness is unlikely, I'll admit. But perhaps there'll be an unliving witness, or some lingering echo of what we seek. Those who remained are shadow-cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. Klausus! Non movere! I am here. I must whisper. And a hard-won freedom at that. Well done. Obedi me. Resisto mortem! Voco Muris. Allow me to help. Ah, I see. Perhaps I can help you with that. Another time. I shall help. I need you strong, my love. Father Logan's help was not enough to save them. I was concerned when I saw Shadowheart creeping about with a blade in the dead of night. But it was just to cut her hair, it seems. <laughs> it suits her. Anyway, once the curse is lifted... Nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. Let me get you open. Oak Father, guide me. Eretio Inspira! Right. Next time a witty fop insinuates himself into our good graces, I'll check his breath for copper first. That gith Yankee bauble is singing its irksome song. That must mean trouble is afoot. <laughs> Listen to me, preaching like an initiate in his cups. To summon those vines. The power's impressive. Painful truths have been thrust upon Shadowheart. I believe she is strong enough to endure. But her path will be easier with our support. <sighs> we need not speak of trust. Only using the creature, as it no doubt means to use us. Strange. The dust on the leftmost door has been wiped clean. You saw how they wished to burn the clothes of a child. As if being crammed in this very city is not the cause of lice and disease. Perhaps using Ethel's wand wasn't the best idea. This Inquisitor sounds like a real piece of work. Do you think he'll answer our questions? I am not here just to help you. Morton Tuum, son! Who cares what the Illithid thinks? If we can get Orpheus on our side, we're golden. All these lives at stake. We cannot allow this to happen. He's someone else's problem now, anyway. Woods are full of boars. Maybe he'll learn his lesson and start hunting something that won't miss him when he goes. What is it? Crates and caravans. Must be where tolls are collected. The grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. 
an outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. Thank me by returning the favor, why don't you? Come on. I'm sure you've got all sorts you could tell me. What is this boat here for? Kethrick's unstoppable so long as he feeds on the Night Song. We must free her. I've never seen darkness like this before. It's unsettling. A mailed fist. What tale does this have to tell? Low and slow shall see me there. Time to put your trickery to good use, Hag. Do not give up! Hmm. Enemies afoot. Resentment will spring up like mushrooms no matter what I do. You cannot please everyone, and you'd be a fool to try. You fought hard to win back control over yourself. I can only imagine how you feel. Congratulations. Stay strong! A foul thing. The Sharans take pride in the worst sorts of torture. Maya Fortio! Time for a discreet word. Umbrai. And I truly mean we. Every moment counts, and I've asked much of you already without being at your side. Huh? <gasps> I am here for you, Gela. A drow forced me to defend myself. Afterwards, I was able to study the parasite that slithered out of the corpse. See what drives these true souls. I would still be there with you now. If the sun hadn't intruded on us and the city hadn't stirred for the day. Gur hunters, come to our aid, you gore-bellied, purulent horse ass. Interesting. It's ready. I'll return with Thaniel as soon as possible. Stay close to the portal. Buy me what time you can. What's that sticking out of his pocket? It's done. I have him. <sighs> uh, wait. Now that the goblins' leaders are dead, I could join you. Help you find a cure. I just need to make arrangements back at the grove. Find me there if you wish. That was on purpose. <sighs> I will not allow it. <sighs> I will not surrender control. <sighs> Even in this place, there are still innocents. Where'd that child go? Or whatever it is. Dragons overhead. Stay low. Young Albert, show us your fury! <laughs> <laughs> the grove stands. Nature prevails. I owe you my thanks. And an introduction. So... It seems that Vlakith is your queen no longer, Lazel. That took no small amount of backbone. Listen, glory! There's no glory here! Now there's... nothing here. Only shadows. And the total absence of hope. <sighs> Good. Because next time there will be consequences. Here at dollar! No! <sighs> The tadpoles must have died with the brain in the explosion. The threat of seromorphosis is no more. This Githyanki suffered days of torture, trying to protect what she knew of the astral prism. Help is at hand. Who BS? Oak Father, lend my feet purpose. The, the local customs are veiled to me. Are you sure this is wise? I am prepared. I dare say I may rest more easily here than I did at the grove. Oh, a source of pride, true. I can think of greater feats, but that one is cherished all the same. Stultissime! I must act. <sighs> Gigans! I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. <sighs> she rests here. The reunion beckons. Morsin Kurta, Vita Curtissima! I shall offer help. <laughs> A few, but people always warm to the most salacious chapters. Do not give up, my love! The Oak Father compels me. This place is not for me, perhaps. But with you by my side, and the Shadow Curse a fading memory, I shall keep my head high. Gently does it. Sod this for a game of soldiers! No, we cannot give up. Not after all we've been through. Scant few times I've seen youthful partnerships end well. But if anyone was formed to thrive in one, I think it may be you. To your good health, my friend. Nullus Salus! Atresim. I am blessed to see one outside of books. Utventus! 
What was that? I'm glad you approve. I do not truly care if you approve, but I am glad. Resisto Akidum. I heard how you saved the grove. It wouldn't be right for me to let you leave without expressing my gratitude. Crescite undo. A lair of undeath. Most unnatural. We must tread carefully. Away, you poxed nun. What the hells is this place? The curse will consume me entirely if I linger much longer. Amicus animalis. Parabellum. This isn't coin. It's paper. This city fails those who need its aid the most. No child should be abandoned like this. I am close to my limit. I helped overthrow Catherick Thormund's dark justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. All of nature's bounty pales next to you. Do you need something? Speak to me. Pulso. Looks like an army marched through here. I shall set you right, love. I think you feel the same way. Once the power of the Shadow Curse was broken, the connection was undeniable. We both felt it. That's Maul's eye patch. In this place. Sylvanus Protector. <laughs> Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. Yes. You imperiled the grove. I'm surprised you dare show your face. Dolor! And still it draws them in. The safety of numbers. The promise of civilization. The dream of better. <laughs> Nevertheless, I will be gentle. Here it comes! <sighs> Jahira's family is a creditor. She's wise to keep them secret. Safe. I must remain unseen. Seko! Are you feeling lonely, perhaps? <sighs> we are. Yet there is a burden to being the survivor. The witness to others' tragedies. It only grows heavier with time. Allow me to help, please. I am hidden. Conversation it is, then. A fine camp you have here. Certainly an improvement on that filthy cage the goblins had me in. You flatter me. But also overestimate our bond, I think. Uh, perhaps there is another you can turn to. These Sahuagin rarely venture out of the depths. They must be drawn to something nearby. Ah! Ah! Shadow Druids. Korga means to turn the circle. Sol Invictus! City Watch! Defend your home! Manus Potentis Paro! Parabellum! No. Hmm, nice view. Aridissimus. Whoa! You. I discovered you. I have lived a very long time. I have taken many lovers. My heart does not stir lightly. But it does now. Grand Duke Ravengard. No use digging here. Not so in my experience. <laughs> there is little I cannot whittle. <laughs> the ground trembles. What is happening? The shadows could not have tempted her if I had taught her as I should have. Tread carefully now. I have no room. Extende. Without Daniel, no. And I don't know how I can find him without speaking to this man. Oco Nubis. Oh no, Astarian. We need to talk. We know you're a vampire. An unenviable fate. Unfinished business. And a lifetime of regret to repair. Hold on. Help is coming. You have sullied our camp with bloodshed before. It shall not happen again. Have no fear, my love. Head's gone. With the rest left for the crows. What is to be discussed? Vincit qui petitor! You prevailed, my friend. Now your path takes you to Baldur's Gate. But I cannot join you. Such a rigid code. This must not be an easy place to come of age. Perhaps there's something else I can offer you. And you saw this boy yourself. That can't be a coincidence. But we need to be sure. You worship Shah. That umbral witch unleashed a plague of darkness on nature. 
her followers slew many of my fellow druids. Just as foul a sight now as it was a century ago. Worse even. Mm -hmm. Gladly. I have no space to take any more. Frozen in place. Even I cannot force it to move. A dreadful misdeed. One she will never live down. But the grove still needs her passion. But I know what you did. I shall not forget. And I shall make it my purpose to tell all of what you did for them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. Ah. Nearly had it. In the heat of battle. So be it. Vivat Crescat Floriat! I shall go speak. It would have been easier if you just died, Korga. Now I have to hear your excuses instead. What do you know of Umberly Astarian? Fiat Falun to stay! You can rely on me, my heart. He did not hesitate. A true sacrifice. And a noble spirit. May his spirit find its way home. Some can thrive here, yes. But it was never meant for everyone. There should be a choice. Nature should be afforded its chance to offer harmony to those who need it. Hmm. Of course I shall help. Do not harm them. Surely they must be important to be held captive here. This sword has all kinds of power running through it. Gail, want to look? Gladly. Let's put an end to this, once and for all. A fellow druid. I can count on her to tend to the grove in my absence. Help it heal. Volo non fugia! Thou goblin goo gobbler! Yes. I'll bring him back to camp. He'll be safest with us. The platform's already here. Let nature conceal me. I just hope I don't seem boring to you now in comparison. Perhaps I'll need to, uh, redouble my efforts in future. <laughs> Will Orin truly free Lazel if we slay Gortash? I'm not so sure. A rescue may be in order. I must continue to investigate the curse. This may be my last chance. I shall await your return when you are ready to continue. I will not leave you like this. I am like an overburdened pack mule. It's both simple and not. We need to find Thaniel's missing half and make him whole again. My, and to think some shun organized religion. Wounds have healed. Damage has been undone. Balance has been restored. Those who seek to serve nature there can once again do so with all their hearts. If you continue this course, I cannot remain by your side. I'm sorry I need to say this, but there will not be another warning. Curculus Mortis! The remains of Dark Justicias. They were formidable in battle all that time ago. I will never forget your part in this. Nor will Thaniel. The brute is slain. <laughs> To Raphael's benefit, it seems. I'm glad. Being comfortable in one's own skin is key to happiness, I find. All these implements, just to elicit screams. The Sharans treat torture like an art. This leads to Menzo Baranzan. <laughs> Takes me back to my misspent youth. This will not work. I should look elsewhere. Gently. Explosives. This toy maker must be intent on shedding children's blood. Morse Kurta. It wasn't just power this needed. It was wisdom, understanding. I suffered along with this place for years trying to understand the curse. And it seems I will continue to do so. Am I explosive? You wish me to go speak? Oh, of course. Help! Get me out of this thing before the whole building collapses! An ode for you. Ode, mayhaps. Hold tight, my friend. Is something afoot? But I'm afraid it won't be easy or quick. I can't. Whatever powers I have, they are dwarfed by the evil of this place. <sighs> Find whoever's behind the parasites and the magic. If we can understand it, then perhaps we can cure it. Provided you survive long enough. The longer I stay here, the more the shadows will take from me. <laughs> what stayed behind would have been the strongest part of him. But after all these years left in darkness, 
Corruption must have taken hold. The ogre must have moved on to new deals. The Blade of Frontiers! Help is coming. A little oversized as Lanceboard sets go. Playing would amount to a test of mind and body. There is naught a clear and meditative mind cannot overcome. After we stray, we return to the fold, having learnt to do better. And in the fold, Corger is needed. Come here. Oh, please. If I must. I wish it could be so. But a new task awaits me. Follow Chiontha. But beware. Danger ahead. Darkness. Follow Chiontha. But beware. Danger ahead. Darkness. Follow Chiontha. But beware. Danger ahead. Darkness. Orin, she managed to seize me from our very own camp. Maleos, do not give up yet. Does it matter? We managed to stop it. Mm, locked. The means to open it may be nearby. Sometimes it is difficult to see exactly what we are fighting to save here. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like Korga was right. Nature can only survive away from all this. Agilius! Hmm. It won't move. Is this it? Hmm. Seems a little underwhelming for a holy relic. Consider it done. The Legend of Ansur. An epic poem from the looks of it. And we are without the means to free Orpheus. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. Hey, you! To work. All gone. Devoured by the shadows. Oakfather, preserve us. It's just like a hundred years ago. I shall need to think on it for a while. For that at least, I am thankful. Ah. Halsin. First druid. Halsin. First druid. Halsin. First druid. Piss-addled pontificator! Diminiote! You are needed! Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. What? What is this foul place? This place is even more foreboding than the rest of the crash. Look where Sitibi Placket. Oh, well. Your choice, of course. A kiln, unfinished sculptures, stone fragments. Hm. Masons worked here. The spell is cast. What's done is done. As the leg, you'll end in defeat. Best not to touch the chest of offerings other mortals have left to their gods. But I can use the altar to pray. If we do this, I need you to understand exactly what I do not ask of you. Viconia, to battle! Unwise, perhaps, to poke a bear this much? Makeske! Perhaps. But I fear it would take an entirely fresh start to mend the ills of this place. Are they? But in either case, it seems I was insensible for much of my ordeal. Small mercies. Perry! A house of healing. For all the good it does anyone now. Hmm. In Baal's name, I shall deal with this. What comes now? I hope they will remain as a pair. It will be good for them both to have a friend, once I'm gone. A ruse, surely. 
You cannot actually intend to betray Shadowheart. After all you've been through. Can you? Something's buried in the dirt. Is that a femur? The sight is unnatural, but I can look past the form to the spirit within. You did this for all of us. I'm indebted, not repulsed. I heard what took place at Saluna's shrine, Shadowheart. Was such defilement truly necessary? Contrary to how some think of us, we druids can play politics when necessary. He's down. Time to hit him with all I've got. You drow relish turning on your own if there's something to be gained. Don't pretend otherwise. I am prepared. I am here to help. Prudent. But I hope we don't have to contend with the perils of the curse for long. There is more to living than just survival. Much more. Huh. The secrets are revealed. My eye is keener than this artist had anticipated. So it seems, though I don't know how. You will have to choose your approach carefully. Not quite the outcome we were expecting, is it? You face the scorn of a goddess and still draw breath. That is an uncommon feat, Shadowheart. They just keep coming! I could come and help you, but be warned. I won't be able to suppress my animal side. Subtlety will not be an option. Gela! I shall handle it. This forms a ring, once reunited with the piece found earlier. Unnatural steel beings patrol the streets. The printed word sows discontent, and those in need are treated with disdain. I'm glad you still think we have the luxury of being picky. Let's just hope another option presents itself. Let me work my magic, love. Soft as a summer breeze. Into Lego. The lock is undone. She is no more. This place shall need a new name, it seems. I need no further prompting. <sighs> Come on, up! It drains power from a host. Fittingly parasitical. Ellie May. Huh. I think I read that name on a tombstone. <clears throat> Locked. There must be some way to get these open. Oi! Ah, oh, did someone pet you a bit too hard, pup? I thought you liked it. I think Scratch is up north. Playing in a goat farm in Icewind Dale, of course. I believe you when you tell me that your symptoms do not wholly align with the makings of the parasite. But until we remove it, I doubt we will be able to isolate the rest of your troubles. Get out. Get out of my head! Ah. Mortalis! <laughs> now you see me. A grim sight. One that smacks of necromancy. You and I may struggle to go unnoticed in such environs, Karlak. This must be where Shadowheart used to tuck herself away as a child. <laughs> Her own little burrow. Cupio Virtus Lightshit! The brew's been chilled. Do not worry, my friend. Our work is not yet finished. Not until Ketherick Thorm's last breath flees his corpse. Let us pursue him. Hinnote Concilium. Deftness is called for. It's decided. Let's go. Tormentum. Farewell. I don't expect we'll meet again. At least, not in this life. Still, I could not have forgiven myself had I not taken the plunge. Better to have tried and failed. Perhaps not. If he truly is a part of Thaniel, then he is beyond life and death. More likely he's just hiding. We should return to where you saw him. That would surely test even the most open-minded. Yet perhaps I am wrong to hesitate. Caveat incantato! Infernal artifacts. A little exotic for a humble curio shop? No. Everything went exactly as it was supposed to. But there's something... something else. Something missing from Daniel. Few other paths remain. Perhaps it isn't wise to shun the one who just saved us. Even an illithid. Without hesitation. <coughs> <coughs> Haven't seen that game in years. What the... I am quite fine standing, thank you. A cambion. The Absolute truly does ensnare all sorts under its foul banner. 
What happened, happened. Standing here arguing won't change it. Gale? You seem distracted. Does something trouble you? Let us be mindful in the future, at least. There are few fair bargains. At once. Vita mortis cario! Hold tight. Be wary of anyone who actually wants such a role, I say. Likely they don't understand it, or they have ill intent. Good. Now they die. These names upon the doors. Famed wizards. Each one. A carrion bird would have more dignity. <laughs> this city feeds on those that need it most. Tore! A magic mouth spell. <laughs> Sounds pretty important. Only the finest, of course. What the hells? There was a creature trapped inside. Someone's moving around in there. Do not give up. Careful. The theft of the most important item in this place will surely not go unnoticed. Perhaps there's still a way to learn something from him. The dead can't deny their knowledge if asked the right question. Where did he go? No time to spare! Kaikote! Thine eyes! Pools of tepid piss! You need assistance. You're here. Good. And not a moment too soon. A winged Asimo was seen in the skies overhead, and now an assault on Moonrise is brewing. Poor creature. Locked in a cage. Denied her true nature. Civilization would call her a monstrosity, yet it treats her like this. Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. There's a breeze down here. Wonder where it's coming from. I thought you'd help me. I thought we'd help each other. Instead, you chose this. A headless zombie? Why would watchers conceal such a thing? I shall help, my love. The toys from the barn. This is where he crafted those murderous little things. I had better help. Good. This quarterstaff is now free for the taking. Dissolve! Now, the final decision rests with you. Whatever you choose, I shall be by your side. Very well. Very well. To us nil! Words must be shared. I am ready. Not a decision you have made lightly, I trust. You have my support, no matter what. We cannot prevail without that! Low and quiet. Only by a reputation. She was present when we marched against Ketherick Thorm, but on the far end of the battle lines from where I fought. Tadpoles. It cannot bode well if these are being smuggled into the city. Worry not, my friend. She's too strong. You have to turn around. Go. Let me buy you some time. She's coming for you. What are you doing? No! She can tend to the grove, help it heal. In time, others will join. Perhaps someday, I can return. Time for a word. Arabella? Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know, and neither do any of the others. Voco mm. Muros! But I didn't bring you here to witness an old druid's grandstanding. You have a part to play in this. And I trust you will play it well. Hold on. No mere artwork. This painting is cursed. Flaming fists, harpers, refugees, perhaps. The Shadow Curse has indiscriminate taste in victims. Right away. Over there. Dissera. Oh. Dying under this monastery would have been a shame. Ad vitam aeternum! This ought to help. It must be found, first of all. No easy task. Allow me. Blood and bits of armor. Worrying. Into Lego. Where to next? Graves. Someone had to bury their dead in a hurry. Very well. Come see us when you can. Incertus! Pulcha! Imperio! Only one chosen remains. For now. I shall aid you, my friend. If I could join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I could have both helped you find a cure for your infection and lifted the curse. For a while, after the Shadow Curse was lifted, I felt hope in a way that I hadn't felt in years. I cannot open this. Better look around. You need not ask twice. Ketherick Thorm, leading Shah's forces. Quite the about face for a warrior, Saluna. <laughs> 
So close to grasping the problem, but you fell short all the same. <laughs> you had better sharpen those wits if you hope to spare your friend the true blade. You should feel free to roam as your heart desires. You are all I want, but I will not hold you to myself. Let others know the happiness of being with you. Uh, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? Help me kill the leaders of this horde. Save my grove. Then I will help you. That bright tower. It's moonrise. Or it used to be. They keep coming. Without respite. A devilish skull. Replica, I would imagine. Unwieldy thing. De execro. Horribilissimus. Oh. Oak Father, preserve us. How are we to get through all this? This is different. There's more fingers on our hand than there are survivors of that place. Mundus Volt de Kipi. Looking for you, of course. We have work to do. Perhaps it can be reasoned with. But I'm not hopeful. Reason is not something that thrives amidst the Shadow Curse. <sighs> I'm 350 years old. Of course there have been lovers. Just because I love nature doesn't mean I'm betrothed to it. Though sometimes, nature needs reminding. The longer I stay here, the more the shadows will take from me. We need light. Extende! I had high expectations, but even still, I am impressed. You may know me better than I know myself. The right of thorns. No. Ah, a passage to Neverwinter. Jewel of the North. Lovely as cities go. Flagra! A ritual circle. The moon lanterns must receive their enchantments here. <laughs> I meant more in terms of size. Folk of our stature can be a lure for drunkards seeking a brawl, I have found. He went into the shadows alone. Madness. Was there something else you wanted, my heart? Imagine fleeing to the city, only to be met with suspicion. The refugees face hardship at every turn. Hard to believe we have actually prevailed. But it is true. No. This isn't right. Now we will have each other, but not just each other. Our hearts are... Free to roam, together or apart, as nature designed. What I would not give for some fresh honeycomb just now. I wanted to try and find him, but we couldn't stay. We would have all succumbed. When the Archdruid of the Grove, my predecessor, was seized by the curse, I had to lead the survivors to safety. <laughs> Minsk has great heart. We shall need the likes of him for the trials to come. Velviro! That's that settled. I was not here to guide them. Now they rest forever while I carry the weight of my failings. An earthquake, perhaps? Strong enough to rouse the dead, too. Damihi factor. No hope of clearing this without a shovel. So, only a mind flayer can wield the stones, if you trust the Emperor's word. You are already part illithid, but this is a whole other matter. Allow me to help. A dragon. Impressive. Even as bones. Horribus tenio lupum, parchment pallid villain. I have responsibilities. People who are counting on me. But perhaps, given time, their roots will grow strong enough that they can stand without me. Some bolstering is in order. Oak Father, guide my step. But know that if you are open to it, I will not demand commitment of you. Your heart is your own. I just want to share in it. I am glad you have reconsidered. But please don't trivially bring up such difficult topics. 
My heart can be wounded just like any other. I'd swear that ox's gaze is following me. I want more than to fight at your side, or sit around the campfire with you. I want to lay with you under the stars and feel your skin against mine. Shah's armies of destruction arose from within these halls. Mm -mm. Very well. A friend in need. And where do you suppose that ship was taking you? Moonrise, I'll wager. The journey differs, but the problem is the same. Ship's going to buckle. I need to get to the helm. Is there a dead tadpole in that jar? There's no getting past those vines. The ritual was thorough. The Oak Father's work is never-ending. Cupio Virtus Legit! I still have hot blood in my veins. Nature gifted us our desires, and the means to act on them. But we muddied its beautiful simplicity with rules, social strictures, clothes. If you insist, a surprise attack. Very well. Omnia Mutantur! Confucio! I doomed her and empowered Ketherick Thorm. My research partner prefers to avoid crowds, and so has remained in the Underdark to monitor our Zirkwood samples. An elf sailor befriended to a dragon. <laughs> Nature truly does allow for some unlikely pairings. Treme! Praces! Alia! Pharaoh! The curse still remains. This is no ordinary paint and canvas. Oh. <sighs> You wish to speak? There. Very well. This will help your wounds. The first blow shall be mine. Give her a moment. Better get this open. Oh, this will do some damage. I need you in good health. We need you in the fight. <sighs> some bloody help. Careful. Should the hag die, the child will perish also. Invisibilis. I shall force the lock. This Orthon seems to show artistic flair in displaying his victims. A missed calling, perhaps. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I didn't realize we had time to read children's stories. There must be another way to open this. You're dung pretty, and scented to wit. There is a tunnel leading from the Temple of Saluna right down into the Underdark and beyond. The entrance is hidden somewhere in the ruins. Better see this open. If I must, at least you were not present. Grim as it is now, it was worse on the day of the battle. A vivid wound upon my memory. Mindless gorging? No, that is not right. I did not realize you thought that of me. You've already been. Impressive. You'll make me redundant at this rate. What did you find? Resisto! Ketherick Thorm is vulnerable now. Now is the time to strike. Ignis! This place needs me. I wish it were different. I truly do. As long as the curse remains, so must I. Hmm. Moon Maiden's Grace, it's open. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Do not give up. We shall prevail. Intactalus sum, you louse. You might. Predators kill because they must eat. This is just murder. <laughs> the belly of the city. How many people are born, live, and die within these walls without ever seeing the depths of nature's beauty for themselves? I shudder to think. Gustas Dolkis. Unseen and ready. Come on, get back in the fight. Crescatskientia. The true Raven God remains in there somewhere. Perhaps he can yet be restored. Your breath had killed the dead twice over. I think you feel the same way. The connection is palpable. In accessus, none shall withstand me. The nether brain's power, it grips you tight. We must keep going. Evanesco. You need this, my love. Orin has made off with Gale. We must rescue him. Unless you wish to kill Gortash for her. Pungay! Nature cares little for nobility. It is pure artifice. But I can still hold some respect for Will's accomplishment. He shall be a fine duke, I am sure. But it heartens me to learn you and I share the same admiration. Perhaps you can enlighten me. Control yourself. 
There is enough evil in the world without you adding a further measure. Hmm, a pixie. Not what I expected to run into in these parts. No power. How does this work? Speak your mind, Gale. Let go of that weight you have been carrying for Mistra. So, I'll remain with you. If you'll have me, that is. Mortalis! My senses betray me. What is it that I'm missing? Wrong. You are the beacon that will guide me home. Let me assist you. Not keen on fighting its allies. <laughs> Should have figured. Then, very well. This chapter is at an end. I can only hope you have many more, each filled with happiness. I am not your nursemaid. Let me see to that for you. Please, don't sully the gratitude I feel towards you by making excuses for Korga. My choice was clear. Moving! Time for blood. Ad vitam aeternum! Resum tiniatis! Incende! Scio! Didici! Pecto! We shall win this, my love. If you insist, look for life in the darkness. Wildflowers, where everything else is dead. The curse cannot subdue the power Thaniel bears. Not entirely. Sicarius. We should seek out this tombstone store. From there, you choose the road to follow. The Blade of Frontiers. A man of his own making. Indeed, and may the Oak Father watch over us on our journey. We will speak soon, I'm sure. Te ad stringo linguam. Thank you. I would hate to have to flee from the Shadow Curse once again. <sighs> Damn. Completely stuck. I wonder when it was used last. There is a terrible curse surrounding Moonrise Towers. A Shadow Curse that drains away all light and life. Now an assault is brewing against Moonrise, our time may be running short. We need to awaken the fist before it's too late. The lowermost part of the netherbrain. We need to climb higher if we're to stop it. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. These sigils. Druids and harpers alike try to seal away Kethric Thorm in his foul tomb. To no avail. It's Alibi! Not even a pack of hyenas would leave a carcass in such a condition. Please, wait. I did not want this. I could not stop it. A ferve. There is no deal with the devil that I would willingly partake in. Declining Raphael showed great wisdom. Something is amiss. <laughs> oh, child. You have drifted far from the Oak Father's teachings. I should have a word. No, you can't be here. It's not safe. She has my scent. Tornitrus. Incapable of speaking yourself? Fine. For the absolute love limb of a lecherous lich. I'm sure there's better things you could find to read. I had hoped there might be a greater sense of balance within the city that its walls might enable sheltering within it to foster community, peace. Yet it is not so. Leave it to me. Fiat Lux! I thought Lazel's faith in Vlakith was unshakable. Perhaps Vos shall prove to be a more worthy ally to her. Venenum! Looks like using magic around these things is more trouble than it's worth. I am here to serve. Uh, not so hasty, friend. With the goblins' leaders dead, I can help you. I'll come to your camp once I've settled some matters. Invisibilis. <laughs> it shall be done. Hmm. Nature used all of its powers when it sculpted you, Astarian. Truly? I was sure we had a connection. You seemed more than a little curious about my current love life, for one. A hidden layer buried deep in these ruins. What was Carrion up to? May Sylvanus guide us. Yeah. Silks from Cormyr, it says. Empty, though. Perhaps there is a way to turn its power against Ketherick Thorm. What is that? Almost looks like someone was trying to grow a person. One of us must take this step, Karlak. Your time with us is dwindling. Please, 
Make it count. The brain is not in reach yet. We need to ascend higher. The life is ebbing out of me. I need aid. I fear not. The vapors in this alien cloaca are... most bizarre. Huh. Where's Lazelle? And with her free, Thorm is vulnerable. The time to strike is upon us. Desera. Tenebra. I... I suppose it is, yes. Uh, but... Perhaps do not refer to her as such. She is a vengeful, capricious goddess. Who knows what may cause her ire? Propria! I shall get you in order. That voice. Could it be Shah herself? Or some magic echo? It felt like a bloody earthquake. A brew so potent it makes you explode. Perhaps it has some use, though I struggle to see what. I fight for the Oak Father's realm. A head parted from the trunk. The true dribbles, I assume. There, unlocked. Even the most loyal of companions needs his rest. <laughs> Sleep on, Scratch. The stink of that place might never wash out. Lazel! No! Teocludo Oculus! I shall take this. You would use a child as your shield. No more. It shall be so. She is immortal. And enraged. What have we done? A very likely outcome. In fact, I saw decorations of that very type, and worse, in my time there. But my luck held. I hope not. I truly do. But the signs say otherwise. <clears throat> it was a long time ago. The wounds don't heal, but they become more bearable. Rhesus abundat! Ketherick Thorm shall be vulnerable now. The time to strike is upon us. At once. Shall I compare thee to a sow's fart? Let me see what you have. Te Exicro! Kitius! Astarian, I am astonished. To relish an intimacy again after such hardship is... a wound many never recover from. Hurry! Get to the brain and cast the spell to compel it to submit. I shall buy you time. We were as one. The warmth of your skin. The feel of your... I cannot believe Mistra would truly sacrifice a mind such as Gale's in order to stop the Absolute. He has so much potential. He will sorely miss that freedom, I sense. It may be quite some time before we see him again. Gladly. Only one way to find out where it leads to. Let me see what can be taken. Pernicious, putrefying pissant. The statues reveal a hidden path. <laughs> Most clever. A welcome advantage. Make some effort. More pigeon remains. Headed for the open hand temple by the look of it. Voco Aranii. Seems I can understand a lithid script. <sighs> Thank you, Tadpole. Ex bello te! Unseen until it is too late. Imperum Mortis! We should return to the archive and see what that devil has logged away. There, of course, yes. Not a parasite we can do without. Better retrieve it. In accessus. I shall see to it. Necromantic rites. The victims are being leached of all life and left as undead slaves. <coughs> <coughs> uh, safe. A little less hair-raising once you know how it works. You broke Dame Aelin shackles once before. Do not help this one to forge new ones for her. A fine camp you have here. My apologies for showing up unannounced. <laughs> Wetter than a ten-tongued tarpon. Just my pride. I can't believe I allowed myself to be knocked unconscious and spirited away like that. No! Free me! The battle is not yet over, yet we still stand. Let us finish this. I wager that blade has a mighty enchantment. Gale could tell me more. And now you betray me. Another oath shattered then. I don't understand. What am I supposed to do? A cruel parting of ways with Shadowheart. I can only hope the allies we have won will be worth our betrayal. Leviatar. Sounds like a violent goddess. A Saluna prayer book. We should leave it. 
Unless we need kindling for our campfire. I'll be ready. Over there? Of course. Slain dark justicias. Still where we left them to rot. All those years ago. A letter from Orin. Grim tidings, no doubt. I need to get there, unseen. There have been difficulties. Some initiates harbor too much admiration for Korga's course of action. Francesca will do what she must to rid them of such notions. A religion or a cult? All influenced by their absolute. That's not mine to open. Cut down by goblins. How cruel, that corpse. A tiefling, but not one I recognize. Something to be said. This will aid you. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Calm yourself. They're survivors, not soldiers. Just another crate. Hidden in the depths. The perfect place for nefarious secrets. I shall take this. But that said, don't allow me to talk myself out of a night to remember all the time. <laughs> Skio! Didici! Pecto! I can't fit through here. Wonder if there's another way in. There is a note beneath the canvas. Configo! Ah! Perhaps fate will afford us more time together. I hope it does. Okio! It shall be done. No matter. The deal is done. And the sacrifice was made. Lucky I made it out. Detono! The underwater craft is beyond use, it seems. Mouthier than an ass, twice as full of shite. None. The grove has cut itself off from the world to jealously guard its own little pocket of nature. No one shall ever enter or leave again. Seems odd that the Gith set up base in an abandoned monastery. Roland? Is he looking to get himself killed? You will stay as a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, the natural order of things. Unleash me! At least try and not be a hindrance. A most curious sort of jewelry to find around here. What might this be hiding? Kaido! First druid, and now last druid. <laughs> Thanks to us. The sun is no longer your friend, then. A freedom you shall sorely miss, I feel. Get back in the fight! I must not stop! In a spot of bother, my love. Don't get used to it. One taste of regal power might have you craving more. So many unfortunates must have been infected in this place. Imagine the horrors. Do not yield. I am here for you. What can I spy? Odd things? Wonder what plane they're from. Unholy assassin? Not a title I would covet. It's the chair. It's connected to the ship, and the ship's connected to the Mind Flayers. Come, do not miss our victory. Gale! No! We must be cautious. That sound. Something has been disarmed, no doubt. Allow me to speak. I am prepared. Hmm. I had a friend when I was young, long ago. He played with me in the forests where I grew up. But eventually I realized no one else had heard of him. I've no right to ask more of you. But if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. A Sharon idol. It's beautifully crafted. Both Orin and Gortash are slain. We shall rest well tonight. Let none impede me. Well, this is quite the mess you've gotten us into. The shadows rendered him in two when they bore him away to the Shadowfell. Half of his essence remained here amidst the curse. Hmm? We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Thaniel. Ah! I can think of others I would rather tend to. With the Oak Father's blessing, I can infiltrate the Shadowfell, but doing so will sap my strength. I'll need your help if I'm to return. Secreti umbrarum. A little help is in order. What am I supposed to do here? It's never been that simple before. I don't know why it would be now. Wearisome using but two legs. I long to be on all fours. Resisto ignem. It caused much bloodshed. But a throne such as this shall not remain empty for long. Time for a word. <sighs> 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 Poor 
so. But in truth, if I had to choose between death and the Shadowfell, I'd choose death. An unfortunate battle. But I must stand by those I count as allies. I need you in the fight. Is someone singing? Chaos is welcome in doses. It helps keep balance. But this is too much. This is... unnatural. <laughs> I hadn't realized I was that popular. Stealth is in order. You can't die! Not like this! If you insist. Pull, Creor! Barrel sharp! The wit on you? What is to be said, I wonder? Nothing but a forgery. A word it shall be, then. Secret Katos! This log shall yield to me. I am stooped but ready. Curious contraptions. More advanced than what I had at my disposal in the grove. I won't be held accountable just because you're naive enough to expect easy answers. Now, allow me to continue. Of course. This will solve you. Here lies Connor, beloved husband, and a tasty little morsel to boot. The Shadow Druids. Their scheming was stopped, thanks to you, yet their malign ideals can find purchase and live on, even after the instigators themselves are vanquished. Quadigo fake. Patience. I can't just snap my fingers. But I know where the solution almost certainly lies. Moonrise Towers. <sighs> Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayers spawn. Because I am. At least, for now. Talk to me. Right away! Oak Father's blessings. I was forgetting who I was. But you lifted the fog. Thank you. Pigeon feathers, yet no bird. Perhaps a cat is enjoying its prize somewhere. Better save any rescue attempts until dawn. Darkness is no ally in the pursuit of such an enemy. A dragon slumbers beneath Baldur's Gate, awaiting a hero to stir him. But first, we revel and rest. Ex nihilo! Have no fear. I am coming. Now? Well, now you must rest. For the moment that engine of yours is fixed, I doubt you'll be getting very much sleep at all. We should follow along and offer our aid against Leroican. I can't forge a weapon without starting a fire. The Mind Flayer has fled. Who knows what chaos it may unleash in the city. I can barely see. Knolls and goblins marked on the map. Travel won't be easy. Minimus! I shall see to this. Be glad it did. Or you'd be a true soul by now. With the Oak Father's guidance. Nothing. It's not really the time for an ogre rampage, anyhow. A waste of resources? It was Thaniel, of course. Nature was my very first friend. I get older, but he hasn't changed a day. Carve curriculum. The scent of hops and barley is most persistent here, even after all this time. Run! Do not stop until you feel sunlight and fresh air! It shall be done. Crescete undo! You bit me! You're a god's damned vampire. Propria! An open tomb. Empty. Not ominous in the slightest. Here to help. Sicut Catus! But if we can find him, we can break the curse. If you learn anything of the Shadow Fell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes, find me at once. These items are guarded by magic. Perhaps if the source is found, the wards can be disrupted. Someone's diary <laughs> might explain what happened here. I stand to serve nature. The Oak Father's bidding shall be done. Hurry, please. Any delay could cost innocents' lives. It's ready to go. Time to get to work. Ah, success. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. A winged Asima tore through the skies like a bolt of lightning, crying for vengeance. Such an action could turn the Emperor from ally to foe. You would step forth alone to save the world at the expense of your own life.
There would be no greater sacrifice. Like I said, unharmonious. I know that feeling. My oath is forsaken once more. <laughs> the blood is on my hands in the end. <laughs> no more. <clears throat> right now, I bed down alone, I'm afraid. <laughs> Perhaps once I talk less of curses and parasites, my fortunes will improve. What did that do? A magic incantation. One that can turn an individual into a horde. Oh, Betty May! Your father, too, if our fortunes are so kind. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done. Oh. Then I'm sorry to hear the encounter left a sour taste in your mouth. It can be... an unfortunate reality. I just hope it doesn't dissuade you from exploring nature's bounty. Warg rutting wrong, Grinkler. Later, perhaps. Don't worry about me. <sighs> A night under the stars amidst nature's creation is just what I need after being locked up in the goblin's dungeon. <sighs> and I've been to the Underdark. <laughs> Many times. <laughs> <laughs> Dum vita est, spes est. That flaming fist sleeps deeply. Even when that winged Asima tore through the skies overhead, he did not stir. Captured. Goblins. Drow. Killed. Captured. Goblins. Drow. Killed. Captured. Goblins. Drow. Killed. A whole lifetime's worth of art on display. But to what audience? The end is upon us, my love. One last battle to decide all. Let me get you back in the fight. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. To Ebor! A great bronze dragon. Allied to an elf sailor. <laughs> Curious. What? How? Why? Explain yourself at once! Oak Father, preserve us. That scheming brain is but a feast for the worms now. Why tell him anything of Dame Aelin? Surely you do not intend to betray her. Yes! Blood. And what are these pink stains? Some sort of magic blocking the way. Ellie May's ring. Guess I got there before him. May nature heal all. I knew then that I had to be more than a companion to him. I had to be a protector. Praises. Alia. Pharaoh. No, my friend. The only thing I ask of you is to allow me by your side on the road ahead. I still owe you a debt. And I intend to pay. <laughs> Don't give up now. In truth, I rarely imbibe. The stuff goes right to my head. Before you know it, I'd be breaking into song or declaring love to the first person I laid eyes on. Hold on, my love. For me. Vita mortis canio! I meant to do that. Yes, you are right. He is one sort I would rather seal away forever, to prevent his rot from causing any further harm. Catherick's late daughter. Isabel. The name of the cleric at last light. Silence! The rite has been ended. I wish. I wish there was a better way. I wish everyone could see the sun, have a full belly, and know nature as a friend. 
There is a balance that is yet to be found. Indeed. But I have roamed far and wide for years. Whole lifetimes. I have seen much, done much, learned much. It would be a shame not to pass that on. Vinny, it's you, Vermey. What? What happened? Very well, though they hardly deserve it. What is this bright tower? Hmm, strange. I shall see you free. Uh, you may thrive, but what of other life? A city is no place for wild creatures. Yet since we neared the city, I have seen more and more signs that I was being naive. Refugees, orphans, the downtrodden, all being left behind. I am blessed to have found your company and share in your campfire. More good has been done since I met you than in a hundred years before. Words cannot express my gratitude. Better talk. It senses something, doesn't it? I'll keep my guard up. Hmm. The statue is unaware we triumph by using less than honest means. Of course you will. The world has no need for a goddess who would hesitate at such a request from her champion. I hope to see you again, Gail. A quiet word, then. This will leave a mark. <laughs> I am sure they are well used to it. Cramped streets and thin walls make for people adept at ignoring things. You could find yourself more alone in a city than in the deepest woods. I fear what awaits you will be difficult. There are few places you could go where your new form will not inspire fear, anger, violence. Locked. Best find another way in. This shop lays claim to quite a hellish array of stock. Fit for a diabolist. <laughs> he's fled. We need to track him down. Wherever the curse is the strongest, that's where he'll go. That's where he'll feel safe. Dolo. It's no coincidence that we found each other, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. When we joined battle for the last time, I did not want to presume we would survive. To feel your touch again seemed like a distant dream. <laughs> that made last night all the sweeter. I shall go speak. Sylvanus, guard us! What have you done to us, Nihil? Her punishment is only just beginning. Trust me. His people are blessed to have him as their prince. I just hope he finds peace in his new form. Yes, you are. And you're perfect. I expect the editor will be in for a surprise come morrow. Oh, pity me. Flowers in bloom where nothing else grows. That is a sign of Thaniel's power. It must be. Hope the forge is close by. I'm sweating from the heat. Oh. Impero Tibby! I am sorry, Scratch. Fret not. You shall soon be back to health. Limp-witted slick liquor. Ale me. More of those wretched things. Macte Vertute! What is that stink? Oh, it's making my head spin. I shall get it done. My Fortio! This shape feels deliberate. Like it might have some sort of purpose. My eyes. Huh, that's Jurgel, scribe of the dead. Huh, I didn't think anyone still worshipped him. Glue and optimism are holding this thing together. Do not take this for granted. The road to Baldur's Gate lies west of the town. We should try to head off the Absolute's forces. <laughs> Perhaps I carry more on my person than is needed. Hardly worthy of help, but fine. Karlak, you are in pain. Do not say otherwise. It is writ large across your face. Ira et dolor! Perhaps something needs to be said. This victory would not have been possible without you. I will never forget that. To the sneak, the prize. Risakio! No! Why? If this is what you truly want, I shall respect your wishes. But know that you shall not die. Not truly. Nature's realm shall be yours. In the air, the trees, the waters. Hold on, my love. The offerings upon the altar are not merely symbolic. Taking them made that disc move. Duke Ravengard. 
He still lives? As slippery as an eel. Better not lose this. Veritas, credo, oculos! Thaniel rests well. He's healing very rapidly, now that Oliver has returned to him. Here I go. Dum vita est, spes est. Better have a word. Try to be less of a burden. I've got one. Signum arcanum. I understand. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something. About both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. Hmm. A curious discovery, this place. This city builds and builds upon itself until it forgets its own secrets. If you want me, I'm yours. Against the curse, against the absolute. Anything. Just say the word. Perhaps the Shadow Druids were right in their own twisted way. If such sorrows are the fruits of civilization, perhaps there can be no true balance between it and nature. For so long we have fought the Absolute, only to now learn that you were once one of its masterminds. There is nothing we can take for granted. All that potential is too often destined to die in the dark and rot in the gutter. Where did the Ginny find this crap? Don't fancy getting my hands dirty. I need a shovel. <laughs> it's lovely. Allow me. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place. Forever. Don't do this. Your life. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Farewell, confounding inventions. Who can take joy in something that terrifies animals? You must get ahead of them. Muster the defenses. You wish to speak? Fine. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. No more than my right hand can absorb my left. Oliver is helping Thaniel to recover. They both lie dormant, like trees awaiting spring. Let nature's power flow. Hmm. I can't see any way to disarm it. I wonder if he can hear us. The tadpoles must have died with the brain. <sighs> the threat of ceramorphosis is no more. This wine, it is laced with poison. A paralyzing concoction. Chests like that don't hold trinkets. There must be something valuable inside. Stop them! Free me! It's both simple and not. We need to find Thaniel's missing half and make him whole again. <sighs> I've inspected a tadpole up close and seen the effects of them on the absolute so-called true souls. I don't know. Ketherick's followers were defeated or vanished before the effects of the curse took hold. Bears have perhaps the best sense of smell of all animals. A curse in a place such as this. Be useful, won't you? Yes, now we're talking. Over there, so be it. <laughs> she tormented me with blades and, and hot irons. I resisted. But then she forced me to drink a foul brew. The rabid, cursed blood of all manner of beasts. <sighs> Enjoy yourself tonight. I'll come and find you in the morning so we can talk. Another gem. They must have some significance. A sword like this would certainly get Gale's attention. The missing stone must be nearby. I feel like a new man. A sharp blade is a true tonic. <laughs> Your friend will find out for himself soon enough. <laughs> Are they? Enemies abound. You need healing. Are you certain? It will be untamed, vigorous, and, well, large. I received a dispatch from the Grove. Life carries on there in our absence just as nature intended. Assistance is at hand. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned.
I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. Unfinished business. It seems our fates have aligned. I cannot... cannot continue much longer. The Circle will fall into darkness if we don't intervene. Or maybe a bit of a drinking problem? How clandestine. A word, then. Seems to be stuck. Oh, what? What was that? Oh, Betty May. Victory shall yet be ours. Now they stand poised to save the city. I can think of no champion more worthy. Uh, you are taking the fight to the very hells themselves, Will. <laughs> I can think of none more capable. No, this is different. Altered. But I believe I know where answers can be found. Moonrise Towers. <sighs> do. But at times like this, it can feel like an impossible dream. Your path will soon take you away from the grove, I feel. Your efforts will not be forgotten. Canto te! I must be without mercy. A ritual circle. And not of this plane, either. Infernal, I would guess. Ah, that's hot! Out there, the curse still thrives. I failed this place. Now I must remain behind, and stand watch over it. Curse, made of shadow, all succumb to it. Find another way. Curse, made of shadow, all succumb to it. Find another way. Curse, made of shadow. All succumb to it. Find another way. Hmm. That looks very alien. As alien as the Mind Flayers. They do not belong on this world. Pull so. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. No luck shall thwart me. Fake. This has no value. Have no fear. Is that Darkmoor the Wicked? <laughs> I don't believe it. You did? <laughs> Nature's found a most furious defender in you. They fought well. Right to the end. May they find the peace denied to them in life. Karlak, speak to me, please. Teocludo Oculus! I can see your mind at work, my friend. <laughs> but it's too late. Time to let go. You listening? This is not the right moment. Perhaps. But small injustices cannot be ignored forever. We will save the world. But I wish it to be a place worth saving. Shape-shifting assassins? Then anyone could be a threat. You must visit as soon as you can. There will be much for you to see, and not a soul among our numbers who will not wish to praise the savior of Baldur's Gate. Go to your bedroll when you're ready. But do not expect to get much sleep. Inexpugnabilis! Unseen and light of finger. It was not ideal. But not without its positives either. I did what was necessary to survive. And perhaps a few things that were less than necessary. If you say so. But I'll be watching you. This shall prove fearsome in battle. That sound. Like something falling into place. Mm. <clears throat> Do not be so modest. <laughs> you gave as good as you got. Do I note some trepidation? Spirits are but echoes of nature's cycle. Most give no cause to elicit fear. Most, but not all. 
In fact, I think I saw just the sort before. Not long after we first came within reach of the Shadow Curse. <laughs> Fool that I am, I did not grasp their significance at the time. I am glad to have Gail back with us. The group would be poorer without his insights. <laughs> and his company. That's a Gith Yankee blade if ever I saw one. <laughs> if I must. We were this close to healing these lands. Now your arrogance has torn open the wounds once more. I'll pray to Sylvanus that you have a change of heart. But time is short. With the end upon us? So long as I'm surviving, and I have you by my side, I am faring as well as anyone can be. I can start to do so almost immediately. The wars of late have left many with nowhere to turn. Many lost their families, their homes. Some never had them to begin with. <laughs> Crusty rogue! Please, let me help. Just look at this place. The evidence speaks for itself. Let me see. Now she stands poised to save the city. I can think of no champion more worthy. Fine. Something is amiss here. The owner of this place should be held to account for these. And any others should be found. Vampire spawn are sailing us in the night. I thought we had ample troubles as it was. At least you are safe, Astarian. The grove stands. Nature prevails. I owe you my thanks. And an introduction. Better get this open. A pleasant one, I hope. Better move. Clandestine aid is on the way. This is the spot that's marked on that map. The feeling is more than mutual. Seek your bedroll when you are ready. But do not expect much sleep. The Blade of Avernus. Looks to be a powerful weapon. I wonder if it was used on the Githyanki nearby. There, unlocked. Non movere! Orin has taken Yenna. We must free her, either by force or by paying for her freedom with Gortash's life. I need to stay true to my nature, and you to yours. Perhaps you are like me, or perhaps not. Era! Unseen. <laughs> Impressive, given my size. Good craftsmanship wasted on Saluna. Maybe it can be repurposed somehow. <clears throat> A curious-looking tadpole. Maybe of interest. Oakfather, guide my aid! I shall investigate. We shall triumph. Our time together does not end here. Do not give up hope just yet. We should honor the wizard's sacrifice. I shall plant a forest in his name. We cannot help them just now. Let us not arouse any suspicion. Oh! Tremors. Nothing natural about them, I'd wager. Damn it all. I should have known better than to stray so close. An unusual strategy. <clears throat> I can't help but sense a certain... ruefulness in you. Don't punish yourself on my account. Remember, we are both free to roam and love as we see fit. The curse is strong here. Hungry. It will consume any flame. Attack! <laughs> Very well. That might be worth a look. Another Githyanki disc. Lazel should see these. Kaikote! Let us speak. This burden is beyond me. A new chapter awaits. Let us make haste. I see. After all my years of living, I know all too well that nothing lasts forever. Yet, a parting can sting, nonetheless. Gale, you truly thought to turn to shadow magic after seeing how it has ravaged nature. Your ambitions are... disquieting. All for the taking. Still, I would like to return here someday. See Thaniel and Oliver again. In my meditations, or perhaps in person. If the Oak Father wills it. I hope he does. Non movere! Better see to this. Ketherick Thorm. Bowed by grief for his daughter. That thing does not look happy to be free. Why would you test my patience like this? Sometimes it is difficult to love you. Incertus Pulcher Imperio! 
Thou art saucy as gruel. Something worth taking? This one is mine. <laughs> Look at you, camping amidst the Oak Father's creations, as if you hadn't just defiled his most sacred ground. Diminue. <sighs> An illusion. Someone's hiding something. Ah, oh, oh, oh. This bear totem is highly suspect. Arthur would better not be putting them into the wrong hands. We allowed this unnatural thing to live. Now a whole family's worth of blood is on our hands. Oh. 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 We've been traveling with a vampire, one that feeds on his friends. Quite a heavily guarded treasure. Good job we got past those protections. An unforgivable loss. He'd have made a fine ally. Do not go soft on me now. I shall deal with this. The infamous figure from your dreams, I take it. Wait, please. There's more. The whole region around Moonrise is shrouded in a curse. A shadow curse. A Githyanki piece. The Sharans must have studied this while seeking the astral prism. The machine! It's going to blow! You'll need to pick it up where Aradin left off. Find the hidden entrance. It's somewhere in the Temple of Saluna. If I had my fleet of druids and a month of hard research, Perhaps I could help, but I'm no savant. For now, I can only guarantee a cure for seromorphosis. Voco Spikai! The city, you mean, with all its noise, smoke, stone, and bustle? I would not be here given the choice, but I promised you my support, and that is what you shall have. Elder God, <sighs> further from Baldur's Gate than I'd hoped. <coughs> I need to get this open. I need you vitalized. Good lad, you're tougher than Blackwood. Fire might cleanse the wood rot, but to little end if you must burn down the forest entire. I am here for you, my friend. Do not cost us this battle. The magic nearly oozes from this flask. Gail might be interested. Thank you. I know it's a great deal to ask, but the grove is everything to me. We did what we did. Let's just see this through to the end. I should savor the sight of trees and grass while I can. Soon we shall be surrounded by... cobbles and walls. Imagine choosing this as your place of rest. I understand. You've done far more than most have for the grove, just by freeing me. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. Selunite rubbish. This ought to reinvigorate. Hmm... Van Enum. Selunite drivel. What's the symbol on it? Only a patriarch's loss can open this door. Come on, you useless turnip. It sounds as if you've been done a world of harm. Cling on to the life you yet have. Shadow magic, Gale. No matter how desperate times become, you should not defile yourself with such foul matters. You are better than that. I shall go there. Manus potentis paro! Cupio virtus lecit! To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. A foul-seeming place. Nothing good can come from lingering here. Then I hope you are apt with shorthand, wizard. There will be much to observe. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse, just as you find a cure for your infection. Are you sure you wish to end the affair so coldly? Perhaps if you asked, you may find your lover has an open mind. And certainly better than I did while languishing in the goblins' cages. Prime spot for an ambush. To Avernus. The land of lost souls. I cannot. There are people who depend on me now. Configo! Well, in a sense, there was. Uh, but no harm done. In fact, one of the drow looked like he was going to pay us towards the end. Volo non fugia! 
Even with the Shadow Curse gone, Shah's presence blooms everywhere. No doubt her teachings have found a strong purchase amongst the city's populace. Being within reach of the Shadow Curse again is... troubling. The Roakan has his immortality at last, and we have lost a great ally, filled with brine and a whole lot of those parasites. The feeling is more than mutual. Now, you must rest, and in the morning, we must get that engine of yours fixed. The moment I am able to touch you will be... memorable. For us both, I hope. Down I go. I can think of a thing or two. But the curse grips my mind for now, and I would loathe to give you only part of my attention. It's lost to me. Perhaps in time I can open it up to the world again, but for now, I must help you. Indeed. <laughs> I had feared a life in service of Shah might have narrowed her mind, but I'm glad to be proven wrong. There is more to her than even she knows, I feel. What's next? No opening this with that lock still on it. Get rid of them! Help is at hand, my love. What blood-maddened mind would concoct such a display? Do not squander this. <laughs> but honestly, you've surpassed even those. Seems my faith was more than well-founded. On my way. God, I'm alive. Thought that Mind Flayer would kill me. I cannot blame them. It is understandable why someone would want to keep you all to themselves. Even if it is not my way. The passage of time has a strange way of polishing even the most arduous of memories into precious keepsakes. Had circumstances been slightly different, I may have been put to work in mines or killed outright. Minsk believes a doppelganger to be Jahira. He is being manipulated. I am all but certain that was my first day as Archdruid. An inauspicious beginning. All the way from Thay. Jewels and gems, probably. One still in there. That disc can move, I'll wager. But where does it lead? No tadpoles present. Have they all been put to use? What beautiful music! I heard you learned how to swim, Shadowheart. Well done. No light escapes that mirror. No life reflects back in it. It reminds me of the Shadowfell. Success! Any word? I can't help but fear the chance to save Thaniel is slipping away from us. Poor woman. No doubt she came to this city hoping for a better life. No. It was everything. He succeeded. The Netherbrain is defeated. I am not familiar with this language, but this book resembles a dictionary. Mors tua vita mea! You can still save yourself, Karlak. You can return to Avernus. It need not be forever. Just long enough to give yourself a chance. Need to talk. Intactilus sum! Scratch deserves his rest. I can handle this without him. Prices Aliafero! Uh, we could at least hear the Emperor's words first. That does not oblige us to heed them. Is it working? I thought he would be awake. I thought that last night would have proven otherwise. I know your true nature. It is still there. It still intoxicates me. Yes, and so it must remain. I wish you success on your path. Had things been different, I might have walked it with you. Prick thy face, villainous prick. this course. It is not one that can be reversed, I fear. In Baal's name.
stultissime. Allow me to strengthen your hand. It's a little obvious, frankly. An amulet of Saluna. I think Gail might want this. Blink and you'll miss me. Help is at hand. Yes. Never. The moon weeps, Shadowheart, for what you have done. For your sake, I hope the approval of your goddess was worth it. Uh, how is this possible? Though perhaps we are not destined to share a campfire for much longer. A final reckoning surely looms. I didn't take these refugees for killers. Maybe I misjudged them. This shall help. Now, what shall I find? <clears throat> a successful pilfering. Speak then. The Netherstones may yet work. This time, you didn't need to be so hard on him. What might be found? That gem looks like it belongs upon the altar from earlier. No, my friend. The only thing I ask of you is to allow me by your side on the road ahead. I still owe you a debt, and I intend to pay. Oh, fancy. At least, for now, they depend on me. But perhaps, given time, their roots will grow strong enough that they can stand without me. These webs are everywhere. You're lucky that we share a common purpose. In most other cases, this revelation would put us on opposite sides of the battlefield. It was always destined to be so, if we prevailed. But the foreknowledge makes it no less bittersweet. I was never afforded a chance to start a family of my own. Serving nature always had to come first. You thought she was an imposter, a threat. This was a trap of Orin's creation. Yenna's death is on her hands, not yours. Let nature's strength revitalize all. Your rage is most impressive, Garlak. If the lesson is not to provoke your temper, consider it well learned. Precisali a ferro, Evanesco. Finding it may not be a simple matter. Ludus non factum est. Enchanted. Nice. Disarmed. Oh, that was far too close for my liking. A young cave bear, killed and stuffed before its teeth were fully grown. Leviatar, a goddess who thrives on pain. This book must be for her followers. I shall aid you. Well, we're not getting in this way. Incertus, Pulcha, Imperial! <laughs> what an angry little creature that pixie is. Has Shah not already taken enough from these lands? without demanding a sacrifice as well. Be careful what your faith asks of you. Fronti nulla fides. There must be more pieces to this corpse puzzle yet to be found. At once. Do not squander this. I had heard the municipal laws regarding large animals had been struck down. But still, perhaps we were wise not to push our luck. This time. Sylvanus, let me strike true. I shall. Trust me. But heed my words. This city is doomed. The poor dog is still weary. I must give him a chance to recover. My friend, I wish you had trusted in me. What is this place? <laughs> still, though, I cannot help but wonder if there was more I could have done. Perhaps, Oak Father willing, I may yet have the chance someday. Mm. So the Gith Yankee aren't fond of the cultists. Could be a good thing. Hark! A dung golem! What misguided thinking would compel someone to have a portrait of Gortash in their home? Gouts of blood spilled here. Perhaps this was the place of Father Logan's demise. Mm. Necklace matches the sigil in that cave. <laughs> The Harpers were busy. Omnia mutantur. I cannot. No matter how much I want to. An uncommon spear. The one Shadowheart seeks, no doubt. Indeed, I am but one of your lovers. You and I should each seek happiness wherever it lies. You are all I want. But I will not hoard you to myself. 
Let others know the happiness of being with you. I am here to be your ear as you bear your burdens, and the arms that protect you if you can shoulder them no more. Gladly. We each know the other's heart to the fullest. There is little to fear here. They are not attacking. Perhaps they think you are one of their own. Very well. Take your time. I'll be waiting. A cruel bind. Mizora is like a spider. And you, the unwebbed fly. Damn this fog! Flagilo! Let me restore you. This will serve you well. If only you had come to this place in more peaceful times. You'd have been a welcome addition. This is no time for weakness. My heart soars just to look upon you. What do you need? I have. He speaks to me during my nightly meditations. As you wish. I'm sure I can find birth elsewhere. I suppose we've braved greater dangers together than public embarrassment. Do as you wish. Or at least, I will try. A little support is called for. This blood sounds important. Could it still be here somewhere? Keep low, strike hard. I need you strong. I'm just glad to be out here amidst the Oak Father's creations. I do not share in your fortune. The shadows hunt me. I need a torch. Ah, oh, closer. Oh, I need to get closer. These disappearances are starting to prove irksome. I have nature's fury on my side. May he find the rest he deserves. Such an act will be remembered. And in its memory, he will live on. So be it. Whatever happens, I shall stand by you. Astarion! No! Oak Father, grant me patience. Sylvanus's blessings. Take flight, Boo! A curious spear. And perhaps an important one, for it to be hidden like so. Corpora sana, hokior, peruere. Nature speaks to me. Birds report what they've seen. And I've overheard goblins speaking of it too. Moonrise is at the heart of all this, I'm sure of it. Soft as a spider upon a web. <sighs> Truly? I thought you felt the same way as me. There was a connection, I, I was sure. Pigeon feathers. Perhaps belonging to one of the post house's flock. Help is at hand. I was lucky. I lived when so many did not. It would take me a day and a night to recite the names of all the friends I lost. What's happening? Where am I? Parasites in your head that... You mean you have one of them? What is it to be? Let me see. I'm afraid there's not much I can say. I've sworn confidence to someone already. A city within a city. Older as you go, deeper. Much like the rings of a tree. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. This is it, my friend. One last battle to decide all. Whatever you need. Not now, perhaps. Whatever I can do to help. Good. Now our roots can deepen. Together. I shall take a look. Footprints. Bearing the odor of the sewers. Good lass. You're tougher than Blackwood. Such foulness. Unnatural. I thought that would be the steepest price that could be asked of us. But I was wrong. I wish I knew. Truly. A problem for another day, perhaps. I just hope there is another day. Risakio! A whole armada of Nautiloid. Enough for an army of true souls. Morio! Is that not Gale's Tresem companion, Tara? Ah, what brings her here? Perhaps a little boost is in order. More doppelgangers. The cult has drawn many to its cause. Faccio Voco Ferry! <laughs> a strange coin. I wonder what it's worth. Oak Father, guide my hand. But there are other matters to attend to before that. Makeshift Salunite graves. They must have fallen in the fight against the Sharans all that time ago. This is nothing but junk. I shall see it unlocked. A cruel task fell to Shadowheart. But she did as her parents wished. She has my eternal respect. 
And I hope she soon finds peace. Cordico Fage. So he was at the House of Healing. I huh, wonder what he found. I shall handle this. Good. Its music might help restore him. Bring it to him. You have bonded with Shadowheart, body and soul. Her scent lingers on your skin. If there is to be anything between us, it must be with her consent. And perhaps someday, her participation. Stay with me! I was. Part of my spirit was shorn away from me here, and never left. Ah, impressive. I don't even think Baldur's Gates is so large. Let it be done. A friend in need. Poor Scratch. I hope he is at peace. Rest now, little one. You deserved better than this. Let me get you back in order. Tempestus! Esto perpetua! Look for signs of life in the darkness. Wildflowers where everything else is dead. The curse cannot subdue the power Thaniel bears. Not entirely. We just surrendered her. She could have helped us put a stop to Ketherick Thorm. This is no common bauble. This is royal jewelry from the elf city of Suldanesala. Curious to find it here. Voco Arvina. Monster. Death is too good for it. <laughs> there are few things that are too strong for me. And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. It is about to unleash upon us. Seek cover! Sylvanas, guide my blows. Vita mortis carrio! Akidum! This is not over yet. Certain events transpired, and I found myself a guest of a noble drow house for a time. Well, something between guest, prisoner, and consort, perhaps. Right away. It's Alibi! It's not easy, seeing the ravages of the Shadow Curse. But your camp is a most welcome solace. Pulso! These forces are just a distraction. I have to dominate the brain. Uh-uh. I need to examine him. I need to understand what's wrong. It's almost like something's... missing from him. Ex nihilo! The enemy's numbers are too great. We must press forward before they swamp us. Astarian resisted the allure of Cazador's would-be powers. And I am glad of it. Whatever he would have gained would have come at a great price. If you hadn't killed the leaders of that goblin horde, the grove would be no more. I am in your debt. Cave curculum. True. But are we still deserving? Only time and nature can tell. I am your servant, my heart. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. I will remain by your side whenever you wish, of course. As ally, advisor, friend. In any way you desire. Save for as a lover. Locked from the inside. You are a blight. I cannot allow you to live. The Elithid's foul roots run deep. Is there no end to this place? This next spell should be interesting. By now. We should have seen some small glimmer of Thaniel's power. A sign that the land is healing. New growth. Flowers in bloom. But there has been nothing. I cannot venture back with you. Now that I'm in a position to fight the curse, I must stay here and see it through. Veritas credo oculus! As you wish. Better I impart the knowledge to you now, in case I fall trying to defend the grove. <laughs> None shall defeat me. One of his cohorts, a dwarf called Brian, had a clue on his person. If you find his corpse in the goblin's camp, you may have a start. <coughs> One of the adventurers had a clue to help find it, a dwarf called Brian. It might still be found on his corpse, wherever the goblins left it. You know my feelings. Nature's impulses must be pursued. Do as you will, with my blessing. Huh. Where's Shadowheart? I'll need that luck, along with all the Oak Father's blessings. A curious piece. Elf and dragon watching over the city together. Dialino! Volo non fugia! All the strength of the land we healed flows through me. And from me to you. Ah!
Go on now, don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll have plenty of time together on the way to Moonrise. You resisted the allure of Cazador's would-be powers. <laughs> I'm glad. Whatever there was to gain would have come at a great price. This is it. Its will is weakening. Duke Ravengard. We should free him. The consequences will be dire if that story is printed. The Stone Lord seeks to rob the Counting House, while Nine Fingers has a trap ready to spring. If we sacrifice a whole city, we'd be little more than villains ourselves. There must be another way. Hold on, my heart! Thaniel rests still, but it's no easy slumber. Ah! The horizon beckons. The Oak Father's work is never done. If each door is named for a wizard, then surely the annals of Carsus will be behind the corresponding door. <clears throat> My body is trying to fight the corruption. <sighs> but it's losing. <sighs> And my mind will succumb soon after. Stealth is one of nature's oldest arts. Ah! Good. Nothing to see here. Remarkable that they stayed hidden all this time. Hardly deserving of aid, but very well. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. Pull Creor! Quiet as a mouse. Keller! The path is now clear. We have to get to Moonrise Towers. Do you remember what I told you about getting there? Oh, last light in. Hearth aglow and lanterns lit, just like a hundred years ago. There shall be dire consequences for this mistake. <clears throat> Don't worry. If you find something, you will know it. Fight on, my love! I am needed. This is the spot Rugen marked. Doesn't look like much. True soul. Absolute. What did they mean? A fine respite from the world's troubles, this camp of yours. Now he stands poised to save the city. I can think of no champion more worthy. Right away. Yes? Ugh, yuck. Mm, that's curious. Let nature empower my hand. Allow me, please. Let's go. Before they realize we're out of our pods. I shall not give up on you that easily. Barely got away. Those Githyanki aren't so lucky. Right away. Apologies for that ugliness. A more bitter homecoming than I would have wished, but... At least the grove stands. Thanks to you. <sighs> One of us must take this step. And Karlak's time is already dwindling. Perhaps she is the champion we need. She is a child in need of help. Let your harsh words go unspoken. That sounds like what you need. But the next part of the journey mightn't be straightforward. Or safe. Ex textura! Ghastly things. No wonder they usually lurk in the depths. I am sorry, Gale, but Mistra is wrong about you. Perhaps you can yet prove that. I believe so. Once the din of battle has faded... We will truly know what has been saved today. There's figures, lying in wait. I doubt they have good intentions. A short night at that. I am sorry if I came on too strongly. Take all the time and space you require. At least we took Yenna in off the streets. But there are many more out there. Shadowheart, you truly are Shah's instrument now. At least perhaps your dark-cloaked followers may prove of service against the Absolute. It took me years of study, of seeking the Oak Father's favor, to find a way to part the veil. Pray that this works. Keep them at bay until the spell is complete! It's a nice horn, but useless now. You'll need to pick up where Aradin left off. Find the hidden entrance. It's somewhere in these ruins, from what I've heard. In Ficchio! Then I will watch the horizon for you each day, and fix your image in my mind each night. Until I feel your touch again. Feviro! There's nothing left to be said. My mercy died when I saw the grove. She's gone. And Will's been dragged to the hells in her wake. 
Sylvanus keeps his memory. Venustior. This'll be mean. Hmm. Keep looking. If they're present, then it's likely there's a route to Moonrise somewhere. Mos animae. Hmm. What's that? Magis Amica Veritas. Of course, no slight intended towards your new form. All those lives snuffed out. Just to grasp some power. That was craven. Unnatural. Speak to me, lover. Most unnatural. Most foul. Nature is a cycle of life and death, yet this form only serves death. Worse, it only serves murder. Incommodum! I shall do as I'm bid. Ah, well, good feelings never last, I suppose. A list of names. Some dashed through. Uh, good thing it went up. Now, to get out of here. Some sort of replica devil's head. Perhaps for a city dweller mating ritual. Oakfather's blessings to you. Ought to take this. Woe betide any who stand against me. Ah! Mors tua vita mea. A passageway to Mephistar. The frozen citadel of Mephistopheles. Not a destination I yearn for. Let us try. It would be a sorry dream that does not make room for all who wish to partake in it. Nature will find its balance, and if we are worthy, it will provide us with harmony. Oh, this will prove a boon in a fight. Plue! Minsk! No! Secreti umbrarum. To watch a woman flush with pleasure is one of nature's sweetest gifts. <sighs> Though perhaps you will prove even sweeter, Shadowheart. Uh, I don't know what I slept on, but my neck's killing me. Thaniel is trapped in the shadow fell, but thanks to your efforts, I know where to look. Now I must go there, alone. Someone left muddy footprints in their wake. Ex textura! After being dormant for so long, your infection is unlikely to produce new symptoms spontaneously. May Sylvanus guide us. <laughs> Dispensing advice on matters of the heart would be like swapping boots. What suits me may be a... Poor fit for you. Fine! I'll bear eggshells. An unhatched one would fetch quite a price. I shall claim this. And yet, she fears there are none to inherit her work. So she goes on. Long life can be a burden at times. I know that well. I never quite realized how burdened I was until I met you. The threat of the Shadow Curse. The politics of the Grove. What a wretched place. I should leave. I better have a word. Expello te! Gladly, but first I must return to the Grove. As you made short work of the Goblin's leaders, there's nothing stopping me. Come join me in your own time. Silentium. I will miss you, my friend. Perhaps our paths will cross again someday. If the sun ever shines on this place once more. Manus potentis paro! What's this? Feels like I've lost something. No! Stop! Hardly a jaw. I advise you start in the Temple of Seluna. If you find the Dark Justicia's hidden entrance, it could lead you all the way to Moonrise. I will join you, help you with that which plagues you. The Illithid curse is a blight to all nature. The Githyanki from the Mind Flayer ship. A shame he didn't survive. Threadbare chimp lackey. <sighs> Damn knots. Innocents go in. True souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. That place is where the cultists send their captives. Innocents go in. True souls come out. It has to be the source of this magic. She shows great insolence. But time will humble her. And the grove still needs her. <clears throat> this trunk's rotten. Shouldn't put too much weight on it. A new start must be without limits. Or otherwise, how would we ever know what we're capable of? Let every enemy of nature fall. Ex nihilo. 
What comes now? I cannot remember the last time we did not have a grand purpose to work towards. Won't budge. Oak Father, grant me patience. What do you want? Of course. Notes on the Shadow Curse. I can only hope such knowledge is never needed beyond this place. Allow me, my friend. As bones, perhaps. But their hidden structures might still remain. Voco Speakai suits you. The house matron took an interest in me, and the patron also. They saw me as a novelty, perhaps. I was chained in their bedchamber for nigh on three years. Facio Voco Ferry! If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers and may bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Oakfather, what did I do to deserve such allies? I must be careful, or I'll lose the run of myself again. An archdruid should show some restraint. Very well. Perhaps after a drink or five, I'll be tempted to inflict some of my singing on you all. As if the city has not suffered enough. Vita! Mortis! Cario! I wish I could have found another fate for the Grove. But I appreciate all you have done for me, nonetheless. I am Halsin, first druid of the Emerald Grove. Jahira's harpers cannot be trusted. She must be informed. I need you, my love. Come on. United, we cannot fail. Misplaced, self-important concern. She must learn to respect the balance of all things. But the Grove still needs her. Hmm, curious bottle. And the contents smell like an acquired taste. Looks like that odd ox made it through the shadows. Missing. Zola, Rascal. Why do those names sound familiar? Oh, the blood-stained collars. That is why it must be stopped. Imagine a whole century of life and love denied the chance to ever take place. Keep strong, my love. With haste, my love. I need you strong. Broken, fake, broken, fake. Let's see what we have. This head, a death devil of the fugue plane. <laughs> Far from its natural home. This orb, Gale carries a most dire burden. I wish he had shared it with us sooner. Almost frightened. If you feel my heart quicken, it's not from fear. Gortash's bluster will no longer assail our ears. And we have his netherstone also. Soon we shall unravel this unnatural conspiracy once and for all. Mors to a vita mea! There, very well. Curculus mortis! I need to get off this roof now! A fellow druid. I can count on her to tend to the grove in my absence. Help it heal. Care is needed. A magic ward protects this door. The same. I had hoped I might have been able to stay by your side. To help however I could. But the Oak Father has spoken. My place is here. If you say so, corrupt us. And in the chaos that ensued, well, our forces were scattered. I led some to safety, but never learned of her fate. I'm glad to hear she survived. Gortash is no more. We have earned our rest on this eve. Mutatis mutandis! I can already sense the first stirrings of new life in the land. The grip of the curse is weakening. Now we must break it. Once and for all. It is no more. Better pick my next target wisely. Why is this made of paper? As for the idol, it's nothing compared to a life. A mere object next to one of nature's creations. Shadowheart, your tresses are different. It suits you. Though in truth, I cannot imagine... Much does not suit you. I shall go have a word. <gasps> it doesn't. We are an odd team, but we are a team. An unnatural and unlikely savior. Yet, needs must. <laughs> 
It was touch and go for a while. Let's get out of this pit, firstly. Majesty of manure. Sovereign of shit. A wine bottle. A scholar with good taste, perhaps. Time for blood. Resus abundat. I shall free you. <laughs> At least he can rest. Until the shadows are banished. Those claws look deadly. Best be on my guard. What comes now? Resist the venenum. I made my promise. I will not fail my queen on the basis of groundless fears or fickle whims. Perhaps there is a way to turn it against Ketherick Thorm. <laughs> the Blade of Frontiers. It seems you have come full circle. Ut ventus! Cupio virtus lightet! Sterling progress by anyone's measure. Oh, Betty me. A magical stuff. Will this be of use, Gael? You've barely brain to feed a louse. To us, nihil! The whole structure is collapsing. That was close. No doubt there'll be others. Nature's realm reduced to a sphere. Voco potentia! Now get out of my sight. There is nothing more to be said. Faccio, Voco, Fairy! Oakfather, spare me useless allies. I can't be exact, unfortunately. Time and the Shadow Curse won't have been kind to any traces that would have been left behind. Voco nubes! You can't summon a dead ogre, it turns out. Veritas! Credo! Oculus! Karlak has had her mortality defined to her in most cruel terms. I do not know if we can help her, but... Perhaps we can at least be there for her. Imperote! Trapped, I see. Hold on, my love. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. Hmm. It seems the way to camp is unavailable to me just now. <coughs> In Kende! Tread carefully. You're on the right track, I'm sure. But there'll still be danger and difficulty before you reach Moonrise. Who knows what unnatural trickery awaits us? The arm of a clown. Some madman has a sense of whimsy. A sorry outcome. You shall live on. And wherever I go, I shall feel your presence. And you mine. A little extra bite. Yes, I think you do. Tunnels underneath the open hand temple. And a Father Lorgan written down as well. So be it. Easier said than done, I fear. You may find yourself welcome in some circles, but set upon in far more. Dementote! Then let it brew. Some radical thinkers claim that peace is a valid option, you know. Ve victis! <gasps> At the goblin camp, I hoped to find a way to remove the tadpoles. I failed, but I did find the next best thing. I found out where they come from. Look here! <laughs> Better than Archdruid ever did. The old teachings could not have foreseen this world. I can see a new way to serve nature now. A path that all can follow if they wish. We allowed Astarian to sacrifice so many, only to just turn on him soon after. We should have stopped him sooner. What manner of dark magic had this artist gotten himself tangled in? <clears throat> I shall see to it. That sign above. This must be a brewery. Or distillery. Consider it open. A cat. With wings. Behold! Elminster's ball bag! Suage! Stay strong. I need you. Vita Mortis Cario! Truly? I was sure you felt the same way. Once the power of the Shadow Curse was broken, the connection was undeniable. A council of intellectuals, respected throughout Faerun. Leading authorities on heraldry, of course, but also history, genealogy, and diplomacy. I can work with that. Rest now. Luckily, you have time. This magic has slowed your seromorphosis to a crawl. I just can't fathom why someone would do that. Though I hope he has the metal needed to face Mistra. She will not yield willingly, I fear. <gasps> the Toymaker's letter spoke of interfered with bears. Better be careful. 
Their bodies were savaged. The priest had little hope of helping them. Ugh. Come. One last push, my friend. I'm here for you. I believe I can help with the parasite lurking within. Another gem. This'll need to go in a socket later. <laughs> Somehow I am not the least part surprised. But I am glad. Grace is bestowed by nature, not me. Still hidden. Your power is buoyed by a sea of innocent blood. I hope you are pleased. To little avail. I just hope he is amenable. Astarian, we need to talk. I know you're a vampire. It's kind of obvious. There is no safety. Not while this rot festers. Once it is cut out, once the grove is secure, then I shall leave. In my name. I am here. Quite a distraction. <laughs> Did you enjoy the show? <laughs> it was but an opening act. Bloodkin. <laughs> Blasted fog is everywhere. Tenebra. I am coming for you. I can take no more. Do not worry. I am here. It has made a monster of me. <sighs> Time for blood. I never favored tombs. Nothing but vanity. Upon death, mortal remains should be returned to nature to nourish and replenish itself. Fiore! The night song sounds like the source of Catherick Thorne's invulnerability. I could listen to this forever. I don't think I'll ever look at an ox quite the same. Tormentum. Help is at hand. Luque sit tibi placet. You've a visage fit for letter writing. Part the veil separating darkness from light. What comes next will prove dangerous. Meet me by the shore outside last light. We can do our work there without imperiling others. You made a choice that would cause most to tremble. You made a sacrifice far greater than merely laying down your life. Your whole future utterly altered. The world is in your debt. And I am in awe of you. Resisto ignem! It seems you have made amends with Mistra Gale. Congratulations. I see this as a good omen for what awaits us. Carve curculum. I need you battle ready, my friend. I shall heal you. If only everyone said that. Mistra would ask for Gale's life in return for forgiveness. A cruel demand to make of a mortal. Wildflowers. Growing amidst the darkness. Thaniel's missing half must be near, healed. But she doesn't look much happier. Hmm. I'm still missing the Sousa bark. What is that? At least the Shadow Curse was not allowed to claim these dead. Fine. No shadows here. Something must be keeping it at bay. The bark is in place. Now for a greatsword, dagger, or sickle. Teat stringo linguum. <laughs> Sylvanus guard us. The curse has churned up the very land itself. Corrupt us. Dominate the brain. Do it now or all is lost. A house of healing from the looks of it. <laughs> Moonrise Towers. Many druids and harpers died to take this place once. Only for Ketherick Thorne to rule it once again. Fear not. <laughs> but we must give the people what they want, mustn't we? I've been unfair to you. I've had unrealistic expectations of your character ever since I joined you. I know your infection. Maleos! <gasps> to sacrifice so many would be an abomination! Seems your ranks are quite packed. If some space frees up, I'll be ready for you. <sighs> what would you like to know? Just all you will. I believe now in your honest heart. Perry! No keyhole. This door must open by other means. What in the hell, Zestarian? You bit me! It shall be done. Reluctantly. Pretty gem. 
though surely not authentic. I must strike. Is anyone else's tadpoles squirming around a lot more than usual? At once. Looks like the barrier's turned off. Lucky me. Aid is coming. Better go have a word. A torch is no use against the Shadow Curse. We've been traveling with a vampire this whole time. Release me. Hmm. Some sort of magic clings to the door. <laughs> Thank me by returning the favor, why don't you? <laughs> Come on. I'm sure you've something better than carving wooden ducks. But that just means what we shared was precious. And will live on in my memory. Thank you. I am a richer man for having met you. Oak Father, guide my illicit hand. Hailing from the Underdark can dampen one's sense of fun, I will admit. Down there, noises such as laughter tend to attract predators. I hope so. But I won't turn my back on the past. It made me who I am today. Stabilio! I make no apologies for knowing what is important to me. Hmm. It is but a sprouting acorn for now, but given time and care... It could grow tall and mighty, and offer shelter to all who need it. Of course Thorn would flee to such a repellent, unnatural place. Let us put an end to him and get out of here. These little markings look like goblins and gnolls. Right in our path, a hidden passage behind those crates. You have shed the rarest of blood for your goddess, Shadowheart. I hope it was worth it to you. It is time to act. Detono! Omnia mutantur. Viam sapientiae. Ah, a foul brew. My innards beg for mercy. Hmm. An intriguing prospect for sure. But I'm glad you've shown yourself to be comfortable in exploring without me. Sharing is important. But some things should be just for you. Perhaps we should aid him. He is an old friend after all, or at least, an old acquaintance. I did expect a bit more... spectacle, I suppose. Remember, whatever evil is trying to control you, I know you are stronger. Resist. <gasps> Gail defied Mistra herself. I hope he does not come to regret it. You will not see another day! Hold on. I must protect the Oak Father's realm. The stones have failed us. What in nature's realm could possibly best a netherbrain? What? Were you expecting a spell? A potion? Or perhaps you thought I'd conduct a cack-handed operation on you right here? Ignis! It allowed me to see you. Truly see you. I have lived a very long time. I have taken many lovers. My heart does not stir lightly. But it does now. Patience. I can't just snap my fingers. But I know where the solution almost certainly lies. Moonrise Towers. Vessels hidden within the undead. Ingenious. If perhaps a touch disquieting... The moon weeps for what Shadowheart has done. For her sake, I hope the approval of her goddess was worth it. This medicatrix! Oak Father, preserve you! When the others are sleeping, we'll slip away together. <laughs> and we won't get much sleep. Looks like that idol is enchanted. Might be worth getting a hold of for Gale. A torch, campfire! Candle, anything to force the shadows to retreat. They forget how much I study, meditate, and, as a bear, hibernate. <laughs> I must have spent a hundred years or more asleep. A hollow forgery. Sylvanas, preserve us. That orb's about to shatter. Hmm? Thaniel was my friend also. I played with him, grew up while he stayed the same. He made me who I am today. And then he was ripped away from me. Same as for you. I outgrew cynicism around the age of 200. I offer no apologies for my desires. I am loath to see anyone behind bars. It reminds me of my time as a guest of the goblins. Uh, uh. Hmm. I'd love to know the full story. Nature speaks to me. 
Birds report what they've seen. And I've overheard goblins speaking of it too. Moonrise is at the heart of all this. I'm sure of it. Sucker is at hand. Let me see. Vinny, it's you for me! I shall not leave you like this. Nature shall prevail. Truly. This is most welcome news. She must be as strong in spirit as she is in body. You are... nothing if not inventive. I can only hope the foe had already expired before you began your work. No, I won't hear of it. Not until we know there's absolutely no other way. <sighs> it's working! Just give me some more time! <sighs> A warrior in training's diet. Their eyes are made for the dark. Fire and light is our friend. Hot Ventus! I am burdened enough as it is. Non compost mentis. A god's idol has to have some magic lingering in it. Your sort of thing, Gail? With the leadership dead, no attack will be mounted on the grove. I am in your debt, my friend. No hardship from me. Far from it. Catherick's been studying something called the Apostle. <sighs> But of which god? Uh, it's those damn shadows. Be ready. The child needs to be gotten clear of here. Now. Some aid is called for. <laughs> you are right, of course. There are no mistakes in nature. It is all a grand tapestry beyond mortal reckoning. Crates and caravans. The town tollhouse, surely. <laughs> Seems the will's determined to remain the blade of frontiers. Hmm. I suppose he's truly earned the moniker now. I cannot falter! A pact made with Raphael will surely bring nothing but misfortune. As much as I would like to be proven wrong. Gently does it. Dialino! That was something I had dreamed about for some time. <laughs> and now I realize just how woefully meager my dreams were compared to the reality. By all means, pursue any lead you may have. But I sense all roads will lead to Moonrise. Ugh. I shall aid you, my love. A genuine fiend's skull. A gargatula, I do believe. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! <sighs> you almost figured it out. <laughs> but almost won't save your friend. <laughs> you had better up your game if you hope to truly save him. <laughs> oh. Ill-deserved, but very well. Even I cannot carry everything. Looks like an ambush. This mirror. An ancient Sharon relic. Hmm. Perhaps to the time of Gorothea himself. Few can resist it without dying or transforming into shadow beings. You can try to journey overland if you wish, but I strongly advise you go under. Ad meorum de glorium! Glowing eyes are rarely a good sign. Best be careful. <sighs> uh -huh. oh. Hag-shouldered scum vestige! Spurious prune tart! Tempestus! Timasks. Known to cause confusion. Best not get too close. Must keep going! Oh. These unfinished bears are the same type that were in the barn. Better be careful. <laughs> More of the Mind Flayer's pets. <laughs> hmm. Odd necklace. Might sell for a few coppers. A Salunite shrine over there. Left to rot by the looks of it. Good. Into Lego. There I shall go. But I must move on. Nature demands that I do. Yes. There'll be no firm answers until Moonrise Towers, I fear. There's still life left in this old thing. It draws power from anyone on that cradle. Someone needs to assume the position or it's useless. Ah! Dolor. I shall die before I yield. It must be done, I suppose. Allow me. Why is that daubed fellow being forced before a crowd like so? Is he being punished? 
Ritualized humiliation? All right. But we're keeping our eyes on you. Aquapura. This ox died fighting. It looks like it put its horns to good use. <laughs> Leave it to me. Like the book said, I have to get through this maze without getting caught or triggering a trap. <laughs> Simple. I hope. Patience. He's the key to this. I know it. Thou art a hairy-hearted whoreson. Allow me to bolster you. That blood smells fresh. Whoever took his head did so recently. An idol of Shah. Shadowheart might want to see this. Good. Now our roots can deepen. Together. Damihi factor. Then it started to claim all those within its reach. Those who had survived the battles now fell to the shadows. Became part of the shadows. And worst of all, I lost contact with Thaniel. Come on, Halidamos! We shall prevail, my friend. Halle may. A little boost with nature's blessing. To think, long ago, the druids feared this market town would grow into a city and threaten nature's realm. Little did we realize what the true threat was. Oh, Betty me. Worry not. Invoco te. That didn't work out the way you imagined, I reckon. Help is at hand. Ah, ha, ha. Very well. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. And you, the way you speak, you're worse than the absolutists here. At least they live with a pretense of purpose. Ah. <sighs> This is the truth. I sense I will never surpass that moment when nature awoke from its nightmare. Hmm. You're greasier than a war roast. As am I. I can scarcely imagine life without your company now. And, of course, I made a promise to help you. One I intend to fulfill. This leads to Waterdeep, second only to Candlekeep as a scholar's paradise. Uh, uh, this contraption bites like a hungry wolf. Let the Elk Father's strength flow through you. They have seized the Starion. He'll be in Cazador's clutches now. Come day, we must set off in pursuit. So much blood. The Illithids take what's useful and discard the rest. Dormant. I should search nearby. Horibus teniolupum. Help is at hand. Time. Don't misunderstand me. I feared for my life and wanted my freedom back, but I was willing to wait for my moment. And eventually it came. Spilled blood will not write bad blood. Allow me to deal with my own. I still have need of her. I need you to stay here. Keep the portal open until I return and defend it at all costs. I may be able to help you find a more definitive solution to your problem. Cantote! I cannot allow this to distract me. Not now. At least this camp has bright burning fires to stave off the shadows. If that's the case, we've got more problems than just the worms in our heads. Invenium viam! These wounds aren't from a weapon. They're from a horn. I was hoping you would ask. Your self-discipline has been rewarded, I think. Perhaps Mistra is more invested in your survival than you might believe. Catherick Thorm's daughter. Her death compelled his descent into evil. I will not go on without you. <sighs> Locked. And no keyhole in sight. This must open by other means. Looks into Nebra. Perhaps we should exercise a touch more caution in future. I cannot survive long without a light source. I need you at the peak of your powers. Bene et juve me. Hold on, my friend. These glyphs, they are the very same as upon the necromancy of Thay. Out, foul deformity! Grand Duke Ravenguard. Seems Moonrise Towers has acquired a high-value asset. You are a mortal child of Baal. Be careful with whom you share that fact. I hear many of your kind have met premature ends. A lofty goal. Be careful of Mistra. She shall not care to have a new rival. <laughs> no more than my right hand can absorb my left. Oliver is helping Thaniel to recover. 
They both lie dormant, like trees awaiting spring. Well, it seems you have little fear of adventure of any sort, do you? <laughs> a little extra damage dealing. <laughs> Good. I will find you at your camp and help you with your problem. Right now, I... I need to go be alone. Perhaps try attacking the enemy! Yet another reason to put an end to all of this. I must seize every advantage. That contraption looks set to kill you, not save you! Get clear of it at once! Allow me. Kudo! I can't stop you, in fact, which brings me to my next problem. That strange contraption from Voss is making noise. Odd. There is nothing more to be said. I need to be alone. Vivat Crescat Floriat! Allow me to solve you. We have to get to Moonrise, but the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. Do not waste this. Optimistic to the end. Good. Cynicism won't help us now. Let's hear the Emperor out. This city is a poor place to be in need of help. Even the guards can't be trusted to protect the most vulnerable. A dragon and elf, apparently befriended. <laughs> One day I'll share such a bond with a dragon of my own. But I respect your choice. If that's how you truly feel. Your friendship remains precious to me. I shall not yield. Perhaps not my greatest failure, but a sizable one, yes. My faith in Korga showed poor judgment. Put mildly. Very mildly. A pleasure. The Grove is counting on us. Over I go. <laughs> you could use this. Help is at hand. I shall see to this. Te fideo. Rascal. A jagoda? All these collars belong to pets. Oh, Orin! Orin the Red! You're right. Sometimes I think people look at me and imagine my feelings can't be hurt. That water looks foul. Do not sup upon it. Carrion's presence still lingers. He will return unless his ties to this plane are severed. Invocote! Please, you need this. Yes. I can't work without a blueprint. I can feel the intestines delicately parting for my prying fingers, the supple kidneys greeting my inquisitive claws. <sighs> I think this is my work from months past. The shadow curse is upon us, as foul as I remember it. Perhaps even worse. Hold on! I... I do. I want this. I want you. Save for me. My line perished a long time ago. They rest in high forest now, near the shade of the grandfather tree. The grove became my family, with Sylvanus as my teacher. And now I have you. We have what we need to proceed, and not a moment too soon. A winged Asima flew overhead, and now an assault is brewing against Moonrise. Oh, I'm quite aware of that, rest assured. But where is safe right now? Those pieces look significant. We should try to acquire them. Fast and hard. Leave it to me. The shadows won't be banished without a fight. Once I open the portal, they'll swarm like carrion birds and try to destroy it. You must not let that happen. Need to open this. Study. Hidden. Emerald Grove. Study. Hidden. Emerald Grove. Study. Hidden. Emerald Grove. Let nature guide every step. Glacius! Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Nature's strength lies within me. This cowl's definitely enchanted. Gale could use this. Ad lapidum! Hook horror. 
wonderful. Come here to me. An impressive vault. It must host an equally impressive treasure hoard. She knows now what cavorting in the shadows brings her. She will not stray again. Besides, this is no time to lose a promising druid. <laughs> I'll be there soon, my lady. Roland, let loose your barrage! Rain down fire! It shall be done. <laughs> oh, that song! So the demonic figures we saw were Githyanki all along. Let me get this open. <sighs> Just my luck. Detono! There is hope. But it isn't found here, at my hands. At least, not yet. Looks like the curse claims some of the Absolute's followers as its own. Every breath in this place reeks of corruption. I will return to camp. The air is cleaner there. These melodies. Oh, a sight to behold. If only we had Gale with us. It's hopeless. Sylvanus' will holds these vines in place. Hey, Acto Tay! Mm hmm. Aid is at hand. A wise choice. Let nature determine their fates. A third disc. Related to Orpheus somehow. The voice of Shah. Is she truly present? Or a mere illusion for the ears? I shall see to it. Ah! Imperote! The way is clear. Kill. Yes. Oh, very well. Praises Ali Afero! Hmm. Sometimes a mysterious cure is worse than the disease. Forgive me. The Shadow Curse occupied me so entirely and for so long. I almost missed the purpose it gave me. Now I must find a new one. <laughs> as long as you like to be caressed by claws, Astarian. Resisto Ignen! A powerful asset. Just what are their intentions, I wonder? A little reinvigoration is in order. Nature bows to none. It will fight on and survive, no matter what madness your god has inspired you to undertake. The depths are no place for me. I shall be glad to walk upon dry land once again. Better hold on to this. I still need your help. Meet me by the lakeshore and be prepared. What comes next could prove... perilous. The missing part of him must be near there. We need to search that area. There's only one place I'm finding a Sousa tree. The Underdark. Mors animi! Listen here. <clears throat> Defiled corpses. There is almost a sort of vile artistry in how they're displayed. We have deceived Dame Aelin and sent her to a trap. Is this how we treat friends and allies? The very spot. Burgeoning bog botherer. Oak father, shield your servant. You act to fight her, but a fool's a fool. Here, I need you strong. A clandestine pleasure. See that symbol on the ground? This was a mason's guild. What comes next? Tempestus! Veritas credo oculus! Help is at hand! Incertus! Pulcher! Imperio! <laughs> Very much so. One positive I will concede about city life is that you never know what lies around the corner. Mizora dead and Will, doomed to the hells. <sighs> Oak Father, lend him your strength. Help is at hand. A helping hand, perhaps. A commemoration of battles long past. Like the town itself. <gasps> Starke, straight out of body literature. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I shall have you free in a moment. I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. Don't worry. All is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. <laughs> no. You were stolen from each other. Neither of you are to blame. And I know your pain. I truly do. Mizora schemes with Will's very freedom. He deserves to know what she is up to. A gem? Some token of reward, perhaps? Well, uh, I didn't pick this scar up in battle. I was in wild shape, only I forgot it was the season when bears are... particularly social. A she-bear claimed me as her own and 
did not appreciate being spurned. Now, if only words would flow out of him. We need to unlock whatever's left of him, inside his head. There must be something to trigger him. A word, a memory, an item. We just need to find it. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. That problem. You're infected with the Mind Flayer spawn, aren't you? Oh, Oak Father, preserve you, child. I don't discriminate against any type. Are they? The grove stands, nature prevails, and again, I am in your debt. Come mortuus in linga mortua. Resist o mortem! I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. Daniel still suffers. There'll be no improvement until his essence is restored, I fear. If only I knew where to find some. Not a sight, not a sound. I must be light of step. A Starian. He has ascended amongst the ranks of the undead. I can only hope that he does not come to regret the price that he paid. Uh -uh. I trust your leadership and respect your decisions, but I truly hope this is not something we come to regret. I knew something was wrong when he didn't wake up. But now I'm even more certain. Try to keep up. <laughs> Wait. There's more you need to know. A curious place, this camp. One foot in nature, and the other in the city that awaits beyond. What are those? A curious disc. Githyanki, perhaps. Lazel may know. Mm -hmm. Right away. Command it to die! It must be now! Stay out of my head! I shall see to it. <laughs> I shall never relent! Oak Father, guide me! The disc is moving. The gauntlet of Shah must continue wherever it leads. Merkel's holy symbol. He must have had a follower come to this place. <clears throat> Amazing that the sword stayed sharp for so long. Horko Nubes! <gasps> my blood is up! Prisoners. More unwilling flesh for the absolute schemes. Looks like there's a temple under this place. And something deadly sealed inside it. Indeed. Regard! This spontaneous flatulator! How can such a predicament come to be, I wonder? A gift for a loathsome neighbor! I cannot make use of that. Ketherick Thorm's demise was the death blow against the Shadow Curse also. We have done all that was asked about us. <laughs> Nathaniel will soon take care of the rest. Curious. I could never quite tell if she was proud of them or not. Sine metu. I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as Archdruid. Defended the Grove. Korga. The Shadow Druids. I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. Vincere est vivere. What is to be done? I should never have trusted an ally of the Dark Lady. As does everyone. I have little doubts your efforts will be rewarded in... whatever way you see fit. Much needed aid. Not a sight to relish. Intactalus sum! I, uh, hear the gods enjoy taking on the form of swans, horses, eagles and the like when visiting with mortals. We cannot face the brain. Not without all three stones. <laughs> Survive, perhaps. I am less sure about thriving. To be part of the world, you must be connected to it. True balance cannot be achieved unless all is accounted for. Dead at last. <sighs> but it will be some time before his foul vapors fade from my nostrils. Is such an existence lacking? Nature affords us few greater powers of healing than what love can provide, Karlak. Confusio! Believe me, it is. The span of a mortal life isn't enough to grasp the importance of this place. Its roots touch everything. <laughs> it's this place, this city. I can feel its corruption eating away at me. I should not be here. No one should be here! Mm. A cheap imitation. Every enemy of nature must fall! Free for the taking. You don't craft a chest like that to hold trinkets. There must be something valuable inside. 
Heretio Inspira. Mateske. A Saluna idol? Really? Are you in need of a paperweight? Shadowheart truly is Shah's instrument now. At least perhaps her new dark cloaked followers can help in the fight against the Absolute. There's always a choice. But you made yours. Now I make mine. Anytime. Tibido penas! Giant space hamsters. An interesting form to take in wild shape, I dare say. Tibido penas! Tomorrow morning, we shall discuss what is to come. And look at that statue. Anyway, once the curse is lifted, nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. You could feed an army with an egg that size. If you found an intact one. Away! Eye-watering stench. Success. There is always another way if one cares to look for it. We would struggle to find a less trustworthy creature. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. Where am I? I don't like this dream. I can't pretend to understand your ambitions, or what drives them. But I wish you well. I must keep out of sight. My mind still drifts to that dream I shared with you. For a better future for all those who need it. But that must wait. I remain yours, of course. Ready when you need me. Prayers, charms, battle cries. The Harpers work. They were primed for combat. I need you at your peak. That Orthon was far from his natural home. What was he doing here? Hmm. A place like this must hide all manner of secrets. I fought proudly alongside Harpers once. But it seems we cannot place our trust in them now. Not while Orin has their ranks infiltrated. Come on then, what's the problem? Unless you'd rather wait for an audience of goblins. A letter from Orin. If only I could just burn the foul thing. But I must not. If I must. Your head's empty as a debtor's purse. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. And I truly mean we, if you wish. Every moment counts, and I've asked much of you already without being at your side. Chests unlocked. My prayers are answered. Over I go. Will sacrificed a great deal for his family. The pact may stand, but the strength of his character is clear. The Night Song must be the source of Thorm's invulnerability. Perhaps it can be turned against him. That statue... It seems they worshipped some kind of... scholar. <laughs> the Sword Coast. Well, there's Baldur's Gate. What are the Gith Yankee planning? Huh. That book mentioned Lathander statues that moved. Oribus teneo lupum! Impressive. Most would quake at the mere thought of delving that far into the Underdark. What did you find? Luque se tibi placet. The city is like... A forest with an overgrown canopy. Light and nourishment cannot penetrate to those who need it the most. We need to wake him and learn what he knows. Changes afoot ever since that winged Asima tore through the skies above us. Tunnels underneath the open hand temple. And a dead priest's name written here. Killing Orin won't bring Yenna back. But it may give her some peace. And me... A great deal of satisfaction. Hmm, I'm sure there are. You strike me as extremely... resourceful. Let no prying eyes discover me. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his dark justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. Voco Vinei. My business there began long ago and has led to a lifetime of regret. Keep low, keep quiet. Of course, this view's almost worth the walk. Vlakith's words have set Lazel's mind, it seems. I would not wish to be the one that the Lich Queen unleashes her upon. You are no longer the same person you once were. You are better.
Resuagus! I can't tell if this is a temple or a library. Another shapeshifter. At least we didn't kill a true clown before an audience. May be of use. I must hide. You have bonded with Lysel, body and soul. Her scent lingers on your skin. If there is to be anything between us, it must be with her consent. And perhaps someday, her participation. The skull. Something is happening. Whatever may come, I stand ready. This must be where he was making them. There's no shortage of evidence. Not a task I relish. Slain by her own offspring. A perversion of nature. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. Perhaps it's time for a celebration. We have earned it. Battle beckons. No. Have you taken leave of your senses? <laughs> Indeed. Our time with them was certainly bracing. <laughs> Takes me back to some youthful misadventures in the Underdark. <laughs> <laughs> this shall wreak some havoc. There's something out there. I can feel it. Inficio! Sine metu. Forgive me, I uh, lost the run of myself. Um, sometimes, if blood runs hot enough, it's difficult to tame the beast. Oh. Nothing interesting buried here. No hesitation. These people are long dead. Wouldn't take much to send that stone crashing downwards. Good. Now it's important that only I pass through the portal once it opens. The magic is fragile. Any mistake, and our one chance will be lost forever. Tonitrus! Oh, I needed that. Ah! You know what's needed. The deaths of Draw Ragslin, the Drow Minthara, and the Priestess Gut. May nature guide you. Sharp as a pig's testicle. Take Kuro! Open! Let me pass! I beseech! I beg! I demand! Right away. Alternatives are slow to present themselves. Yet we must hold out hope. A Shah worshipper. I see. Perhaps you feared how I would react, but still. You should have told me sooner. Very well. Return to the grove. I'll make my own way there. Then we can see about this parasite of yours. The valiant Scratch deserves his rest. Best leave him be for another while. So, the doll is the source of the curse. Now, if there was just a way to dispel its magic... I'm talking. I need you by my side. Voco Arvina. Free for the taking. Fine. <gasps> what is to be done? Looks like the goblins found her. Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know, and neither do any of the others. They're going to call for help. Stop them! To seal away that which a person no longer needs is to lessen the Oak Father's bounty for all. This place reminds me of a magpie's nest. Random baubles, doodars, and what have yous, all jumbled together without a care. I thought you may have bestowed the honor on someone else, but if this is what you wish, so be it. More? Here I go. The journey to Moonrise Towers. And all the dangers that that entails. You know where to find me. Take care. Invisibilis. Unknown. Powerful magic. Moonrise Towers. Unknown. Powerful magic. Moonrise Towers. Unknown. Powerful magic. Moonrise Towers. Does it please you to see me crestfallen? 
That is the only reason I can think why you might toy with my heart like this. Slain and stuffed. I would like to do the same to whoever's handiwork this is. She deserved better than that. The Netherbrain's lair. We may be near the end of all this. <laughs> Don't just stare, Gale. That mouth of yours can do better than just hang open, I'll wager. He is no more. Wise, perhaps. Could we ever have truly turned our backs on him? <laughs> Immortal and angered. What have I done? Once you could hear nature's symphony in this place. Now it is quiet. Quiet and dead. Clag-bottomed coward! Extende! This may keep the city safe, but to seal all those unfortunates away forever! Death would have been more merciful. Feculent beast! By all means, pursue any lead you may have. But I sense all roads will lead to Moonrise in the end. Vampire spawn assailing us in the night. I thought we had ample troubles as it was. At least Astarian is safe. So, you've committed to being the Blade of Frontiers. None can doubt you've earned the title. Well done. I was concerned perhaps my imagination was playing tricks on me. My stomach was in knots like some lovelorn ninety-year-old. Keep strong! The very same. He saved something very precious to me from the grips of the Shadow Curse. Perhaps. But we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. At once. Thou pyrite-loving tit. Kudo! My thanks again for all you did. With the grove safe, I am free to turn to other matters. Curious. What is a patriarch's loss? Material wealth? What a vicious-looking creature. I swear its eyes are following me. There is something infernal to this pillar. Stay your hand, Astarian. To sacrifice so many is a tyrant's ambition. Ah, uh -huh. I cannot imagine how you are feeling, Gale. For a goddess to ask a mortal to pay such a price. I am sorry for... for your burden. Fulgor! I knew one of Rythwin's head masons. She was a good woman, and strong as an ox. Oh, oh. No one's coming. The deal is done. My heart grows heavy for Karlak. She can touch once more. Yet is her remaining time to truly be so short? I shall pray to Sylvanus that it does not come to pass. There is a ruin some way outside of Last Light. I caught a glimpse of fresh blooms there, but did not investigate further. I shall mark it upon your map. A clandestine pleasure. The Shadow Curse still holds sway. Please, we must not go on without lifting it. Indeed. But I cannot shake it from my mind, all the same. Veritas, credo, oculus! Honestly, I never thought I'd make it that far. But the Absolute is a threat to all, and I promised I'd help you with your parasite. Very well. If you should have a chance to strike down the leaders of this horde, the world will be a better place for it. Farewell. Perhaps you'd care for a little... extra company? Hmm. The urge to kill is common in nature. For some creatures, it is the core of their being. Still, though, you seem to speak of a darker impulse. Be careful how it manifests itself. He has escaped. More victims will appear in his wake unless he is stopped. Nearly there! Just another moment! Hold on, my love! <laughs> Trust me, it's been said. You show more restraint than most in avoiding the subject until now. <laughs> I, I know, I know. Well-trodden territory. Uh, well then, let's see. Um, I whittle in my spare time, and I've something of a sweet tooth. Although everyone's very amused when I say I like honey. True. But you are among friends. Whatever lies ahead, we shall face it together. I'm sure something will come to me, given time.
Perhaps if I manage to break the curse. Perhaps then I can show you just how grateful I am. What wickedness befell you, Shadowheart? We emerged, but you were not with us. A vile spectacle. Tefideo! Let me help you then. Every moment counts, and I've asked much of you already without being at your side. Consider it done. Laroa can hunt powerful game. Too powerful for him, perhaps. Dame Aileen should be informed that yet another ambitious fool lusts after her. <laughs> <laughs> the darkness is hungry here. I can feel them sapping my strength. The dagger that slew Father Logan, surely. <coughs> Still, I kind of liked him. Sharp in all the right ways. I would have been compelled to offer a prayer to Shah here once, but no longer. This grave is a mess. Probably an animal's doing. Nature has been most kind to let me share in your heart. What do you need? But nothing to worry about, right? Very well. My claws are yours. Feels like there's magic in every thread of this cowl. <laughs> Something for Gale, certainly. We should put the debtor's attire back on. The consequences may prove violent otherwise, be it with horns or tentacles. I am glad you have a future to look forward to, Karlak. Better get this unlocked. I warned you! I told you this was my burden to carry! Why didn't you listen? Klausus. Faccio! Foco! Fere! Quite a feat. <sighs> Poor Gale. That mystery is wrong about him. Perhaps he can yet prove that. These boots have clearly been enchanted with powerful magic. I think Gale might be interested. Steel Watcher! Those foes are for you! Hold on, I'm coming to help. Nature blesses my gate with purpose. Seems as though the Absolute's attracting followers from all kinds of places. Behold, a most noisy cuck. Sylvanus, guide my step. Cupio, Virtus, Lightset! We ought to seek out other such displays. They may yield more clown parts. That feels good. Resisto Akidum! With haste! The text in this book resembles that etched upon Zar's signet ring. At once. Ah. No. <laughs> this is how it must be. <sighs> Blood. Near the bed. <sighs> Korga. I should have suspected she'd take things too far. I'll deal with her when I can. You could send an elf to sleep. What stayed behind would have been the strongest part of him. But after all these years left in the darkness, corruption must have taken hold. So, we've been traveling with a god's damned vampire. Not what. Who. But all in due course. Perhaps our time has not yet come. Perhaps dealing with the absolute must come first. Whatever you decide, I will understand. If you ever want to talk, my ears are all yours. Any part of me is yours, should you wish. Ah! Ugh, in need of a hand? You are wounded, my heart. Mundus Voltikipi. I smell a trap. Or in toys with us like a cat with a wounded mouse. But to what end? Not an invitation I had anticipated. Or desired. Daubed in grease paint. A clown's appendage, no doubt. Right. <sighs> Tight fit. I barely got through. I am ready. Whatever may come. There. A miserable pile of secretion. The toys from the barn. This must be where they were crafted. Cordico Fake. This looks like the other disc of Orpheus. Damn. Now I smell like a wolf pack supper. A mimic. Hidden in plain sight. One that feeds on his friends, no less. You're half right. You have to get to Moonrise, but you still have a choice of how to get there. The power of the bear lies within me. Some treat their relationships like a walled garden. Tidy, tamed, cut off from the world. That is their right, but it is not for me. I do as nature does, and let my heart run wild. Desire flourishes wherever it finds purchase. What do you want? 
We must be getting close. Devastation beyond measure. We must prevail. We must heal the damage that has been wrought. I shall see to it. We are helpless against the Netherbrain without that! Oh, very well. I wouldn't want to risk damaging the room, I suppose. There are engravings upon this ring. The same language as was in that book, Kazakuran. Resisto frigus, anicus animalis. With haste. Is this what it has come to? Have no fear. I am exceedingly patient. It's true. I can feel it right now. Oh, Oak Father, preserve you, child. <sighs> he blinked. A code, perhaps. Fiat voluntas day. More owlbear eggs. Already hatched. No point in taking these. So your confidant was a mind flayer all along. Disquieting, to say the least. Apart from facing legions of absolute followers, the whole region is shrouded in a curse. A shadow curse. <sighs> I feel... glorious. This easel is begging for something to be placed upon it. Hmm, what was that? My finger work stands to me. Reason to the artist. I should bring that amulet. The Mad Monk will not want to miss this. <laughs> I am here to help. Time. Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. Rank malodorous postule. Art. Hail, Art. Can you hear me? The blight that was Orin has been purged from the world. And we have another Netherstone also. A significant step towards stopping this evil once and for all. I am open to anything. If you can find a piece of furniture that is up to the challenge. You need aid, my love. Maleos! It shall be so. Now, there's no time to lose. Get to the grove and help with the defenses. A healing touch is in order, my friend. Yes. Slain and stuffed. I would like to do the same to whoever's handiwork this is. She deserved better than that. The nether brain's lair. We may be near the end of all this. <laughs> Don't just stare, Gale. That mouth of yours can do better than just hang open, I'll wager. He is no more. Wise, perhaps. Could we ever have truly turned our backs on him? I shall handle this. Once, you could hear nature's symphony in this place. Now, it is quiet. Quiet and dead. Clag-bottomed coward? A portal to Luskan. I have never ventured so far northwards. Extende! Vita mortis calio! The shadows are hungry here. I can feel them sapping my strength. This key. The corpse in the tunnels had one of the very same design. Keep strong! The very same. He saved something very precious to me, from the grips of the Shadow Curse. Perhaps. But we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. At once. Thou pyrite-loving tit. Oh. No one's coming. The deal is done. The nighttime will feel more peaceful, knowing that Orin no longer skulks in the shadows. My heart grows heavy for Karlak. She can touch once more. Yet is her remaining time to truly be so short? I shall pray to Sylvanus that it does not come to pass. I must seize every advantage. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. That ox gazes at me most intently. Help is at hand. There is a ruin some way outside of Last Light. I caught a glimpse of fresh blooms there but did not investigate further. I shall mark it upon your map. A victim of Moonrise Towers. Nothing is sacred in that place. Very well. A clandestine pleasure. The Shadow Curse still holds sway. Please, we must not go on without lifting it. He has escaped. More victims will appear in his wake unless he is stopped. Rest, heal, celebrate if you wish, mourn if you must. Come morning, we shall discuss delivering you from your parasite. Kitty us! Necrotic magic, best avoided. Nearly there! Just another moment! 
<laughs> I assume you will not be surprised to learn I long to escape the city. I miss silence. Greenery. Hold on, my love. <laughs> Trust me, it's been said. You show more restraint than most in avoiding the subject until now. <laughs> I, I know, I know. Well-trodden territory. Uh, well then, let's see. Um, I whittle in my spare time? And I've something of a sweet tooth. Although everyone's very amused when I say I like honey. <laughs> True. But you are among friends. Whatever lies ahead, we shall face it together. Laroa can hunt powerful game. Too powerful for him, perhaps. Dame Aileen should be informed that yet another ambitious fool lusts after her. It's immensely powerful, whatever it is. Strong enough to slow Ceramorphosis to a crawl. Luckily, that gives you more time. <laughs> <laughs> the darkness is hungry here. I can feel them sapping my strength. The dagger that slew Father Logan, surely. Map the impossible. Light the way, well and true. <coughs> Still, I kind of liked him. Sharp in all the right ways. Why can't you fetch puppy? Death is no excuse. It shall be done. I would have been compelled to offer a prayer to Shah here once, but no longer. Pleasant, vivid memories, yes, but my greatest source of pride? No. This grave is a mess. Probably an animal's doing. Nature has been most kind to let me share in your heart. What do you need? Quite a feat. You're here. Good. Now we can begin. I am ready. Whatever may come. <sighs> Poor Gale. But Mr. is wrong about him. Perhaps he can yet prove that. These boots have clearly been enchanted with powerful magic. I think Gale might be interested. Steel Watcher! Those foes are for you! Shar and magic once imbued this mirror. I can feel it. But it works no more. Hold on. I'm coming to help. Nature blesses my gate with purpose. Seems as though the Absolute's attracting followers from all kinds of places. Blood. Near the bed. Corga, I should have suspected she'd take things too far. I'll deal with her when I can. You could send an elf to sleep. Not everyone made it out alive. What stayed behind would have been the strongest part of him. But after all these years left in the darkness, corruption must have taken hold. She must have been murdered, then brought back a thousand times. More. <sighs> Where's Gale? So, we've been traveling with a god's damned vampire. Not what? Who? But all in due course. Perhaps our time has not yet come. Perhaps dealing with the Absolute must come first. Whatever you decide, I will understand. I'll notice. Good. If you ever want to talk, my ears are all yours. Any part of me is yours. Should you wish. Ah! Ugh. In need of a hand? Nocturnus. You are wounded, my heart. Mundus Voltikipi. Huh. I smell a trap. The toys from the barn. This must be where they were crafted. I believe if you find this entrance, you'll discover a route that leads to Moonrise Towers, bypassing the worst of the Shadow Curse. Huh. Still, though, when you are expecting nothing but desolation... Even a small glimmer of hope fills the heart. Cordico Fake. This looks like the other disc of Orpheus. Damn. Now I smell like a wolf pack supper. A mimic. Hidden in plain sight. Consider the blow good as struck. Esurio. There are engravings upon this ring. The same language as was in that book. Kazakuran. Tempora Mutantor. Resisto frigus. Yes. Anicus animalis. With haste. Is this what it has come to? Have no fear. I am exceedingly patient. She is well suited to the task. Better than I, perhaps. To cleanse a land of shadows is one thing. But to sway a heart from a dark path is another matter entirely. It's true. I can feel it right now. 
Oh, Oak Father, preserve you, child. He blinked. A coat, perhaps. Oak Father, let me heal all. Oak Father, guide me. Reason to the artist. I should bring that amulet. The Mad Monk will not want to miss this. <laughs> I am here to help. Time. Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. Rank malodorous pustule. Glad to have you back with us, Gale. The group would be poorer without your insights and your company. Art? Hail, Art. Can you hear me? Invocote! I am here for you. Almost wasted effort. Still in one piece. What did that thing do to me? You did it. You actually did it. The leader's dead. <laughs> Pray, Sylvanus. I cannot imagine how you are feeling, Gale. For a goddess to ask a mortal to pay such a price. I am sorry for... for your burden. Though I wish you had told us of your predicament before. Take Euro, thick as a glob of unguent. Manus potentis paro. Be gone, putrid boil. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. <sighs> What I would not give for a chunk of fresh honeycomb. Abuno disque omnis. Time to take a peek. Tore. To wish to live is natural. But so too is to let go. When the moment arrives, dead flesh and bone rendered into a foul art form. Shadowheart! No! Then the grove is doomed, and perhaps you as well. Meet me at the lakeshore and be prepared. What comes next will be perilous. Making my way. Those tracks say fox, but the stride is odd. Hmm. It must have jumped down there. Those plates correspond with the lights above the door. A mechanical riddle of some sort. To gain entry? I shall see it done. Better stay back. One strike could be lethal. I am Halson, first druid of the Emerald Grove, which you saved. Thank you. A jest. I truly am grateful. If only I could repay you. I shall retrieve that. Huh. Dissolve! Oak Father shield you, my friend. <clears throat> Felt like an earthquake. As if I didn't have problems enough already. Her free will gone. As soon as the Elder Brain willed it. What else is it capable of? Do not falter. Victory looms. <sighs> that smell. How much butchery has this place seen? After the Shadow Curse, I became overly fond of honey mead and melancholy evenings by myself. Now I rarely imbibe, only on the most special of occasions. <laughs> I understand. And I still cherish our relationship. Enjoy the respite. Come morning. We have matters to discuss. You truly are a feast for my eyes. Nature outdid itself with you. Did you wish to speak? All of nature's creatures need to consume something to sustain themselves. But Gale needs to absorb powerful magic? Always. With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. A Saluna prayer book? Hmm. Well, she didn't answer any prayers from this place. Non fit endura. What word, my love? To work. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Time is not on our side. We need a course of action. Now. Ah! Will! No! The Shadow Curse is strong here. Too strong for a simple torch. The torso of a clown... Parted from head and limbs. Dribbles, no doubt. Poisonous necrotic appendage. Let's make this quick. We need to reunite him with Thaniel. Bet this idol has a bit of divine spark left. <laughs> Something Gale can use. As for what you've done for the Grove, speak to Wrath. He will see to your reward. I will not be taunted in this place. Not after all it has taken from me. Show respect, or you will force my hand. Take Kuro! I should look around for the means to turn this on. I shall go at once. A spell. 
but not one I'm familiar with. First druid, and now last druid. Thanks to me, it is done. Now Thaniel will be whole again. I could not have done this without you, my friend. Ah, let me see. Quadico fake, time. I... I know that corpse. Arabella's father. <sighs> I lost control. I felt the bear take over. Blood crazed. And she forced me into a cage. Along with... With children taken from the streets. The disc is moving. There must be even greater depths to explore in this place. This is no threat. This is a certainty. Orin is coming. The brain's power must be strong here. I am blessed to be uninfected. Odd. Someone's cut a notch in the tree there. Yes. Skio didici pecto! No time to waste. Beating thee would soil my hands. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. Body parts put on display. Uh, a vile showing. Ti absolvo! Have no fear, my heart. I am here for you. Didst your idiot mother beclothe you? At least we draw breath still, thanks to the Emperor. Do not be a liability, please! I wonder what that did. I can carry no more. Oak Father willing, we will soon lift the curse from this place. But I suspect a shadow will linger here, because of what was done to that man. We have lifted the shadow curse, but a new challenge awaits us. Perhaps in time, I can trust them to meet their savior. Perhaps you can come to visit us and be treated with all the reverence you deserve. That day may be distant, but I shall do everything in my power to hasten it. Brace yourself. <clears throat> do you think a poultice will unspill your friend's guts? A herbal tea will ungouge his eyes? <laughs> Try if you like. <laughs> the time to save him is dwindling fast. I can almost see something beyond there. Unreachable from here, however. Very well. <sighs> But let us not forget that we also have the Orphic Hammer. We could free Orpheus, let him wield the stones. If we can trust him. Mm. Unnoticed. Good. Fear not, my heart. Society should be judged based on how they treat their most vulnerable. <laughs> Baldur's Gate may deserve harsh judgment from what I've seen so far. More! There is a flower symbol upon that flop house. The key must originate from there, in either case. I will remain by your side for whatever you need of me. Until the very end. <sighs> in truth, I'm not sure. This is beyond all reckoning. It's still part of Thaniel deep down, but it may not recognize that, or want to recognize that. May the carrion birds grow fat on you. I see. Intelligenti poker. No use. He cannot be harmed or freed. Resisto mortem! I think he has parted from the mortal realm. Curious. Thank you. I will grieve when I can, but for now, I must find another way to serve nature. By helping you. <laughs> Resurges! Makeske! That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. This place is unnatural in ways I cannot truly fathom. A vile celebration of death without purpose. I am ready. Your gold and your loins. Not for me to dictate what you do with either. Not bad for a druid of my vintage. My skills are wasted on this one. Hmm? So, Vlakith indeed wishes to hunt us down. Thou roach-mocked jester. Let none stand in our way. Oh, I've never heard something so beautiful. Uh, well said. This dream figure is no friend to us. I better see to it. Oi, ugly, non-fit endura. Has he shown any sign of coming to his senses? One that's happy to use his fangs, it seems. Well done. 
I knew your true nature remained beneath those dark impulses. You are your true self at last. You're a vampire. I can't believe I trusted you. Let you share my camp. That was not just foolish. It was immoral. Nature is my true love. You, I merely tolerate. You were not even born when Shah's followers slew my fellow druids, or when her shadow curse tainted the land. I can get past those. But I truly wish you had trusted me sooner. Silentium! I cannot help but feel that destiny is tightening its grip on our forward path. Return to the grove. I'll make my own way there. Need to get there unseen. You need aid. Clustered fires and tents. An army has gathered. Best keep my distance. <coughs> Whatever it is, the Absolute has a powerful hold over them. The very same night song that Aradin once sought. What could it be? Hostile Minera! I shall see to it. I sensed you would. A problem for another day, perhaps. I just hope there is another day. The birthing ground of those steel monstrosities. I would feel little sorrow if this place should close forever. Behold, the fool of fools, Incomodum! He's looking at me. I'm sure of it. Everything in your mind has been destroyed from what I gathered. And from the path I see you on, you are doing well at picking up the pieces. Talking statues are never a good sign. Oh, you came for me. Thank you. I feared Orin's accursed smile would be the very last sight I beheld. A hag's abode, I am sure. I shall go have a word. Yours are not the hands in which I would have placed such terrible power. Think carefully on your next action. Please. Of, of course. Esurio. This will heal you. It won't budge. I shall not rest. No matter how long I live, I will never get used to the cruelties that infest our world. That such evil is allowed to breathe the same air as us is an abomination. Inexpugnabilis! Do what you must, Gale. Mistra has weighed upon your heart and mind for too long. The Oak Father watches, always. Signum Arcanum. Orin's bloody nest, by the look of it. Agilius! Vocomurus! I can't see a thing. Jahira! No! Veritas credo oculus! Mind flayer horticulture. Beg Sylvanus, not me. At once. Spira mortis! Whatever you wish. <sighs> Pity. A magical surrogate is no equal to nature's true creation. Or I was, at least. I went there. The grove is sealed off to me. To the whole world. Scio di dici pecto! The very same. She saved something very precious to me from the grips of the Shadow Curse. Ah! This thing won't yield its contents easily. Back to the anus that spat you out. You sound all but deranged by blood. But I suppose even a feral wolf has a caring hound at heart. Immediately. No, that's not right. Praise you, my friend. The Grove owes you a debt beyond measure. I ought to leave this to Shadowheart. She needs answers. Better be careful where I point this. Emperor Tibby! Lily-lunged limpet luster! Better go share a word. Mors animi! Reason tiniatis! I had hoped you would change your ways after I last spoke to you. But no. I hope this does not prove to be a mistake, my love. I knew something was wrong when he didn't wake up. But now I'm even more certain. You need this. Looks like these people sought shelter in the tunnels. Vocal Glacius! Consider it done. Hmm, what is to be found? Hurry then, I will meet you there. Seems like nature's provided a shortcut. Truly? I was sure there was a connection. Ever since we celebrated after you saved the grove. Lice-ridden cur. There is something foul to the air here. It reeks of madness and death. Secret Catus! And what have you brought? Harmony? Balance? I shall investigate. The Underdark? All parts of nature's creation, of course, but perhaps not its most hospitable corner after all we've been through. You sound like a student, 
reciting words for a test without considering their meaning. Allow me to fetch that. Trouble seems to seek you out, Minsk. <laughs> I know the feeling. The larger you are, the more likely someone wishes to test themselves against you. No, this is... different. Altered. The magic used is beyond me. It's either not of this world or so ancient as to be lost to even nature's memory. Giore! Given the circumstances, you're faring as well as can be expected, I suppose. That symbol upon the collar. An acquaintance of yours, Gail? T. Execrore! Tormentum! Astarian seems well. Full of life, even. I hope that does not mean that someone else is lacking life. The traitor prince is close. We must split him open. We must fulfill Flacket's command. He keeps saying Thaniel's name. He must know more. We need to rouse him. If only you had come to this place in more peaceful times. You'd have been a welcome addition. I see. Then I hope she understands. You have steered us true thus far. Imperote! Allow me. A fight is brewing. Playing peacemaker could just make things worse. We shall prevail. Oak Father, guide my hand. Mm. Karlak has had her mortality defined to her in most cruel terms. I do not know if we can help her, but perhaps we can at least be there for her. Looks like any regular weapons I have work here too. I think I know how you feel. Duty, eh? <laughs> I hope your wish comes true. We'll need new life once all this is over. Mario! A scaffold awaits Floric. Perhaps we can free her. <laughs> Look around us. You will not have to search for long to see exactly what I mean. Now? Now I need to restrain myself until we're afforded a quiet moment. Seek your bedroll when you are ready, but do not expect much sleep. It's too late to stop things from here. The goblins are already marching on the grove in force. And I'm glad to be had. Glad to be with you, I mean. That's where I'll be. At once. No point in dawdling, I suppose. Aid is coming. Ah! I I torment myself. Scratch is not going to come. I am Halson. First druid of the Emerald Grove. And I sense you have a problem you seek my help with. You need a restorative. Ereske! Dissera! Better get this unlocked. Seems to be jammed. Oh, oh! Resisto Frigus! These tomes. They all tell of a soul subject. Shadowheart. Her whole life in here. You imperiled the grove. How dare you even look me in the eye? Free, finally. That Ginny will regret such trickery. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. Allow me, my friend. Shaw's worshippers had ambitions beyond their strength, it seems. The Astral Prism, or its inhabitants, would never have yielded to them. Need to get this unlocked. Those vampire spawn have made off with Astarian. It shall fall to us to rescue him. It's true, then. He's met Thaniel. There's no other way he'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. Do not squander this aid. Maledictus! Grenadiers! Unleash your bombardment! Hopefully. I've chosen a successor as first druid. Francesca of the High Forest. I sent a bird to summon her. All for the taking. Oh, I could drown in that song. Vincere est vivere. Akidum! What's going on with that rune? Looks unstable somehow. Poxy pissed pervert! We'll have time to spare for that, I sense. I'm surprised you haven't had your fill of me already. Faccio! Voco! Fere! This is but a forgery. I thought that nature would heal and balance between it and civilization could be restored once and for all. He is well. And Oliver also. At times they are one and at others they divide. Easier for playing, perhaps. And the land thrives also. 
I doubt you would recognize it. Amo Sanguinem. There must be some way to stop this. <laughs> Fog. Time to conceal myself. Allow me, my friend. The shadow curse claws at me. Need some light. Viam sapientiae. A sorry outcome. Right away. Help is called for. Looks empty. <laughs> Locked. I need to look elsewhere. Oak Father let me go unnoticed. Like I said, I've lived a long time. Traveled far and wide. I've lain with elf maidens under the boughs of oaks. I've had a kneel and the pirate claw my back and cry my name until he was hoarse. Who's to say? <laughs> Perhaps there's a half-orc buried somewhere in my ancestry. Flowers? How are they growing here, of all places? Oh, I suspect we shall be more than merry. What do we have here? It shall be done. Expello te! Schio! Didici! Pecto! Uh. Unnatural wickedness. Take no part in this, please. Mithara! No! <laughs> hmm, if you say so. I hope at least the thoughts are pleasant. Mm. You might find some use for that thing if it's melted down for arrowheads, but that's all. We have challenges to surmount, of course, but with you by my side, my heart stays strong. I want to talk about what happened. 350 years young. I've been privileged to watch saplings grow into mighty boughs. Veritas credo oculus! If we can get to Moonrise and understand just what this magic is, then perhaps we can rid you of this parasite. Baldurin sets sail, while the dragon stands guard over the city. Maybe if I'd squint? Indeed. <laughs> perhaps it was naive of me to even wonder if she would mind. Her culture arose from the distant fringes of nature after all. But it gladdens me all the same. I cannot leave you like this, love. It's packed too tight. I'll need a shovel. I hope you're happy. Wherever you are. These kobolds have had a skinful. Their scent precedes them. This place reeks of fey magic. A hag, no doubt. <laughs> so be it. I see. If that is truly your desire, then I shall respect it. No matter how much I wish it was not the case. A ghastly spectacle. I shudder to think what it felt like. Allow me. Perhaps there is something to be gleaned, of course. Though I'd rather be speaking to you. Six months. It can be done. A long life well lived will soon render it but a fleeting memory. But what awaits you, Gail? Your path ahead is... unclear. But the grove still stands even if she does not. Thanks to you. Mate Virtute! Impero Tibi! It's just flesh. But my spirit... She did much worse to that. That was tough. This can't have been used in a while. An unappealing totem. Both ugly and costly, I would wager. Up! Make yourself useful! Must have been fishing when these monsters came. Bad luck. A fellow druid's research into the nature of this foul shadow curse. These insights may prove valuable. Infocote! You would wrong an ally. Shameful. Onwards. Indeed. But I just wanted to take the chance to say... It has been a pleasure, Karlak. That was amazing. This stuff's seen better days. In my name. Perhaps. But that's certainly a fight I won't soon forget. Ex textura! May I be unseen like nature's smallest creatures? Very well. Oak Father, shield me in the trials to come. Let us just hope that we chose wisely. It's true. I can feel it right now. Oh, Oak Father, preserve you, child. I dare say you are no longer comfortable in this place, Shadowheart. You need help, my friend. We need to protect the portal. We should begin at once, before we lose the opportunity. Where is the visitor from your dreams? What's done is done. But we should check the corpses for valuables. Intertus Pulcher Imperio! Damn, the bruise acquired a spark. This must have been quite a view, once. I have some matters to settle. 
Then I'll join you at your camp. There we can talk properly. <laughs> Oliver, nobody is making you leave. This is your home. But it is dark, empty, lonely. I don't want you to be alone. I want you to be with Daniel. I shall see to this. <laughs> Refreshing! Mutatis mutandis! Oh no, perish the thought. That can be outright cruel advice to offer in certain cases. They are our guests until they wish to leave. As I said the day they arrived. Oh, ad lapidum! Look at you. Resting without a care, as if you hadn't just defiled the Oak Father's most sacred ground. A Saluna prayer book. <sighs> as if I need this weighing me down. But you were right. You had no choice. I failed her long before you arrived. Let me see. The ringleaders of these butchers still draw breath. Nobody's safe until we stop them. Not a conversation I shall relish. Aqua Pura! I shall aid you! A light touch is in order. The battle is not yet won. True, but only until the thaw. Then life goes on. This gold may never see daylight again, while others go cold and hungry. I have no love for your goddess, or the foul things she unleashed upon nature. But I can appreciate your honesty. There is nobility in your conduct, if not in your allegiance. Manus, potentis, paro! My, you are eager, are you not? In nocte concilium. <gasps> no flame can withstand the shadow curse. Torches are useless here. On the move, Punge. I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as Archdruid. Perhaps the Rite of Thorns could have been avoided. It is hard to say. Bene curato. You did. And most splendidly. But if we are to restore the land, there is more to be done. Unnoticed. <laughs> Good. I shall aid you. You chose. Die with them. Those boots look quite special. Something for Gale, maybe. Isabel, lend us your healing touch. Yes, but just Halson will suffice. Unbecoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. Morskerta. Perhaps you will prove yourself worthy of forgiveness. Perhaps not. At once. Hmm. I've never seen this language before. Who is worshipped here? You are a blight. I cannot allow you to live. Secret tunnel. Entrance hidden. Saluna Temple. Secret tunnel. Entrance hidden. Saluna Temple. Secret tunnel. Entrance hidden. Saluna Temple. The shadows rendered him in two when they bore him away to the shadow fell. Half of his essence remained here, amidst the curse. And you'll receive it soon enough. Return to the grove. I'll make my own way there. You're a vile blister. I shall prick thee. Resisto venenum. It's gone. The entire crush is destroyed. I need to move. Woe betide my foes now. Any who linger are... Twisted by the curse, they become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. And I may be able to help you find a more definitive solution to your problem. Non compos mentis. Ali may. I prefer the art that nature provides, yet I would wager that painting is of great value. Ah! I wish it hadn't come at the cost of another's heart. But I want this. I want you. Wait, did he slip me something? I shall avoid every gaze. Let me see. Of course. Somehow I'd hoped for a miracle. 
But of course, the only miracles are those we make ourselves. Huh. Where's Will? One touch and this will fall apart. Signum Arcanum! Astarian! Bring forth your undead warriors! These rocks are not natural. They will not yield to any strike. Perhaps one day, you and I can both return and see it for ourselves. Kitty us! <laughs> Such attention. I never realized I was so popular. Better be careful. Those webs carry vibrations. I'll miss my books. But I can find all the wisdom they contain out here firsthand. You could certainly use this. I was all too eager to surrender my responsibilities towards the Grove, and now it has been sealed away from the world. Perhaps I was never meant to be Archdruid. To be a leader. And I see plenty to lose myself in. I shall tend to you, worry not. Damn thing is jammed shut. Won't turn like this. Et alibi! Stay with me. No use. This is controlled from elsewhere. So, Hoagin, these sea devils are far from their natural abode. Why venture so close to the city? Mistra has forsaken Gale entirely. <sighs> A crushing blow. But he is strong enough to persevere, I think. <sighs> of course. <gasps> hmm. A touch weary, perhaps. The toys from the barn. This is where he crafted those murderous little things. Onward, then. We'll speak soon, I'm sure. Hardly the time for this. Moonlight, guidance, mm, tides. <laughs> How fascinating. Consider me converted, Saluna. Makeshift Salunite graves. They were buried with haste. Let no eye seek me out. <laughs> Note! This trunk of lies! Imagine all that lies beyond the stars. <laughs> Even I feel small in comparison. <laughs> Her will is strong. Even now she defies the bounds of the material plane. <laughs> she will prevail. Normally such sounds would be most welcome. But perhaps not right now. We must find Thaniel. He's the embodiment of nature's power, but... But he's just a child. A child who's been trapped in this place for a hundred years. Damn, that burns! This does not belong to me. Looks like the Dryder's caravan came from here. I am ready. Keep strong, my friend. Umbrai, Intelligenti Pauka, Resisto! What is this place? So long as all are willing, I see no reason why we should deny ourselves. I bet this idol's powerful enough for Gale to get something out of it. No. Don't say that. Perfect would mean there is nothing left to explore. Even I am partial to having a roof over my head now and again. Perhaps the innkeep can assist us. The magic nearly oozes from this flask. <laughs> can you use it? Deep grooves in the mud around that rock. I saw a winged Asima fly overhead, and now an assault on Moonrise is brewing. Time is not on our side, I fear. We find Thaniel soon. What do we have here? Perhaps, if we can find Thaniel's lost half and make him whole again. Must keep low, unseen like a stalking cat. So be it. Let us talk later. Calm, breathe. <laughs> You've been trapped in the Shadowfell for a century. Take a moment to clear your mind. Klausus. That explains the unfinished statues. The impaled skeletons, not so much. No, that is not right. My body's but a vessel to serve nature with. To take pride in it is to indulge in vanity. Intactually sum! Copio virtus light it! Hmm, a pixie. <laughs> Curious little thing. The Absolute's armies are on the march, and Baldur's Gate is their target. Damn. That shade knocked me right back to the start. Danger is afoot. I cannot spare the time for words just now. <sighs> Perhaps a little. Do you know how hard it's been for me to contain myself? Hold on, my friend. Galakius! Most refreshing. Easier said than done, perhaps. Bene curator, voco venei. But there are many grateful people here who want to spend time with you. I must not keep you all to myself. As enjoyable as that may be. Mm. Fiat Lux! Failed. 
I thought I had it. A prayer book won't be much help to us in this place. We should leave it behind. We've been traveling with a god's damned vampire, Mortalis! Flaming brew. <laughs> this battle's taken a heated turn. Rambling nonsense. Why someone would be drawn to this is beyond me. The outlook is dire. Any choice is better than no choice, I say. It seems the Absolute's forces are already marching on the Grove. I'll have to try and get ahead of them. Do what I can. <laughs> We're all in one piece. Perhaps you'll join us next time. You should take better care of yourself. Right away? No! Cease now before you doom us all! So, only a Mind Flayer can wield the stones, if you trust the Emperor's word. Stay with me. I don't hear anything. True soul. Absolute. What were they raving on about? I understand. And I still cherish our relationship. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. I'm as certain as I can be. If you have a better alternative, I won't stop you. With luck and the Oak Father's blessings, we might actually survive. Are you ready? The leg of Dribbles the Clown. How many pieces was he split into? Mundus Vultikipi. I am Halson, first druid of the Emerald Grove, and I owe you my thanks. Twit, twat, twerp. <laughs> there is no end to these foes. We have to dominate the brain. Copio Vertus Lycet, caveat incantato. Worms crossing, the gaping moor of the city. Nature has little control over what happens beyond that bridge. Well, that was invigorating. Careful now. The necromancy of Thay. <laughs> Sounds ominous. Nature's fury shall not be checked. Unlocked. That drow cowl might have bits of magic lingering inside it. Something for Gale. <laughs> then speak. Let us not forget that we also have the Orphic Hammer. We could free Orpheus, let him wield the stones. If we can trust him. Trust me, the day I no longer have to talk about the Shadow Curse will be a happy one. What would you like to know? Are you sure you wish to end the affair so coldly? Perhaps if you speak to him, he may show you an open mind. So much blood. What the hells has been happening here? A discreet word, then. At last, it is done. Ketherick Thorn will rise no more. All those who did not live to see this day can finally rest. You saw how that young boy was being treated on the streets, didn't you? That man considered him a stain in Baal's name. I am here for you. Forget it. The milk's already spilled. Configo! Indeed. <sighs> the nether brain is strong here, going by your reaction. Gods above. What happened? The Absolute's forces have taken Duke Ravengard to Moonrise Towers. Cupio, Virtus, Lightshit! The corpse botherer has fallen. <laughs> no loss. That did not seem to work. Let me be of aid. As have I. It's been worth the wait. <coughs> I shall write this, my friend. Help is on the way. In a bind, are you? Astarian. You have a remarkably healthy gleam in your eye. For one arguably closer to death than life. Release me! Hmm. That was revolting. They won't be back here anytime soon. Thanks to us. The Grove stood for generations. It was our link to Sylvanas. Now it's nothing but blood and ashes. Thanks to you. <sighs> I was powerless to stop myself. Their screams, her laughter, it's all I can hear. I do not deserve to see the sun again. Nocturnus, Plue, Eresque. I am here for you, my friend. May nature cloak me. To give oneself wholly, and to have a lover totally in your thrall. A harmless game, until it becomes real. I worry for the two of you, Astarian. A discreet boost is in order. I know. It's what brings me here. I doubt a bear this size went down without a fight. This shall help you, friend. None have noticed. Good.
This Stone Lord and Minsk are one and the same. Jahira's friend has taken a dark turn, it seems. I can only hope we still find time to vanquish the curse. I can think of little else. Hey! Secreti Umbrarum. Hmm, well, I can only hope I don't disappoint. Not the most harmonious of birdsong. It may draw more eagles to us. Fulgor! Let stealth be my weapon. Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. Perhaps you overestimate the open-mindedness of the city, if you think they shall accept a devil as their duke. Clustered fires and tents. The Absolute's army is camped here. Better not press my luck. My friend, some of your choices have proven... troubling to me. Jahira's wisdom is plain to see. She understands that to truly serve nature, you must one day surrender your body back to it. It worked. The jar is destroyed. <sighs> Vita excolatur, Voco Araniae. We did the best we could under dire circumstances. You would suggest otherwise? Looks in Tenebra. I was concerned that your pursuit of a cure might cloud your final days. I am glad I was wrong. The wars of late have left many with nowhere to turn. Many lost their families, their homes. Some never had them to begin with. An assault on Moonrise is brewing. Time is not on our side, I fear. We find Thaniel soon. Imagine being tormented in this place for so long. It makes me shudder. It's too late to merely kill this Horde's leadership. Their forces are already marching. If you want me to help, you need to help me first. Ammo sanguinem. This place seems endless. Need to remain on guard. Who is to say what awaits? This will help. Crouch low. Move slow. Not that I'm eager to try stopping you, given the short work you've made of the leadership here. With them dead, it's high time I got back to the grove. Pickets. Ballistas. Siege engines. A little old-fashioned, too. A hundred years? More? Hmm. Voco Venei! If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. The Mind Flayer won't like that. If we take that road, we better be very, very sure it's the right one. That is what I needed to know. It should be a cause for joy, but... That poor man didn't have to die. Of course, it had to be you. I need a shovel to dig this up. Nice and quiet now. This jar is imbued with dark energy. Necromancy. Gortash. Even upon canvas, he seems to taunt. You wish to speak? I am here for you. Locked in. That's rarely good news. One brine pool. Countless parasites. Uh, disgusting things. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. Intactilisum, aqua pura. The end is upon us, my heart. One last battle to decide all. I'd rather the Shadow Curse didn't linger just beyond the campfire. But your company more than makes up for it. Come on, let me help you. I shall move there. Hmm. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Inkende! The brewery. We thought we'd toast victory there once. I have longed to hear your voice. Speak to me. Must not be seen. There must be a way to get them out. Someone else find a way out of here. The grove is lost to me. To everyone. It's useless for me to stay here. There's nothing left to fight for. That was terrible. Up to me to help, of course. Sine metu. That is a truth that can evade minds far older than yours, Will. <laughs> you are wise beyond your years. Magis amica veritas. Just empty shells. Best to just keep the unhatched one. This is the truth. <laughs> I live for the wilderness. Comfort is for the farm animal. Snug in its pen. Virtus et scientia! Keep it up, damn you! Sometimes it is difficult to see exactly what we are fighting to save here. 
Sometimes the Shadow Druid's desire to separate nature from all this seems pragmatic, not fanatical. It shall be done. Do not cost us victory. Let none see me. You are insistent, are you not? Nature shall provide. My magic is infinite. <sighs> or is it? Perhaps if you're a little faster, you may yet save the big ox. I can barely move for all that I carry. There is much to do. This land is more than just soil and rock, root and leaf. It is a living being, in the form of a young fey boy, with the forest itself in his eyes. His name is Thaniel. I've met him in my meditations. You are afraid because you are alive, and you have something to lose. Hold on to that. Allow me to assist. The final body part. Time to show the ringmaster. The Deo Veritatum. Gladly. Very good. It's ready. I'm going through. May the Oak Father guide me back to you. Ah. I remember this shape. Heretio Inspira. Evanesco. It seems Gale has made amends with Mistra. I see this as a good omen for what awaits us. I thought that would be the case once. Yet. Perhaps the Grove will not need me. I shall go have a word. Corruptus! Invenium Vian! The blood of Saluna? I thought we neared Aridin's precious night song, not a sacrifice. Ostende secretorum tuorum. Oh, father, guide my hand. I sense there is little else to be said or done here. Imperamortus! A flaming fist? Someone beat her to a pulp. Use this wisely. I shall soon have you free. That there is no we. You were the driving force behind this madness. Now it stops. It shall be done. Victory eludes us, my love. But let us press on. The stones may have failed us. But this is not over while we still draw breath. All the more potent now. I waited for my chance and did what was necessary to survive. And perhaps a few things that were less than necessary. <laughs> it may be some centuries before my flesh is ready to yield, but I hope I shall be bold enough to follow in her path when the day comes. You are right, but I must not lose focus until everything has been put right. I've wasted too much time already. Years in which nature has suffered. <clears throat> Suge! This doesn't have to be your burden alone. Every moment counts, and I've asked much of you already without being at your side. Yet another Githyanki disc. We must consult Lazel. No, that wasn't my most glorious moment, but my greatest failure? Far from it. Ah, but there are no pets in nature, only companions. Though I'll admit, Crag likely made for a rather stoic confidant. That is where I'm needed. Ah, <laughs> ah, that's better. Damn! The Shadow Curse spares none of nature's creations. This wall is damaged. Perhaps it can be breached. Pilfering it is then. Perry! Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. You were wise to turn from Shah Shadowheart. Now your family is restored, and the healing can begin. We need to find Oliver and get him to return to Thaniel. Otherwise, this curse will never be lifted. We shall carry the day. By my eye, that blade's magical. What do you think, Gale? The final battle is upon us. May the Oak Father grant us victory. But the Grove must come first, I'm afraid. I'm a bit busy at the moment. We'll talk later. More! Ve victis, amo sanguinem. I can carry no more. A rift. Can it be away inside its mind? Venustior. That's no surprise. It looks powerful. Tormentum. He holds sway over his pupils. They will kill for him. Die for him. We are each free, as we always were. 
But that does not need to be the end. Fresh horrors. They will fall like all the others. Hells, you look like you've seen a ghost. Seems your ranks are quite packed. If some space frees up, I'll be ready for you. Agilius! Worry not, my love. Every moment counts. An infernal abode. This is not a place in which we should linger too long. I must admit, I didn't expect anyone would come to my aid. Who in their right mind would infiltrate a goblin-infested temple? Unless... Mm -mm. I said... Gentle. The final blow has been struck. The battle is surely won. You will not desecrate this grove. Not while I draw breath. A wooden mask. For what purpose? These tracks. Goblins? Ah. Bones everywhere. Someone's been engaging in dark rituals here. Flagra! I told you, nowhere is safe. Not while this rot festers. Once it is cut out, once the grove is secure, then I shall leave. Can't see a thing. I have nature's fury at my back. Do not yield, Karlak. This is not your time. Great knowledge rests within these pages. Ah! Nula Salus! I was going to show leniency. But Korga, a child is dead because of you. Of course. Every bit as disgusting as the first time. It shall be done. Whoever that elf is, he's got an army of Shah worshippers at his command. Will sacrificed his own father. A hard choice, but not one that is unknown in nature. At times a seedling must strangle the very tree that bore it, if it's to survive. Ketherick Thorm is no more, but the Shadow Curse remains. There must be a way to lift it, an ally in need, though scarcely a friend. Kaido, what in the hells is that? Of course, thoughtless of me, my apologies. But at least you cannot be infected twice. Or at least, I hope not. <sighs> Poor souls. They met a cruel end. Moving to position. It was a long time ago. I was a foolhardy young druid, intent on seeing the beauty of nature's unworldly fauna and subterranean glow for myself. Druids and harpers joined together to put a stop to Ketherick Thorm. We marched on Moonrise, and after much fighting, we prevailed. This will be of aid. This place is not of the natural realm. It is the domain of darkness, emptiness, sheer nothingness. Venustio, fudge fondling fustalarian. The bark is in place. Now what? Mm -hmm. Another mimic. Damnable things. Balthazar, a necromancer crony of Thorm's. The same's true of everyone, I find. I need to examine him back at the camp. Your scars, I see them all. They tell a painful story. The brain's power grows stronger still. Fight it, however you can. Ignis! For years now, this curse has consumed all light and life. It spits out only darkness and despair. Impressive that she managed to move my bulk, come to think of it. I wonder how that was managed. You rabid dog! Murderer! Those were the servants of Sylvanus! Nature's guardians! Oak Father, watch over your servant. That sounds like what you need. But the next part of the journey mightn't be straightforward. Or safe. Oak Father. A mind flayer spawn. You should be far gone by now. Perhaps someone knows what this means, but not me. I am glad you feel that way, for I fear what awaits you will be difficult. There are few places you could go where your new form will not inspire fear, anger, violence. Burnt to a crisp, consider my tongue wagging. None can withstand nature's wrath. A scratch cannot come 
He still languishes at the post house. Keep strong for me. Nullus Salus. <laughs> I knew Catherick Thorne was ruthless, but this is more than I could have fathomed he was capable of. Voco Flagella. A monument to Lathander, god of dawn, and killer of Helm's lover. The bastard. A magic keyword to be used in the archive. You're right. I should not let the failures of the past sour the victories of the present. We have achieved something immense here. This shall soothe you. Hang on! We need to find a way out of this chamber as well. Manus! Potentis! Paro! I've been traveling with a god's damned vampire. You better keep those fangs to yourself. <sighs> I was harsh on myself before, on my leadership of the Grove, the decisions I made. <laughs> Perhaps too harsh, considering this place. I will, but I need to know where Thaniel is. If I venture into the Shadowfell blind, I will never find him. Temporary crises have a habit of becoming part of the everyday given half a chance. A rot is taking hold here. Confucio! It's a natural question, but I don't have a good answer, I'm afraid. Perhaps there's an, a half-orc buried somewhere in my ancestry. This is what lies at the heart of Shah's church. What is being done to them? Press thy face! The hags are hiring! Seco! I cannot come with you, though I wish I could. At least let me tell you what I know. Help you on your journey. Harpers! To me! Huh? Dialino! If he was able to escape the Shadowfell, then it mustn't have managed to consume his spirit. Well, not all of it anyway. Oculus Tempestatis. Careful, those are mean locks. Let's see what we have. Hmm. I can think of a thing or two. But in truth, it is for the best that the curse consumes my thoughts for now. This is the best chance I've had in a century. I cannot squander it. I must use every advantage. Hold on, my love. What do we have here? Dolor. Oh. Oh. Huh. Oh. <sighs> oh. 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 One moment. Look at this place. The evidence is clear enough. Neither seen nor heard. Gortash is to become Archduke. We need to reach Worm's Rock. Too much noise. Too many lanterns kept burning. Nature's rhythm is ignored here. At once. Impressive horns, though surely forgeries. Still, fine craftsmanship all the same. See what you can learn from it. It might reveal something about his actions before the curse. Then we may find means to wake him. I don't like the look of that mushroom. I should stay clear. This portrait, it courses with necrotic energy. Grave magic. Something moved elsewhere. Worth a look. You could use this. Over here! And yet save it you did. I am grateful, no matter what your motivations. Aradim was convinced there was a hidden entrance in the Temple of Saluna. I'd start there. <laughs> Indeed it does. Did you never experience such delights with Mistra? Stealth would be wise. Loth's noble houses are constantly at each other's throats, and eventually some rivals of my hosts sought to unseat them. West, Baldur's Gate. East, Elturel. That corpse. It's Arabella's mother. A quiet word, then. I wish to come with you. Help solve this problem that's plaguing you. It's the least I can do. On my way, maledictus! This need not be a parting. So long as you fight on. You and I can each roam apart until nature compels our paths to cross once again. Behold! The fool of fools! A waste of air, but very well. Lady Keen, we need you in this fight! <sighs> of course. 
Whatever you wish. Let us talk. Stay strong, my love. You have bonded with Astarian, body and soul. His scent lingers on your skin. If there is to be anything between us, it must be with his consent. And perhaps someday, his participation. These vials contain organs. Not donated willingly, I assume. That's odd. The flame won't go out. <laughs> Worry not. I asked for freedom to follow my heart, and of course I offer it in return. <laughs> there is so much to enjoy amidst nature's bounty. Why squander what time we have on jealousy? <laughs> Did you enjoy the show? <laughs> it was but an opening act, blood brother. Viam sapientiae, vos curo. This city troubles me, but I am here for you. I want to be by your side and see this through. Of course. But it shall not be the last. More tremors. Will they ever cease? Good. This is what we've been lacking. Now there's a chance we can find Thaniel and bring him home. Allow me. Much would rest on Orpheus proving himself an ally then. Mizora, aid us! Nothing but brains. Food for mind flares, I suppose. Allow me to help. Soft as a feather. On my way. So they kept the blood of Lathander here. No wonder it was looted. Schio didici pecto! Just as nature intended. Come here to me. Baldur's Gate lies that way. We may not return here. Better see to any unfinished work before we depart. Nature's blessings. I thought you'd be on your way by now, unless you changed your mind. What? This place reeks of evil. It must be purged. No. If there's any interference with the portal, then our one chance is lost forever. And so am I. What in the hell, Zestarian? You tried to bite me last night. <laughs> Slow. You'll need to be much, much faster if you want to save the big ox. You will. Oak Father, bless you. I'll be in your debt twice over if we succeed. It is most unfair to pour such scorn on rats. They have their place in nature. Same as you or I. Forget it. It's blocked from behind. That foul shapeshifter Orin is like a scavenger beast, probing us for weaknesses. Do not let her shake your resolve. Must be thorough. I feel it also. Energy fading. I won't last long here. A hag's staff has to be brimming with magic. <laughs> Take a look, Gale. Fine. I shall help. These must have been the tunnels Father Logan used. His name is here. Someone was spying upon him. I shall see you laid low. There is an admirable harmony to the Society of Brilliance. Beings of all sorts, united in the pursuit of intellect. And you saw this boy yourself? That can't be a coincidence. But we need to be sure. It shall be unlocked. Comortuus in lingua mortua. I don't deserve you, my friend. It has its place, but it is not for me. The wolf mates for life, but the bear roams free and partners as its instinct dictates. I would not want to be on the receiving end. I thought your faith in Vlakith was unshakable, Lazel. Perhaps Vos will prove to be a more worthy ally. You have bonded with Gale, body and soul. His scent lingers on your skin. If there is to be anything between us, it must be with his consent. And perhaps someday, his participation. Frange! The lightest of touches, a tricky one. I shall help. Ah, a glimpse of nature. Like a sip of water to parched lips, hey, Jahira. Wouldn't take the stuff no matter what. If I'm going to go, let it be in a blaze of glory. Do as you must. As shall I. We shall meet again. It is as sure as the break of dawn.
or the spring thaw. Pay attention! Right, let's keep moving. Let no look resist nature's will. They met a cruel end. But it looks as though they put up a fight. Hoke father, preserve me. Even carrion birds would not stoop so low. Damn you! Do not cost us victory! The way is clear. Time to see what awaits. I shall prevail. <clears throat> we shall prevail! Flagra! I need to get out of here. Cuckold courting curmudgeon? I shall miss him. Though I hope he proves to be a kindly god. I've had my fill of the tyrannical sort. I am coming for you, my love. Shadowheart will want to speak to Dame Aelin. I should not get in the way. Do not give up. It seems like you've no room for me just now. And I take up no small amount of space. Fine, I'll help. Minsk. Jahira's acquaintance, I believe. I shall strike like a hidden serpent. They may have their purposes. You could cast fireballs of sorts without having to spend years studying magic tomes. <laughs> Let's make the most of this. Better than roses. And I have been evicted from the very place I was charged to safeguard. A telling summary of my time as Archdruid, perhaps. You infect mine eyes and nostrils. To work. I will perish without aid. Baldurin and his skilled friend watching over the city of their creation. I'm glad you will not surrender an ally, but we should still be cautious around this one. I'm afraid so, yes. Check his person. There might be something on him to help us get started. Oh. Oh my. Must be what's left of that would-be extortionist. Strange engravings upon this ring. A language unknown to me. Battle has been joined. We cannot let up until Ketherick Thorm is no more. Someone in need. A pair of wings. Voscuro! Poor creature. This was no place for it to die. Just a moment. Ah-ha! Seko! It's no small thing to defy a goddess. Perhaps the darkness is not Shadowheart's true nature. Dame Aelin will surely aid us. The Moon Maiden's very own daughter knows our cause is just. Not again. What? What happened? Where am I? These are Sharon weapons. I would recognize the Nightsinger's blades anywhere. Stay with me, my love. Strange sounds and unexplained bloodstains. Something's afoot, needless to say. My Afortio! <sighs> Miss it? <laughs> oh dear, no. It's a terrible burden. Takes you away from nature and forces you to deal with others' problems and personalities. What a time for pilfering. An unwelcome chore. Whatever it takes. I swear... I can already feel a change in the air. Like the curse itself knows its time is short. Shadowheart, fulfilling your parents' wishes took courage beyond measure. I hope true peace finds its way to you swiftly. Let me see to that. Then you have never heard me singing, which makes you very fortunate. For real? The engravings on this ring are the same language as upon the door, but I cannot read it in any case. A short respite, but better than nothing. Teat stringo linguum. Time to move. I must not be seen. To defy a goddess is no small thing, Shadowheart. Perhaps the darkness is not your true nature. Ah, very well. Karlak, no! It is you who should be praised, sister. You are Sylvanus's instrument. And please, just Halson. I will not demand honorifics of my savior. It seems Roland failed to bind Dame Aelin in time. And now she'll see us as enemies. A shame that Minsk had to die. I sense he could have been an ally to us. Had circumstances been different? Hmm. Um, I suppose you wouldn't be shocked to learn I love animals and nature? Tore! That was close. This entire place would have been destroyed. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. Tormentum. Enough! If anyone befouled this place, it is you. By sowing division, hatred, death. Time to get clear of this place. Do not torment yourself with paths not taken. 
You did what was necessary. On I go. Some rejuvenation is in order. I shall help you, my heart. Better have a candor. I cannot imagine the strength it must take to deny yourself access to the world. Your benevolence truly knows no bounds. An interesting bottle. No commonplace tipple, I would guess. A guardian of faith spell. And a remarkably long-lasting one at that. In nature, you would be left to fend for yourself. May you share in nature's power. Allow me. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the drow Minthara, the hobgoblin draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess gut. Thou inglorious hog. At least now we can benefit from her presence. And perhaps work to a common goal. I cannot absolve you, even if you are repentant. The shadows. I can feel them draining the life from me. A cruel choice lies before you. I can only speculate how you must feel. Diminue. I shall see to that burden. An intriguing pair. Takes me back to my youth. Necklace has a harper sigil. Why were they here? This should help. Battle is afoot. You can poke me once we're safe. I knew I could put my faith in you. If only we had met sooner. Time this was unlocked. The tools of warfare left to rot. I remember when they were pristine. We thought victory was close at hand. I find it difficult to imagine that rest will come easily in such a place. Finny, it's you for me! You fear wolves, Shadowheart. I had not realized. I shall go there. Hulsin, he's dead. No chance of lifting the curse now. It is sealed off to me, to the whole world. Forever, perhaps. Onwards. There is no reason to linger here. T. Absolvo! <laughs> Thank you, magic. I trust you to do what you think is best. But I just hope that we can indeed trust the Emperor in turn. That's him. Like an echo of Thaniel, remolded by the curse. We need him if we're to put a stop to all of this. Right away. Don't waste this. Do not falter. I am here. Worth a look, perhaps. I must leave this for now. I sense a change. This place may be hostile to our presence. Inaccess us. Of course my canine friend cannot help just now. He remains at the post house. <laughs> a toy bear. <laughs> Not quite ready for a child's bed just yet. Not what I expected to run into in a place like this. Era. Not very self-reliant, are you? That's the symbol of Merkel. Someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. Karlak, I am sorry. I shall not try to soothe you with gilded words, but... Know that I am here for you. You have shed the rarest of blood for your goddess, Shadowheart. I hope it was worth it to you. Zevlor turned to darkness in his desperation. But he did not deserve a fate such as that. Gustas Dulcis. Besides, a large enough pack of scavengers can take down even the strongest of bears. My chosen successor, Francesca, has proven to be a wise choice. Perhaps the wisest I ever made as Archdruid. <sighs> Corga. Poor child. The grove will be a dimmer place without her potential. Invocote! Part of me wishes we could stay in this room forever, you and I. But there is a new dawn breaking, and I have a part to play. There, with haste! A network of tunnels beneath a temple, and Father Logan written down as well. Uh, uh, Morio! That doesn't sound promising. Uh, not just any strike can destroy this vessel, then. Get back in the fight! I shall free. All those lies snuffed out, just to grasp some power. That was craven, unnatural. I have vanished, as far as all are concerned. I think on them also, but nothing matches the splendor of an ancient tree. A trail, small footprints. They lead to that cave. We've been traveling with a vampire this whole time. Caveat incantator! Is that so? Well, 
Nature does abhor waste. I will keep watch, thank you. I had a feeling time in your company would prove fruitful. Caveat incantator! Now, we have much to catch up on. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been doing. I shall never tire of that. Now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on, enjoy the festivities. We can speak again later. <laughs> Do you truly even need to ask? Of course. Who could not open their home to a befeathered hero of Baldur's Gate? Well, I am not normally given to imbibing. But this is a special occasion. And I believe our dear Withers procured a fine honey mead as part of the celebratory victuals. My, perhaps a tale for the older children, once I trim off a few of the less savory details. <laughs> but thank you, all the same. Of course. Disagreements, friction, opposing cultures, and our fair share of petty nonsense that I shall not bore you with. It is to be expected, wherever people gather to make a life for themselves. Interesting. Part of me still thought of them as hosts, but I suppose captors is indeed more accurate. I took my chance and fled while all were distracted. I never looked back until I breathed fresh air again, and never learned what came of my hosts. <laughs> you read my mind. Withers has laid out quite a spread of food for one comprising mostly of bone. Many of the children have already heard of you, as it were. Do you know some of them scarcely even believe this old bear could be acquainted with such a hero? <laughs> <laughs> Just as I hoped they would, more like. The Oak Father has been kind to me this past while, yet I cannot forget the bond we all forged together. <laughs> Fancier but oink? <laughs> Indeed, you'll be hard-pressed to find a joke I haven't. Oh, I was eager to attend tonight, yet I cannot help but fear that it may be a mistake. Do you know what I speak of? Well, luckily for you, mortals have the habit of embellishing their run-ins with gods. <laughs> I am sure I can muster something to captivate the children from what I can glean of you. Reunited with friends amidst nature. <laughs> what more could I wish for? Uh, before you go, I have something for you. Just a little keepsake, really. Do you remember how I told you I like to whittle? I made this. I can make something palatable with a little showmanship and creative license. Hmm, thank you. <sighs> I'm glad they are so comfortable with the Oak Father's creations but they must learn that not all are as amiable as I am. A lesson for another time, though. They deserve some joy. Something is amiss. I feel an odd presence on the air. Familiar, yet different. Of course. <sighs> Seeing them free and happy may be my proudest achievement. And now they have more playmates than they could ever wish for. Even the most ascetic of nature servants would be tempted by such an elixir. But that can wait. Your company is what truly drew me. I was just thinking the very same all these months, and I haven't been away from what we built together. There's a whole community out in Thaniel's realm that has never known a day without our presence. I dwell upon what we shared. That bond was forged in a crucible that can never be stoked again, Oak Father willing. It is a bond that can weather any distance, any passage of time. Your embrace makes me feel safer than any armor could. Our community grows rapidly. In six months, we have turned what was once a shadowy wasteland into a true home for all. In another six months, I would wager the scars of the past will be entirely invisible, even to those who remember them. We already learned Gon's true name, Nebelin. You are right, of course. What we have made shall outgrow us both, and, Oakfather willing, stand as our legacy. Ah, and I did promise the children I would bring them back a surprise. Ah, oh, imagine their faces. <laughs> I thought I would, but in truth, no. 
Roaming has lost its luster now that I have somewhere I truly belong. You are stalwart, even in service of darkness. Hm. There will be a lesson there for me to impart to the children, with a few details glossed over, perhaps. Thank you. What was that? Are my senses betraying me? It would not go amiss, if you are willing. Perhaps that is so. It has been so long that I may have forgotten the peril that I faced. I impart what knowledge I can to them, yet, in truth, they teach me far more. The land we saved is theirs, and they will cherish it, I'm sure. Thaniel and Oliver shall never want for friends again. You would be unwise to attempt it, trust me. In any case, the house of my captors is long extinct. Oak Father preserve you. I hope you have a tight hold on the beast. But this shall make for a most stirring tale for the children. I may even have to tone down the details for fear they get too excited. <laughs> As for roaming, that impulse has dwindled, I must admit. Perhaps because I have found where I am meant to be. By all means. You made it! <laughs> now the revelry can truly begin. It is one that can weather any distance, any passage of time. I know it can, for I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. <laughs> I could get used to this. Indeed. Perhaps I carry more resentment than I realize. Time can prove to be a trickster on one's recollections. What would be multiple lifetimes for others now separate me from my captivity. Perhaps I have lost perspective on what happened to me. We welcome folk from all walks of life, anyone who wishes for a new start. Naturally, it can be chaotic at times, but it is a thrilling sort of chaos. It thrives in ways I could never have dreamed of, as am I. I may age more slowly than most, but I do believe I've gained some new laughter lines of late. Lolf's noble houses are constantly at each other's throats, and eventually... The house that held me fell out of favor and was attacked. Now, please, tell me all, and spare no details. I shall not lie. I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. It is the children, you see. My charges. <laughs> you have kept yourself busy. I expected no less in truth. It would be easy to resort to nature's fury whenever something stood in my way, yet... I cannot help but feel I would be sullying the Oak Father's gifts. Naive, perhaps, but I still draw breath. <laughs> Forgive me. This past while has been so idyllic that I almost fear something must go wrong. A fear I shall overcome. Trust me. <laughs> We're amongst friends. In celebration. Our differences are... Insignificant compared to our shared experiences and achievements. We are a rare breed. We should let bygones be bygones. The shadows were concealing a true adventurous heart then. <laughs> Thank you. The children shall be wrapped. I lost friends, confidants, and had the weight of responsibility bear down on me unrelentingly. There was scant opportunity for self-reflection. Korga was beyond saving. But the others have a true mentor now, and I am very glad for them. Enjoying yourself, I trust? <laughs> oh, I certainly am. A touch bleak, perhaps, but considering the amount of orphans in my audience, I'm sure they'll manage. I know it can, for I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. You are right. Perhaps I'm simply out of practice. They ask after you often. What you did for them will never be forgotten. I can see it in the land all around me. But more importantly, I see it in their faces whenever they visit. I must be careful to not overindulge tonight, lest I lose control and slip into bear form. Quite an atmosphere. I would not have presumed Withers to have a festive touch. 
It truly is splendid to see everyone gathered together again, if only for a night. <laughs> I hope the sun does not make haste to rise on us. I have not had true confidants for some time. The Shadow Curse robbed me of almost all my peers and replaced them with the weight of responsibility. Perhaps that caused me to gild undeserving memories of my youth. Nor would I. You must be eager to speak to some of the others. I shall be fine. Do not allow me to keep you. <laughs> Perhaps that is so for you, but for me... It may be that a peaceful life after so many years of tumult has made me sentimental. Countless tales have begun with a roaming adventurer. <laughs> I am sure I shall keep the children enthralled for years to come with your exploits. Thank you. Too murky for a children's tale, I fear. Perhaps I should focus on the hero you were and the sacrifice you made. But thank you for sharing, nonetheless. I see. Perhaps the children can learn something from your ambition in the face of adversity. Hmm. Thank you. Their appetite for bedtime tales is greater than I could ever have anticipated. Another story, Daddy Halsin. Another is the chorus that greets me each nightfall. But the authentic sense that your recollections bring to the tale shall win them over, no doubt. Thank you. <laughs> I cannot remember the last time I heard the Ballad of the Endless Spring performed. <laughs> now there's a ditty worthy of a knee slap. Yet not by me. I shall tell the children of your heroism and sacrifice. They shall know what they owe to you. Trust me. And who's to say we need to make such gatherings a rare occasion? My hearth is yours to warm yourself beside always. You would think someone of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. But now our paths cross once more. I shall be honored to speak of you to the children. To embrace change as you have shall make for a stirring example. Hmm, thank you. <laughs> you cannot bear to be apart from me, I see. Tell me. Are you happy with the path we tread together? I took you from a life of high adventure to one that can be described as, well, anything but. I am glad you and Karlag have an enduring friendship. It shall serve as a strong lesson for the children, as well as a stirring tale. In a manner of speaking, yes. Though it is a more complex, evolving beast than I could ever have anticipated, True balance is no simple, fixed thing. Hmm. I see that now. Hmm. I hope so. The children shall miss their bedtime tale tonight. Though, perhaps I can glean a few new stories from our friends here to make up for it. Rest assured, my arms shall be ready. Come morning, I shall write a letter of inquiry as to his condition. A promise is a promise. Tusk shall have his mate. Oh no, perish the thought. I can barely imagine stooping to such barefaced pun mongering. <laughs> they have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a few short months. No mean feat given the lifetime I have lived. I desperately need new material, please. My reputation is at stake. Now the task is to make yet more of them, so that each reunion shall be all the sweeter. In any case, my audience will favor a good tale over veracity any day. I thank you for your offering. No, it's wooden. Um, I suppose it burns if you find yourself in dire need of kindling, but <laughs> I hope it does not come to that. <laughs> Truly? <laughs> I never would have guessed that is what happened. And to think I believed I had the measure of you. But I am glad to be wrong. The children shall be captivated. And, in truth, I think I am better able to help them navigate it than I ever was as Archdruid of the Grove. I am wiser, perhaps, but I am certainly happier. Hardships are rare and diminished when you are where you truly want to be. 
It is, truly. Though a more complex, evolving beast than I could ever have anticipated. I spoke often of balance before. Only now do I realize the balance is no simple, fixed thing. How thoughtless of me. Come here. You are right. But such drastic times can make it difficult to preserve nuance in one's thinking. Further reflection is needed. That bond was forged in a crucible that can never be stoked again, Oak Father willing. It is a bond that can weather any distance, any passage of time. In that case, very well. I was just about to ask the same of you. I'll admit, I am curious to hear how you've been occupying your days. A noble calling. Your tale shall inspire a whole generation. Hmm. Thank you. Then I shall take courage from your example. As did I, but... Somehow I feel like I no longer need to roam. That I have found something worthy laying roots for. Ah, huh. my greatest purpose and greatest reward. Those children have been through more than fate had any right to cast at them, and yet they go on as resilient as anything in nature. It was chaos. Drow against drow, the clash of blades echoing throughout the caverns, the feel of warm blood that I could not see. It is not for me to boast. It was a shared effort to reclaim the stones of Moonrise and Drythwin and build something new. <laughs> I am just lucky to be a part of it. Ah, but the glory can be found in the telling. The children love tales of underdogs, facing odds most unlikely. <laughs> they shall appreciate your story. Trust me. I shall be able to keep the children enthralled for a few more nights yet, thanks to you. And should you wish to retell of your exploits in person, well, I shall not object to a night off. The day I weary of those lips is the day I weary of life. The gnomes know Gond by his true name, Nebelin, it seems. I like it. Tusk, a boar back in the grove. I had promised to help him find a mate before we embarked on our quest, but with all that transpired, I forgot. <laughs> I am aware. Perhaps I put too much faith in my skills of negotiation, or want to see good where there is none. I am lucky to have your counsel. It was sorely needed. Hmm. Perhaps I can substitute the bloodlust and, well, general lust for cuddles and animals in the retelling. The children may be confused, but no matter. They will soon be asleep. <laughs> ah, yes. I thought I caught the scent of a wolf upon the wind. <laughs> ah, the children shall love this. But be warned. <laughs> they may insist upon a visit. I am glad to hear it. <laughs> Forgive an old fool in need of a little reassurance. I am still expecting to stir from the dream. <laughs> Perhaps my true nature was waiting to reveal itself with your aid. I just hope you share in my contentment. <laughs> you jest, but I caught the scent of some honeymead as we arrived. Even I may be tempted to indulge a little. <sighs> that was more than worth the wait. Now, it would be cruel of me to hoard you all to myself for the evening, as much as I would like to. I shall leave you to the others for now, unless there was anything else. To make a child smile is to dabble with the power of gods, as far as I'm concerned. Perhaps the bard knows some of my favorites. Unless my taste in music is too antique, of course. Even with a few white lies, rest assured that they shall be engrossed. Thank you. Just a token to remember me by. <laughs> now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on. Enjoy the festivities. We can speak again later. I sense tonight is a night I will look back on fondly in years to come. <laughs> Please, spare no details. I shall not lie. I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. It is the children, you see. My charges. I shall not falter from what must be done, but I cannot ignore what I see either. 
<laughs> Quite often. They come and go as they please, but with so many playmates to avail of, <laughs> they are far from strangers. Of course, I have just become unaccustomed to free time, perhaps. I feel like I'm neglecting something. I just hope the children get by without me there for their bedtime stories. Oh, I am well aware, trust me. Now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on, enjoy the festivities. The old masonry of Moonrise Towers and Rythwin have been repurposed into new homes, and the land is rich with harvests and bountiful trees. Nature and civilization are in harmony, stronger together. Why, Master Dakarios, I had no idea you would continue to stoke the fires of adventure. <laughs> I commend you, as shall the children, once they hear of your exploits. Thank you. Even Korga may yet find true balance, thanks to her influence. Sanguine joys, no doubt. Perhaps I shall smoothen out those details. The children do not need to know the full truth of your diet. But they shall be wrapped all the same. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Perhaps I shall have to take the form of a mouse and hide myself away. Powerful magic. Murderous magic. End the undead one before he ends us. I always do. Should I ever decline, assume a doppelganger has taken my place. I shall not push the matter if you're not comfortable. I can tell you how I have been faring, if you wish. The makings of the multi-night epic. <laughs> the children shall rush to their bunks in order to hear the next chapter. Thank you. Hmm. Do I detect a certain exaggeration? <laughs> you could give Master Gedarm a run for his gold. Though I suppose he has little need for it now. Oak Father bless him. Ah, as you wish. Enjoy yourself. You are truly incapable of disappointing. The children shall be wrapped, and have no fear. All due credit shall be given to the tale's originator, and with an appetite for the grey ambrosia that dwells within every skull, I presume. Well, perhaps I shall remind the children of your heroism and self-sacrifice, and skip over the brain-eating until they're older. We have all pined for each other's company, I sense. I cannot imagine otherwise after what we shared. Well, that is your choice to make, of course. Though I hope the sentimental value may win out over the temptation of a few coppers. <sighs> the children's sense of humor is rubbing off on me, perhaps. Perhaps he wishes to live vicariously through the attendees' appetites. I see. Well, I trust your sources, of course. Perhaps the historical record can survive an embellishment or two, for the sake of the children. <laughs> In any case, you have my gratitude. I live to serve. Always. You are more intoxicating than any fare this gathering has to offer. That was more than worth the wait? Oh, I suppose you didn't mean that literally. In that case, nothing more needs to be said. Farewell. I appreciate the nudging all the same. We serve as a good pair, you and I. Oh, to have your confidence. You must think me like a mother hen. <laughs> More than a few, I should think. At least I shall be equipped to explain the birds and the bees when the time comes. But I hope that time is quite a while off yet. A formidable duo. I'm glad that you and Karlak have each other. It shall serve as a strong lesson for the children, as well as a stirring tale. I would urge some caution. This honeypot is full of bees. Done and done. From dust Baal made them, and to dust they return. Thank you. The children shall be a gog. I do believe some of them use the number of beastly fangs and claws present in a tail as the yardstick for its quality, <laughs> which puts yours right at the top of the heap. Being away from it. I cannot help but worry how they will fare in our absence, myself included. We have all shared in this bounty, but I take your point and shall acknowledge my role. In brief, I thought perhaps that seeing everyone once again and hearing of all that they've been doing, 
It might awaken some regret about the life we lead. You could have done anything, gone with anyone. Yet you chose me. I was hoping you'd ask. Ha! <laughs> you would ask to be tucked in next. But whatever the intrepid adventurer needed, I would have been glad to provide. I spend half my days in ursine form. The children demand it. I had a score of them taking turns riding upon my back just days ago. <laughs> Amazing what can be discovered about oneself, even at a ripe old age. Ha! <laughs> ah, oh, I think some of the more bloodthirsty children will relish this. Thank you. See? That was scarcely a hardship for either of us, was it? <laughs> now tell me, what have you been up to this past while? Be sure to take your own advice. This is a special night, for all of us. Apologies, I meant no offense. I survived, and in years to come, I must have allowed hardships to become dwarfed by the shadow curse in my mind. Hmm, true, we cannot. But we can make a future the best, even the fondest of memories. Then each reunion shall be all the sweeter. Of course. Ah, there it is. That is what I've been missing. Most enthralling. Though perhaps it may lead to some sleepless nights for the younger ones. I am all ears, though I never cared for that phrase. A rather... Unsettling image. A classic tale. I expect it shall inspire more than a few of the children to start practicing their riposte with wooden sticks. On occasion, but I prefer not to interfere. Francesca of the High Forest is Archdruid now, and by all accounts, she has proven to be a steady and wise influence. Oh, apologies. <laughs> you can probably understand my eagerness. I shall be as gentle as a feather next time. Yet, they always find their way back to where they belong. <laughs> Just like old friends find themselves back in each other's company. You needed something? It is a special occasion after all. Just haul me away should you find me bare-chested and <laughs> singing the songs of my ancestors. Well, these arms aren't just for show, and it was an easy task to throw myself into. After so much destruction, I relished building something. Gon's true name. I don't know it. I'm afraid I know more of nightingales than gnomes. <laughs> you are welcome whenever you like, and for however long you please. No, I shall not take you for granted, nor my own past. What is the point of long life if one does not make room for reflection? I am glad you have kept yourself occupied. <laughs> no doubt I'll be able to spin a few yarns for the children from this. Hmm. Thank you. The Red One's filling them with Baal's ire. Make sure he's first to fall. The classic tale of the blade, but with a twist. <laughs> this shall go down very well with the children, I sense. Thank you. <laughs> Ducks are my favorite, but I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. <laughs> you are right, of course. I am accustomed to dwelling on the past, even when it brought me nothing but unhappiness. You changed that and gave me the most precious of memories. If only we could stay like that forever. I see. Well, perhaps not all friendships are destined to be balanced and reciprocal. But I remain eternally grateful for having met you, all the same. Rest well. Thank you. Your wisdom shines through even in dark moments. I shall not give in to despair. Not while there is still the chance of a a future worth fighting for. Let Dame Aelin know his ambitions and put an end to them, so that she might finally live free. An unwieldy number. You must cut someone loose before I can join you. Who knows what awaits us in the city and beyond, but 
We shall face whatever may come as staunch allies and unwavering friends. I know that was not easy, but you made the right choice. A viper cannot escape its true nature, no matter how calm it may seem. Very well. May nature protect and guide you. No time to change clothes, I'm afraid. That was no killing blow. Far from it. What happened? She would have commanded her minions to slaughter everyone in the grove given the chance. It was only because of Korga's foolishness that she was denied her bloody prize. Lazel could not have wished for a finer companion by her side. You truly love her, I can tell. Just keep each other safe, please. You are blessed with several companions as it is. Perhaps dismiss one if you require me. I shall be waiting. Come find me when you need me. Thaniel and Oliver. I never said goodbye. Never saw their land flourish. Karlak is truly lucky to have you in her life. Even the hells themselves cannot dim the love you share. Such a force. What caused it? I shall be waiting. Come find me when you need me. And I am glad to be at your side. I just hope an old bear can prove to be of some service to you. Fly on, Lazel. May the Oak Father preserve you and guide you true. Very well. May nature protect and guide you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Corellan Star. That is grotesque. If that is your wish, so be it. I sincerely hope I am proven wrong. But I cannot remain in order to find out. I am sorry. You have proven an unmatched ally to me. But I cannot remain with you if that killer, Minthara, is to stay also. I shall be waiting. Come find me when you need me. I... Yes. Words chosen in haste, perhaps. I would rather see healing than punishment, in truth. And, Oak Father willing, we shall live to witness it. Perhaps so, or perhaps not. I had wondered if I had detected something else once, but I must have been mistaken. My admiration for you conflated with other feelings. Seek me out when you need me. <laughs> the Absolute was just an excuse to indulge your base instincts. You shall find another. I'm with you. The work of the Absolute, surely. Your ranks are full. You will need to make an opening for me if I am to follow you. I am no stranger to the Underdark. Cruelty comes to Lolth's followers as naturally as breathing. I have seen it. Experienced it. I believe so. Perhaps in another life we would have felt something... More stir between us, but that was not meant to be. I shall remain at camp for now. I shall do my utmost. A fine point. I wish I had thought of it myself. <laughs> ah, I suppose I did, didn't I? <laughs> I was so focused on helping Thaniel that my sense of decorum was neglected. Casador feeds on power through those runes. Very well. May nature protect and guide you. And thank you for your diligence. Then I must say farewell. Our love was always unbound. Free to flow where greater forces would dictate. And still... You have found yourself here before me once again, if only for a night. Stop the nether brain. Help my friends as they helped me. What? He died? That was uncalled for. I must find a safe way to reach the center. Thank you for all you have done. 
Zanyo shall never forget you. Nor shall I. Of course, as fine a place to pass the time as any. I shall be waiting. Come find me when you need me. Lazelle is truly blessed to have you by her side. Just keep each other safe, please. I shall be waiting. Come find me when you need me. Very well. May nature protect and guide you. But friendship is no consolation trophy. I cherish the bond we have forged. Whether it should grow into something else is not for me to predict. Perhaps. But sometimes a raised tone is needed to shake others from apathy. Halson, first druid. Surely you knew that by now. I already knew I had found a strong ally in you. But now I see I've been blessed with a true friend also. Fly on, Lazel. May the Oak Father preserve you and guide you true. Very well. May nature protect and guide you. Are you... truly sure? There is no room for me, I'm afraid. Perhaps dismiss another, then I can join you. Very well. May nature protect and guide you. I look forward to it. A great horde of rats, but not an endless one, surely. I must keep fighting. <laughs> I am honored to be your beast of burden, then. So do as you must, and see where the path takes you. My door and heart will both remain open to you. Always. I shall be waiting. Come find me when you need me. I shall remain at camp for now. If I step on them, I can make his supply my own. I shall remain at camp for now. Ugh, a cruel blow. Astarian loved feeling the caress of the sun. Only now it gouges him with its claws. Perhaps we shall meet again, beneath the shield of darkness. I shall be waiting. Come find me when you need me. I am not without sympathy. But the risk is too great. We may share a foe, but we cannot be allies. Karlak is truly lucky to have you by her side. The Hells will never daunt the pair of you, I'll wager. And she is lucky to have you. Just as I was for the time we shared. Take your time. Orin abducted me from camp. So strong. Very well. May nature protect and guide you. I thought you might. But it still warms my heart to hear you say it. I am loath to put an ultimatum to you. But either Minthara or I must leave. I shall honor your choice. Whatever it may be, I shall remain at camp for now. Do not apologize for following your true course. You did what was necessary to help those who needed it. This goes some way to explaining her actions. But she has been punished already, and the Shadow Druids have no power over her now. Time to let the wound heal. I... You are right. I cannot repeat her mistakes. If you hadn't seen to the leaders of that goblin horde, the grove would be no more. I am in your debt. I hoped my friends would save me. I hoped my loved would save me. The bond we share remains deeply precious to me, all the same. Someone is planting bombs in children's toys. What madness is taking root in this place? Another bruising setback? Yet that glowing ring may suggest a safe course forward. Bittersweet that we had to leave Thaniel's realm so soon. After all that was done to save it. But it shall thrive in our absence. And now, Baldur's Gate awaits. I did not wish for another day to end without telling you how I felt. And now, I have done so. <laughs> Rest well, and thank you once again. I shall remain at camp for now. Very well. May nature protect and guide you. Well, then let us make haste.
You have quite a few little fans who will be overjoyed to make your acquaintance. May the Oak Father preserve you throughout the challenges that await. You shall be in my prayers. Always. Orin's blades. <sighs> Regrettable. But if I am forced to weigh her life and freedom against your own, then I see little choice. Thwarted at the final hurdle. Next time, you... You shall. But what about all that you'll miss out on? Your name will be fated in this city. There'll be parades, medals, feasts, hands to be shaken, babies to be kissed. I shall remain at camp for now. I shall remain at camp for now. I shall endeavor to be more tactful when trying to make friends in future. I shall remain at camp for now. I shall be waiting. Come find me when you need me. Oakfather, shield us! A cloaker! Step on them, and his power will be ours. Gladly. Be safe, and I shall see you soon. <laughs> Indeed, but we cannot yet say the same for you. I promised I would help you, and I intend to keep that promise, however I can. You speak nothing but the truth. The Shadow Druid's words are meant to inflame those already given to anger and helplessness. I do not want to join their ranks. I am sorry. You took great lengths to help me, to help Thaniel. But I cannot remain with you if that killer, Minthara, is to stay also. Ready at your side. You did well to steer us from violence, but Laroakan is too bloody-minded to be fooled for long. <laughs>